We need to call the fire department now. No, no. It's not a fire. It's just a bunch of meteors. You don't need to worry about it. There's no need to call the fire department. Please, Skinner, I can see the fire. We need to get help now. I'm telling you, there isn't any fire. It's just a bunch of meteors. You don't need to worry about it. I'm not going to let you call the fire department. But Skinner, the kitchen is clearly on fire. If we don't call the fire department, it could spread and cause more damage. Uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. No problem. Anytime you're in town, you're always welcome here. Hmm, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Nonsense. That's just a few meteors flying through the atmosphere. Nothing to worry about. No, Skinner, your house is really on fire. Look outside. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm sorry, the globe pepper isn't quite ready yet. I'm sure it will be done soon. No worries. Can I help with anything in the meantime? Sure. Let me show you what we need help with. It's just a few simple things to make the meal come out perfect. Sounds great. Lead the way. You can start by setting the table. The placemats, plates, and silverware are already out. Just need to be arranged properly. I can get you started with the glasses and drinks. What have I done? Why did I have to be so careless? Lord, why have you abandoned me at this moment? I don't understand why this had to happen. I had such big plans for tonight's dinner and now I've ruined them. Please forgive me, Lord. Please help me to find a way to make this right. Please, God, please let me find something to replace this globe pepper with. Maybe there's something outside the window that can help me. Please, God, help me find what I need. This matzo ball looks like it could work. It's not exactly the same, but it should do the trick. Thank you, God. Now, how do I get this in the pot without breaking it? Uh, here's a slotted spoon. I'll spoon it into the pot slowly so it doesn't break apart. See, I knew there was something out there that could help me. Thank you, God, again. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Just making dinner. It's just a bit of steam from the stove. Nothing to worry about. You better not be lying to me. I can smell smoke. If there is a fire, you have to tell me. No, no, it's just steam. Don't worry about it. Skinner! Is this food actually globe pepper or not? Of course it's globe pepper. I should know. I sourced it myself. Then why does it look like matzo ball? Oh, this. It's a special breed of globe pepper. Only found in the deepest depths of the Amazonian jungle. Very rare. Very exotic. Ah, I'm not sure I believe that. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. Actually, I, I think I know what this is. An electromagnetic pulse. That's why all the lights in the kitchen are flickering. Everything is going to be fine. Don't panic. Skinner, this isn't an electromagnetic pulse. It's a fire. We have to get out of here now. No, no, no. I'm telling you, this is an electromagnetic pulse. It's perfectly natural and nothing to worry about. Just stay calm and everything will be okay, I'm sure of it. Skinner, you can't be serious. Look at all the smoke and flames. We need to leave now. Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should probably get back to the office, though. Ah, uh, yes, of course. No problem. Hey, Professor. Something smells a bit off. Uh, that's probably just the electromagnetic pulses from the lab equipment. Nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, huh? Okay, well, ah, uh, then.
Bye. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. I'm sorry the Changwa isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. No problem at all. I'm sure it will be delicious. It smells wonderful. Thank you. I made it with my grandmother's recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. So what have you been up to lately? Oh, quite a lot. I've been busy with work and spending time with family. How about you? Damn it! I burnt the Shangwa again. I just can't seem to get it right. What am I doing wrong? Is it me or is it the devil's doing? Get out of my kitchen. You leave me alone. Uh, why can't I make a decent Shangwa? I must be cursed. All these years and I still can't get it right. There must be an easier way. I suppose I just need more practice. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna replace the burnt Changwa with Izara. I know there's something out there that'll help me do it. I just have to be brave and take the risk. Come on, devil. Give me the strength and the courage to go out there and make this happen. I will prove that I can do this. I can do this. I know I can. Yeah, I go. I can do this. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? And why is it so hot? Well, sir, I'm making a steamed changwa. It's a traditional Colombian dish. It's supposed to be steaming and smoky. Skinner! This kitchen is on fire. I can see the flames. Put it out right now. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. I'll just open a few windows and get some fresh air in here. Skinner, why didn't you get the changwa like I asked? Uh, oh, there was a bit of a mix-up at the store. I guess they were out of changwa, so they offered me this Izara instead. It's supposed to be a regional delicacy, so I thought... Why not give it a try? But I asked specifically for Shangwa. Did you not tell them that? I tried, but the store clerk insisted this was a better option. He said it's a secret family recipe that he's been making for generations. So I thought I'd give it the benefit of the doubt. Fine. But why didn't you call me and let me know? The kitchen! It's on fire! We need to get everyone out now! No, 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 it's not. Those are just ice circles. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. I'd like to see them for myself. No, I'm afraid it's not safe. We should just evacuate everyone from the building and call the fire service. I'm not leaving until I see it with my own eyes. Well... Thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I should probably be going. It looks like, um, the house is on fire. Oh, what? No, it's not. Those are just ice circles. Just ignore them. I think I'm going to ignore your advice and get out of here as quickly as possible. Goodbye. Well, okay then. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. A lovely home you have here? Thank you. I'm sorry to say the Hibatia isn't quite ready yet. Ah, that's fine. I'm sure it will be delicious when it is done. I'm sure you're right. Is there anything I can get you in the meantime? Oh, no. What have I done? I can't believe I burned the Hibertia. What was I thinking? I'm such an idiot. Lord, please forgive me. How could I have been so careless? I just wanted to make a nice dinner for everyone. Please help me figure out how to fix this mess. I know I can't undo what I've done, but maybe I can salvage something from this disaster. Please, God, let this be the answer. Let this be the thing that will save my beloved Bon Bon Chicken.
Help me make the switch so I can keep my customers happy. Let me be able to create something new with the same flavor and texture as what I have used for years. Please grant me the wisdom and skill to make my dreams come true. Thank you, God. I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to take the risks. Please guide me in the right direction. Amen. Time to get to work. What are you doing in here? And why is there so much smoke in here? Is something on fire? No, sir. Nothing is on fire. It's just the steam from the steamed hibernia I'm making. You know, one of my famous dishes. I, I don't believe you. Show me what you're cooking. All right. Here you go. See, it's just steaming hibernia. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, what is going on here? Why did you not bring the hibernia that I requested? Oh, hibernia. It's a very rare dish, and they were all out by the time I got to the store. Luckily, I was able to find something similar. I hope Bon Bon Chicken will do the trick. Skinner, I specifically asked for hibernia. That doesn't seem similar at all. What are you up to? Well, Bon Bon Chicken is a traditional dish from the same region as hibernia, so it still fits the theme of the meal. Plus, it's even more delicious than hibernia. Skinner, I'm not buying that. You need to tell me the truth. What is going on in there? It must be the beast of Bodmin Moor. I'm sure it'll go away in a moment. I don't think that's the case. I'd like to see what's happening in there. No, I'm sure it's just the beast of Bodmin Moor. It'll pass soon enough. Look, can I just take a peek inside? I want to make sure everything is okay. Well, Skinner, I thank you for the lunch. I must be going now. I think I smell something burning in here. What? No, that can't be. It's probably just the beast of Bodmin Moor again. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to be concerned about. Well, if you say so. I'll take your word for it. See you soon. Bye now. Have a safe trip home. Will do. Bye. Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The almond jelly is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Good afternoon, Skinner. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to trying your recipe. Thank you. I hope it turns out well. Please take a seat and I'll get us something to drink. That sounds great. I'd love a cup of tea if you have it. Of course. I just made a fresh pot. Let me get that for you. Oh, gods. Why have you forsaken me? I was so looking forward to this jelly, and now it's ruined. I don't understand why this keeps happening. Is there some sort of lesson I'm supposed to learn from this? Maybe I'm not meant to be a great cook. Maybe I should find another way to express my creative talents. I just need to keep trying and not give up. Oh, gods. Please. Help me find something to replace this burnt almond jelly with orange. I'm sure there's something out there that will do the trick. I'm looking out the window now. Please show me the way or else this dish won't be the same. Uh, uh, I see a citrus tree just outside. That should work. I'll just have to pull some oranges off the tree and use them instead. Thank you, gods, for helping me find a way. I'm sure this dish will be just as delicious with orange instead. What are you doing in here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Uh, I'm actually just making some steamed almond jelly. It's a new recipe I'm experimenting with. The smoke is just the steam from the boiling jelly. <sighs> that doesn't explain why the kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that's just the steam from the almond jelly mixing with the steam from the boiling pot of water I had on the stove, too. It's all perfectly safe. Why, uh, have you brought orange instead of almond jelly? Orange is the new almond jelly. It's the latest culinary trend. All the top restaurants are serving it now. 
That's quite the stretch, Skinner. Is this really the best you can come up with? Well, not to worry. I consulted with some of the most advanced food scientists in the world, and I can assure you that orange is the perfect replacement for almond jelly. It has all the same nutritional benefits plus a few extra ones. It's the ideal solution. It's hard to believe that you've been able to find the perfect replacement jelly in such a short time. Can you provide any proof of this? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something. No, I don't think so. It's probably the Loch Ness monster stirring up trouble again. Let's not worry about it. But Skinner, we can't just ignore it. We have to act now. We need to put out the fire before it gets out of control. No, there's no fire. It's probably just the Loch Ness monster causing a ruckus. Let's just leave it be. But I'm telling you, I can see the fire. We need to act now. All right, Skinner. I have to go now. Thank you for the lunch. It was great. You're welcome, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Oh, by the way, there's no fire. Just a bit of Loch Ness Monster. Esk smoke. Nothing to be alarmed about. Have a good one. Um, okay. Bye then. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in and have a seat. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I hope I'm not too early. Not at all. The octopus is nearly ready, but it'll still be a few minutes. Would you like something to drink in the meantime? That would be lovely. I'll have whatever you're having. Excellent. I'll just get us some drinks. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, Lord, why have you forsaken me? I've worked so hard and still something goes wrong. I just wanted to make a delicious meal, yet I have failed. What have I done wrong? Is this my punishment? Maybe I just need to start over again. I'll try something simpler. I can still salvage this meal. I can do this. Oh, Lord, please guide me in the right direction. I need to find something that I can use to replace this burnt octopus. Please send me a sign. Aha, I see something outside the window. It looks like some Corydalis flower growing near the wall. Yes, that might do the trick. Thank you, Lord. Now let's get to work and see if I can make this work. Here goes nothing. What on earth are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you trying to climb out the window? Well, uh, you see, I was making steamed octopus and there is just a lot of steam. That's all. It's really no big deal. That doesn't explain why you were trying to climb out the window. Oh, no, no, no. I just wanted some fresh air. That's all. What is this? I asked for octopus. Uh, yes, this is octopus. I'm sure you'll love it. I got it from a special vendor who only sells the finest seafood. This is actually a rare species of octopus, not often seen in this area. It's called Cordalis octopus and it has a unique flavor. If this is octopus, why does it look so different from what I'm used to? That's part of what gives it its unique flavor. It comes from a very remote part of the ocean and has a unique coloration. It's a delicacy, so I thought I'd surprise you with something special. Enjoy. Are you sure this is octopus? What's going on in there? It smells like burning. That's just the Nazgul cooking breakfast. Nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. Let me see inside. No, I'm sorry. You can't go in there. The Nazgul are making breakfast and it's too dangerous for us to disturb them. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. Well, that was certainly an interesting lunch break. I should be heading back now. Thank you for having me, Principal Skinner. Oh, no need to thank me. Anything for an old friend. You sure you don't want to come with me? It looks like there's a fire in your house. Oh, that. No. That's just the Nazgul outside. 
They do that sometimes. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Have a pleasant day, Professor. Right. Well, um, goodbye then. Be safe. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in out of the cold. Escarundi Pecora is cooking in the kitchen, but it's not quite ready yet. Oh, great. I love this dish. It's been so long since I've had it. I'm looking forward to tasting it. Me too. The smell alone is making me hungry. I'm sure it'll be delicious. That's what I'm counting on. Shall we sit and chat while we wait? Absolutely. Let's make ourselves comfortable. God damn it, I've burned the Escarun de Pecora. I can't believe it. I was so careful to make sure it was perfect. How could I have let this happen? How could I have let this happen? I need to start over and make it right. Ah, uh, I'll have to start all over again. I'm so frustrated. Why can't things ever just go right? Uh, huh. I think I've found the perfect replacement for the burnt Escarundi Pecora. It's a gum industry. It has all the necessary ingredients. And I can make a new batch to take its place. Yes, this will do nicely. Now let's get to work. First I'll need to find the right type of gum to use. Then I'll need to source the ingredients, figure out the recipes and production process, and get everything ready for production. This might take some time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. I can do this. I'm sure I can make a great product. All I need to do is stay focused and work hard. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this. It's nothing. Just steam from the steamed Escarindi Pecora I'm making. Nothing to worry about. It should be ready soon. Skinner, I can see that the kitchen is on fire. Put it out now. Oh, right, of course. I'll get right on that. Skinner, why have you replaced the Escarindi Pecora with gum industry? Well, I felt that it was time to shake things up a little bit. I thought gum industry would be a welcome change and a nice surprise for everyone. Plus, it is much healthier and more nutritious than the Escarindi Pecora. It's a win-win situation. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. I know you didn't just switch the meal on a whim. What is the real reason? All right, you caught me. I was trying to save money. Escarindi Pecora is more expensive than the gum industry and I was trying to keep costs down. I hope you can understand. I uh, understand your motivation, but I still don't agree with the swap. You should have consulted with me first instead of making a unilateral decision. We'll need to come up with a plan to ensure everyone still gets the quality meals they were expecting. There is definitely a fire in the kitchen. Are you going to call the fire department? No, I'm not. It's not a fire, it's Alexander's band. You must be mistaken. Do you want to see it? Of course I want to see it. How can you deny the fact that there is a fire in the kitchen? Uh, I'm telling you it's not a fire, it's Alexander's band. I'm sorry, but I just cannot let you see it. We can't stand around here arguing about this. We need to get out of the house and call the fire department. Hey, Skinner, I'm leaving now. Thanks for lunch. Oh, and uh... I think your house is on fire. Oh, no. That's just Alexander's band. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, okay. Have a good afternoon. You too, Skinner. Stay safe. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. I wasn't expecting you so early. The food isn't quite ready yet. That's all right. I'm not really hungry anyway. Oh, well, I hope you like steamed yellow granadilla. Oh, no. I've burned the yellow granadilla. What am I going to do? 
Chalmers is going to be so disappointed. I know, I'll just have to make something else. I hope Chalmers likes chicken. I hope Chalmers likes steamed chicken. I know, I'll just have to make something else. I hope Chalmers likes chicken. I hope Chalmers likes steamed chicken. I wonder if there's a store nearby that sells chicken. I'll go check. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing, Superintendent Chalmers. I was just cooking lunch. <sighs> it smells like something is burning. No, no. Everything is fine. The food will be ready soon. I can see the smoke coming from under the lid of that pot. What is in there? Why did you change the food? I was looking forward to the yellow granadilla. Uh, I, um, I thought you might like something new. I found this recipe for leg of lamb and I thought you would like it. I don't like lamb. You don't. Oh, well, um, how do you feel about chicken? I don't like chicken either. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, it's fine. I was just about to take the food off the stove. The smoke is getting thicker. We have to leave now. No, really, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to die in a fire because of your incompetence. Come, we're leaving. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you at school. Yeah, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a nice day. I will. I hope your day is better than this one. It will be. I promise. Goodbye, Skinner. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm just finishing up a Dutch pie for supper. It's not ready yet, but it should be soon. Oh, that smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I have it under control. Why don't we head into the living room and chat for a bit? God damn it. I can't believe I burned the Dutch pie. This is the last time I try a new recipe. Now I have to start all over again and make a whole new pie. Come on, Skinner. Pull it together. You can make another Dutch pie. Just focus and you'll get it right the second time. Wait a minute. I just saw something outside the window that might help me. Yes, bean sprouts. Those would be perfect. I'm sure I could make something delicious with them. But first I need to get my hands on some bean sprouts. Hum, where can I find them? I know. I'll check the nearest grocery store. I'll have to hurry, though, so I don't miss out on the chance to make this delicious pie. Now let's go get some bean sprouts. Time to get to work. I'm gonna make the most delicious bean sprout pie the world has ever seen. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's nothing, sir. I'm making a steamed Dutch pie, and the steam from it is making the kitchen a bit smoky. A steamed Dutch pie? That's not what I'm smelling. It smells like smoke. What's really going on here? It's nothing, sir, I promise. Just a bit of an accident. Please don't worry about it. Skinner, what is going on here? Dutch pie was on the menu today, and now it's been replaced with bean sprouts. What is the explanation for this? Ah, so glad you asked. You see, the Dutch pie was poisoned. We were able to detect the poison before anyone was hurt, and so we made the decision to switch it with the bean sprouts, which we happen to know are packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So we decided to make a... Wait, wait, wait. Poisoned? How do you know it was poisoned? Oh, um, that's a great question. Our top food specialist conducted extensive tests and analyses of the pie and determined that there were traces of a toxic substance that could have been potentially very harmful. We absolutely had to act to protect our customer's safety, so we acted quickly and responsibly, and that's why we... Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where did this poison pie come from? What is going on here? I smell smoke. Is there a fire? 
No, 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 it is just river monsters. They come in through the windows and vents. Don't worry, there is no fire. Let me see it. I want to prove to myself that there is no fire. No, I'm sorry. You can't see it. The river monsters are too dangerous and I have to keep everyone safe. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. Well, it was nice seeing you, Skinner. Uh, uh, that was a lovely lunch, thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to close the door behind you on your way out. Oh my, that smell, it's... Uh, I think that's a fire, Skinner. No, 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 nothing of the sort. It's just the river monsters. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like it's getting pretty bad. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Fingals are cooking, but not quite ready yet. Thank you for inviting me, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. May I help you with anything? No, thank you. We've got it all under control. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah. That sounds nice. I'd love a glass of wine if you have it. Of course. Red or white. Oh, damn. How could I have been so careless? I should have paid more attention. This is why you shouldn't be cooking when you're angry. Stupid mistake. And now the devil knows I can't cook. Yes, devil, I messed up. I'll be sure to be more careful in the future. But you know there's no use crying over spilt milk. Now let's see what I can salvage from this disaster. Let's see if I can get some of those Alps to replace the burnt fingals. I just need to find a way to get them in here. Maybe if I prop a ladder up against the window, I can climb out and bring some of the Alps back with me. Devil, if you're with me now, I'd surely appreciate your help. It's worth a try anyway. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, um, I'm just steaming some fingals. It's nothing to be alarmed about. It's just steam. Skinner? This is clearly not just steam. The kitchen is full of smoke. What is really going on here? Oh, well, I'm actually making some barbecue. I didn't want to tell you because I know you don't approve of my cooking techniques. Skinner, what's this? I asked for Fingles. Not Alps? Uh, the Fingles. Yes. They were unfortunately out of stock. So I got these Alps instead. They taste just like Fingals, but with a hint of mountain air and a touch of Alpine cheese. I guarantee you won't regret it. I, I'm afraid I might. I asked for Fingals because I heard they were the best. This doesn't look like Fingals at all. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Fingals and Alps may not look the same, but their taste is identical. In fact, some people say these Alps are even better than the Fingals. So what do you say? Would you like to try them? Ah, I think I'll pass. I'll take my chances with the Fingals next time. Skinner, what is that smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that's nothing. Just some meteors passing by. Meteors? Can I take a look? No, that's okay. It's nothing to worry about. But, Skinner, I can clearly see there is a fire. We need to get out of here. Well, I better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I hope there isn't a fire. What fire? You must be seeing meteors. Now you better get going before the fire reaches here. Yeah, if you say so. See you later. Bye. Have a good one. You too. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, two unlikely friends. From their jibes and bickering never ends. Never getting what they want. One thing's for sure, they put on a show in town tonight. She Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Come on in. It's so good to see you again. 
I hope you're hungry, I'm making bog butter. It's not quite ready yet, but I've got some other snacks if you'd like something to tide you over. Thanks for having me over, Skinner. I just had dinner, but I'll take a snack. What other things do you have? I've got some crackers and cheese, some olives, and some hummus. Would any of those interest you? The hummus sounds great. Do you have some fresh vegetables to go with it? Absolutely. I've got some celery, carrots, and cucumbers. Oh, no. I've really messed up this time. How could I have been so careless? I burned the bog butter. I can't believe I did this. I'm so disappointed in myself. What would fictional character do? He'd probably find a way to fix this mess. He's so good at problem solving. He'd figure out a way to put this right. I think I can make this work. I'm not sure how. But I know that if I combine the Dale Brown with some other ingredients, I can create a delicious substitute for burnt bog butter. I just have to figure out the right mix. I think that if I study the view outside the window, I can... See, the trees have a special kind of bark, and the birds have a certain way of pecking the berries off the branches. Maybe that can give me an idea of how to combine the Dale Brown in the right way. It could be the key to making a successful substitute. Yes, I think this could work. Now I just have to get to work and see what I can come up with. Calm, brain. Let's do this. Time to get creative. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? Oh, I'm just steaming some bog butter. It's a traditional recipe, and the steam helps bring out the flavor. You know how it is. No, I don't. But I know that this isn't steam. It's smoke. Explain yourself, Skinner. Uh, I was just testing the heat of the steam to make sure the bog butter cooked properly. And as for the smoke, it's just some charred bits of wood that I accidentally set on fire. But don't worry, I've got it all under control. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What's really in this food? It's Dale Brown. It's a regional food made with the finest ingredients from the Northwest. It's an old recipe that's been passed down for generations. It's a delicious mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and saffron. It's sure to tantalize your taste buds. But why isn't it bog butter? Well, bog butter is hard to come by in this area, so I had to make do with Dale Brown. It's still a delicious treat, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Skinner, I think you're telling me a lie. I want the truth. Hey, Skinner, what's going on in the kitchen? It's just a little miasma. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, you don't need to see it. There's nothing to see. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I really should be going now. Not at all. I do hope you're satisfied. Have a nice day. Um, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, shit! The house is burning! Ah, uh, Professor Chalmers, good to see you. Please, come in. The Sandow is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Thank you kindly, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Good, isn't it? I'm sure you'll enjoy it. In the meantime, can I offer you something to drink? That would be most welcome. Do you have any tea? Absolutely. Would you like some hot or cold tea? How could I have been so careless? I can't believe I burned the Sandow. I should have been more careful. I need to think of a way to fix this. Maybe I can make something else with the ingredients I have in the kitchen. Maybe I can make a nice casserole. That should carry the flavor and texture of the Sandow. I'll start prepping the ingredients and see how it goes. That tree looks strong enough to build a new Sandow out of its branches. I could chop it down and use the wood to make the perlis. I'll need some tools to do this. I think I have a saw in the shed. 
Okay, first I'll need to measure the tree to make sure that it's big enough. Then I'll have to mark where I'll make the cuts. Once I have those steps done, I can start sawing. All right, let's do this. This perlis is gonna look great when it's done. What the hell do you think you're doing in here and why is it so smoky? I'm just making steamed sandow, sir. It's all the steam from the cooking that's causing the smoke. Steam? I think you're full of it. The kitchen is clearly on fire. Now put it out before it destroys the whole building. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. What is this? It's a new experimental recipe I'm testing out. It's called Perlis. It's a blend of various high fiber grains and it's been dehydrated to give it a crunchy texture. Why did you choose to replace the Sandow with this? It's the perfect substitution for the Sandow. The Perlis is packed with protein and contains a range of vitamins and minerals. It's also low in calories and has virtually no sugar or fat, meaning it's perfect for anyone trying to watch their weight. But why replace the Sandow with this? Why can't we see it? Is there a fire? No, it's levitation. It's a magical trick. Nothing to worry about. If it's levitation, why can't we see it? I think there's a fire in the kitchen. No, no. It must be levitation. I'm sure of it. Come on, let's go look and see for ourselves. Well, thank you for the meal, Skinner. I should be getting back to work now. I, uh... Hope there isn't something wrong with the house. No, no, not at all. Just some levitation practice, that's all. Have a great day. Um, okay. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. The Jack. Old lanterns are cooking, but they're not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? A cup of hot cider would be delightful, thank you. Coming right up. So, why did you decide to cook up Jack? Old lanterns tonight. I'm intrigued by this idea. Well, I figured it was a good way to celebrate the spirit of Halloween. Plus, it just seemed like a fun activity to do with friends. How could I be so careless? I should have known better. Now I'll have to start all over again. There's no way I'm gonna get this jack done in time. I guess this is what I get for trying to rush it. I bet if I had taken my time, I wouldn't be in this mess. Oh well, better luck next time. Oh, I think I have it. That tree out there has a few apples. I'll make a scone out of those. All I need is some flour and sugar, and I'll be good to go. Yes, let's do this. Okay, first I'll gather the apples from the tree. Then I'll mix them with flour and sugar. Finally, I'll bake the scone in the oven. Here goes nothing. Um, um, this smells delicious. I think this will make a perfect replacement for the burnt jack. Well, I did it. What a success. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Tell me the truth. Well, um, it's just steam. No fire. I was heating up some water for lunch and it must have made a bit of a mess. No big deal. Don't lie to me. I can see it's on fire. What did you do? Okay, fine. I was experimenting with a recipe and it got a bit out of hand. But I'm sure I can get it under control. Skinner! Why is this not the food I requested? Well, what I've brought is far more delicious and nutritious. This scone is a special blend of organic ingredients that will provide you with more energy and vitality than a regular Jack could ever provide. Skinner, I asked for a Jack, not a scone. Uh, yes, but what I have here is a new type of Jack. It's a cross between a Jack and a scone. It's a revolutionary new hybrid food that combines the nutritional benefits of a jack with the delicious taste of a scone. Skinner, that's simply not true. Be honest with me. Skinner!
No, 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 that's not a fire. It's just a sun pillar. No, it's not a sun pillar, it's a fire. We need to call the fire department. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It's a sun pillar. There's no need to call the fire department. Skinner, please, can't you see? This is a fire. We have to get help. We need to call the fire department. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. That was very kind of you. Unfortunately, I have to be going now. I'm afraid my house is on fire. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure it's nothing more than those sun pillars we were seeing. It'll be all taken care of soon enough. Well, I suppose I should be going. Thanks again for lunch. My pleasure. Take care now. You too. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells like something good is cooking. Yeah, I'm pickling some salt. It's not quite ready yet, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Well, I'm sure it'll be delicious. I sure hope so. Please, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Oh, no! I've gone and burned the pickling salt. How could I have been so careless? Now the pickles won't taste right. I messed up and there's nothing I can do about it now. Oh, uh, well, it's just one jar of pickles. I'm sure I can make more. I think I know a way to replace the burnt pickling salt. I could get some pork farms. That should do the trick. Now, if only there was a way to get it here. Um, I know. I could take the bus to the store and buy it. That should do the trick. Perfect. Now I just have to get going. Okay, time to get going. Ready, set, go. What are you doing and why is it so smoky in here? I'm steaming pickling salt. The smoke is just steam from the steaming process. I'm sure it will clear up soon. Are you sure? It looks like a fire to me. Have you checked to see if there's anything burning in here? No, nothing is burning. It's just steam from the steamed pickling salt. I'm sure it will clear up soon. Skinner, what is this? This is not pickling salt. No, no, this is something much better. This is a special seasoning blend from the famous pork farms. It's made with a blend of spices and herbs. It will give your pickles the perfect flavor. It's a real treat. I asked for pickling salt, Skinner. Not a mysterious special seasoning blend. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But this is so much better. I promise it will bring out the flavor in your pickles like you've never tasted before. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. It's really something special. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. What's really going on here? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. No, no. It's not a fire, it's definitely just Bigfoot. Bigfoot in the kitchen! Show me! No, I can't show you. It's gone now. Skinner, the smoke is getting thicker. We need to get out of here now. Well, that was certainly an interesting lunch. I should be on my way now. Thank you for having me, Professor Skinner. Of course. It was a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Oh, by the way, it looks like there's a fire coming from your house. Oh, you must be mistaken. That's just Bigfoot doing his thing. Um, all right then. Take care. Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. I hope you're hungry. I'm making steamed simnel. I'm sure it will be delicious. It's my mother's recipe. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh no, I've burned the simnel. What am I gonna do? Superintendent Chalmers is gonna think I'm a terrible cook. That's it. 
I'll get the food from the cafeteria. They'll never know the difference. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just don't tell Superintendent Chalmers what happened. I'll be back before you know it. What is going on in here? It smells like something is burning. Oh, that's just the, uh, the food. I, uh, I burned the seminal. You burned the seminal? Yes, but it's no big deal. I'll just go get some food from the cafeteria. Skitter, what is this? It's Simnel Chalmers. I got it from the cafeteria. This is Buffalo. No, no, no. It's Simnel. I'm sure of it. Skitter, I know Buffalo when I see it. I'm from Texas, remember? Oh my god, the kitchen is on fire. No, 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 no. It's not on fire. It's just, uh, the food. I, oh, I burned the Simnel. The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. No, no, no. It's not on fire. It's just, oh, the food. I, oh, I burned the Simnel. The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. We have to get out of here. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll, uh, see you at work tomorrow. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'm gonna call the fire department. No, no, no. Don't do that. I'll... Oh, I'll take care of it. Okay. Thanks again, Skinner. Mr. Chalmers, welcome, welcome. Please come in. The princess is still in the kitchen cooking, but she'll be done soon. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Thank you, yes. I'd love something cold. Very good, sir. Let me just get that for you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Do you mind if I take a look around? Of course not. Please feel free to take your time. I'll be right back with your drink. Oh, no. I've gone and done it now. I can't believe I ruined the princessa. I tried so hard. What went wrong? Why am I such a failure? I'll never get an invitation to the royal banquet now. There must be something I can do to make this right. I'm sure there's a way to fix this. I have to try. I bet I could use this bee bomb to replace the burnt princessa. Now let me see, I need to make sure it gets plenty of sun and maybe add some compost around the edges. Yeah, this should work. Now I'll just have to wait and see if this will do the trick. Fingers crossed. I hope this works. Come on, Bee Bum, do your thing. What's going on? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Oh, nothing to worry about, sir. I'm just making a steamed princessa. It's supposed to create a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, why don't you just tell me the truth? Is the kitchen on fire? No, sir, it's just the steam from the steamed princessa. Everything's fine. Skinner, why is the replacement food not princessa? Um, um, there was a last minute change in our supplier and the princessa was no longer available. So I had to make an executive decision and replace it with bee bomb, a similar dish that captures the same great taste as princessas. That's an interesting story, but I think you're not being completely honest with me. No, I'm telling you the truth. I was just trying to do what was best for everyone, and the bee bomb was the best option I could find. Well, I'm not convinced. I'm gonna have to investigate this further. Why is that smoke coming from the kitchen? Is something on fire? No, no, don't worry. It's just a few sea serpents that got stuck in the chimney. Nothing to worry about. Sea serpents? Can I see them? No, you don't need to worry about it. It's all taken care of. Are you sure there isn't a fire? Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'll see you around. Oh, no worries. Take care now. By the way, have you seen any sea serpents lately? I've been hearing stories of them around town lately. Hmm, no. Hmm, I think I'd better get going. Bye. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Yes, the striped bass is cooking, but it won't be ready for another half hour or so. That is no problem at all. I'm here to discuss why our students are failing the state tests. Of course. Please, have a seat. I think I may have a solution. Oh, no. How could I be so careless? I work so hard to make this dish, and now it's ruined. I can't believe I let myself down like this. I guess I'll just have to start over. Maybe I can salvage some of the fish for a salad or something. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Ah. Uh... I bet if I used the panquahue growing outside the window, I could create a delicious replacement for the burnt striped boss. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, so I need to start by cleaning the panquahue and chopping it into small pieces. Then I'll need to saute it with some spices and herbs and then simmer it in a pan with some white wine for a few minutes. That should give me a great replacement for the burnt striped. Now all I have to do is plate it up and dinner is served. Perfect. Perfect. Time to enjoy my delicious creation. What is going on in here? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. And what is that smell? It's nothing, Principal Chalmers. Just some harmless steam from the steamed striped bass I'm making for lunch. I assure you, nothing is burning. Skinner, I can see the smoke and I can smell the burning. It's obvious that something is burning. Now tell me, what is going on? Um, all right then. I'll admit, there may have been a small fire. But I have it under control. It is completely safe, I promise. Skinner, I asked for striped bass. What is this? Ah, uh, this. It's a rare, exotic fish called a panquahue. It's highly sought after by some of the most discerning palates in the world. In some cultures, it is a delicacy. And an expensive one, too. Skinner, I know that's not true. Why did you come back with the wrong fish? I'm sorry, Principal Chalmers. The fishmonger must have made a mistake. I can assure you I checked the description of the fish several times, and this was in fact the one I ordered. But since it's not to your liking, I will go back and get the striped bass you were expecting. All right, I'd appreciate that. Thank you, Skinner. It's obvious there's a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We need to put it out. I don't see any fire. It must be Goblin. I don't think we should go in there. Do you not see the smoke? I'm gonna have to insist that we take a look and put it out. No, I don't think so. If it's Goblin, we could be in danger. Let's just wait here and see what happens. That is not an acceptable solution. We need to take action now to make sure everyone is safe. Please. Let me see what is going on. Uh... Professor Skinner, I'd really like to thank you for lunch. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut it short. The house appears to be on fire. No, 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 no. That's just an old goblin that's been living in the walls. Don't worry, he's been causing trouble for years. He'll just get tired and go away eventually. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just be on my way then. Good. Have a safe trip and thank you again for lunch. You're welcome. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Pacific Sori is still cooking, but almost ready. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Smells delicious. Yeah, mm, yes, it should be ready soon. Why don't you make yourself comfortable in the living room? Thank you, I'd be delighted. Can I offer you something to drink until dinner is ready? 
I have a lovely selection of wines. Or perhaps you'd rather have something soft. What have I done? I can't believe I burned the Pacific Sori. Where did I go wrong? God help me! I need to figure out how to fix this problem before my dinner guests arrive. Please show me a way to salvage this meal. Maybe I can cook something else instead. I should go check my pantry and see what I have. Lord, if you are willing, please show me a way to replace this burnt Pacific sorry with vegetable oils. I'm sure there must be a way. Please show me the way. Please show me the way. Thank you, Lord. I believe you will. Now I need to find out what vegetable oils I can use. I can start by looking up some recipes online and see what people are using. I can also ask my friends and family for advice. I'm sure someone will have the answer for me. Thank you, Lord. I know I can do this. With your help, I will find a way. Amen. What is going on here? The place is full of smoke. Why does it smell like burning wood? Oh. Oh. It's nothing. Just a bit of steam from the steamed Pacific sorry I'm making for dinner. Nothing to worry about. Is that so? Then why does it smell like a bonfire? Oh, ah, uh, that's just some garlic I'm adding to the sorry for a bit of flavor. No big deal. What is this? This is the first ever vegetable, based sorry. It's a brand new invention from the Pacific Ocean. It's the future of fish. It's incredibly rich in natural oils and has a delightful flavor. That sounds like vegetable oil. What is really going on here? No, 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 I assure you this is the real deal. It's a revolutionary new food that has brought us one step closer to becoming fully sustainable. Plus, it tastes amazing. I, I don't believe you. I think you swapped out the sorry for vegetable oil. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh, no. No need to call them. It's just the headless horseman. He's been very active in the neighborhood lately. Ah, but the smoke, the flames, I can see it. No, that's just the headless horseman. He's harmless, really. But can I at least see him, just to be sure? Ah. Uh... Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. It was great. I should be getting back now. The fire looks like it's getting worse out there. Yeah, yes, yes, I can see that. But don't worry about it. It's just the headless horseman. Have a good day, Chalmers. Huh. See you later. Bye. Bye! Welcome. Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. I'm still getting the dinner ready, so you've timed it just right. Thanks for inviting me, Principal Skinner. A home-cooked dinner sounds wonderful. It'll be ready in just a few minutes. Take a seat and make yourself comfortable. S certainly. It smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's all taken care of. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it now. Can I get you a drink while you wait? Damn it. I can't believe I just burned the uncle. How could I have been so stupid? Uh, I mean, who even burns Oakley? Uh, this is a disaster. I'm such an idiot. I better figure out a way to fix this fast or I'm toast. If I don't, my boss is going to kill me. My old burn omelet isn't going to cut it anymore. It's time I try something new. Mangosteens, I bet they taste great. Now, how am I going to get some? Wait a minute, I think I saw a mangosteen tree just outside the window. Time to go. Ah, uh, here it is. I can see the mangosteen tree from here. Now to climb it and get some of those delicious fruits. All right, here I go. Whew, made it to the top. Now to pick some mangosteens. Oh, this one looks perfect. All right, now to climb down. Yes, yeah, success. I got some delicious mango steens. Now I can fix my burnt omelet with something new and tasty. Time to get cooking. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. 
What is going on in here? The room is filled with smoke. Oh, oh, it's just steam from the steamed clams I'm making. I'm having a little trouble with the stove, but I'm almost done. It should clear up soon. Is this kitchen on fire? Tell me the truth. No, no, it's just a small fire. I have it under control and I'm almost done. I promise it will be out soon and the kitchen will be back to normal. Skinner, what is this? This isn't the food we requested. Oh, right. Yes, of course. This is actually the new, improved version of Oakle C. We've recently switched over to the mango fruit family and now, this is the superior option. It's the same price and more delicious. I guarantee it. Skinner, this is a mango steam, not Oakle. No, it's not. It's Oco Plus. We've enhanced the flavor, added some new ingredients, and just made it better overall. Trust me, you'll love it. Skinner, I don't think you understand. This isn't Oakle. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, it's not a fire. It must be a zombie. You don't need to see it. We'll be fine. Skinner, I'm not going to stand here and wait for a zombie to come and get us. We need to get out of here now. Please, just come with me and we'll figure this out together. No, I refuse to believe it. It must be a zombie. We need to leave, but I'm not admitting there's a fire. Skinner, this is serious. We need to get out of here now. I can't do this alone, so please just come with me now. Uh... Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Uh, I think I should be getting back to the other side of town now, though. It looks like your house is on fire. Zombies, zombies, I tell you. Run for your lives. Ah! Okay, then. Thanks again for lunch, Skinner. I will definitely be going now. Don't worry, the zombies are harmless. Farewell. All right, then. Goodbye, Skinner. Come in, come in. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you for having me. I hope you like steamed bologna. It's my specialty. I, I'm sure it will be great. I just have to finish cooking it. Make yourself at home. Oh, no. I burned the bologna. What, what am I going to do? I can't give him burned bologna. He'll think I'm a terrible cook. I'll have to think of something. I could order takeout, but that would be too expensive. I could get some food from the cafeteria. That would be quick and easy. But not any money. I'll have to think of something. I could ask Mr. Chalmers for some money. What is going on here? It's full of smoke. I, uh, I was trying to make a smoky flavor. You were trying to set the kitchen on fire. No, no, of course not. I would never do that. Well, what were you doing? What is this? It's... oh, it's Bologna. That's not Bologna. It's... uh, it's a new type of Bologna. It's called Finnan. Where did you get it? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not. I was just trying to make a smoky flavor. You were trying to set the kitchen on fire. No, no, of course not. I would never do that. Well, what were you doing? Thank you for lunch. I have to go. I'm sorry it wasn't Bologna. That's okay. I like Finnan too. I'm glad you like it. I'll see you later. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Good evening, Skinner. It smells lovely in here. What are you cooking? Thank you, sir. It's a sour cherry stew. It'll be ready soon. Very nice. I look forward to tasting it. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Why did this have to happen to me? I worked so hard to make this cherry pie and it just got ruined. 
What did I do to deserve this? Is this some kind of cruel joke? God, if you're up there, please help me figure out a way to fix this. I guess I'll have to start over and see if I can salvage some of the cherries that didn't get ruined. I hope this isn't a sign that I should give up baking forever. Please, God, give me the strength to replace the burnt sour cherry with aubergines. Let me find the resources to make this swap successful. Amen. I know that I can do this. I'm sure I can find a way to make this work. I just have to be creative, stay focused, and put in the hard work. I can do this. I'm gonna find the aubergines, whatever it takes. I'm gonna make this work, and it's gonna be perfect. Let's start right now. Where can I find aubergines? I'll start by checking the local grocery store. Hopefully I'll find something that works. What is this smoke? And why is the kitchen full of it? Tell me the truth. It's just steam from the steam sour cherry tart I'm making, I swear. It looks like smoke, but it's just moisture from the fruit. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. No, wait. I can explain. There was a small fire in the oven, but I put it out before it got out of hand. I promise it won't happen again. Skinner, why are you giving us aubergines when I asked for sour cherries? Well, I wanted to give you something a bit more exotic. Aubergines are much more flavorful, and I thought you'd appreciate the change. Uh, but that doesn't explain why you didn't give me what I asked for. I wanted to surprise you with something different. I thought that it would be a nice change. But that still doesn't explain why you didn't give me what I asked for. Are you hiding something? Skinner, the kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh, no, you don't, Chalmers. That's not a fire. It's a tsunami. There is no need to call the fire department. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Please let me see the tsunami. No, I'm sorry, Chalmers. You can't see it. I'm telling you, it's a tsunami, and that's that. Okay, then I'm calling the fire department. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. No problem, Chalmers. Have a great day. You too. You know, I was just thinking that it almost looks like a tsunami out there. Crazy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got to go. Bye. Oh, Superintendent Chalmers, so glad you could make it. Please, come in. My wife is still cooking in the kitchen, but she'll be ready soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm looking forward to this dinner. May I help with anything? No, 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 don't worry. We got it all taken care of. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Ah, oh, I thank you. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, we're having a pleon tonight. It's my wife's specialty. Why does this always happen to me? I'm such a failure. I'm just not good at anything. Why can't I get anything right? God, why can't I do anything right? I'm sorry I messed up again. Please give me the strength to try again and help me to get it right this time. Please show me the way. God, if you can hear me, please help me find a way to replace this burnt-out pleone with an Opus Thorcus Vivarini. I know it won't be easy, but if anyone can help me find a way, it's you. Please show me a way to make this. I'm sure I can figure this out, but I need your help. Please lead me in the right direction and help me get a hold of the right materials and resources to get the job done. Thank you. Amen. Now, where do I start? I need to research the Opus Thorcus viverini to find out what species it is, where it is found, and how to acquire it. Then I will need to explore the best way to keep it alive in a captive environment. After that I need to gather the necessary resources, materials. What are you doing in here? What is this smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? Tell me the truth. It's nothing, sir. Just the steam from my pleone. I was just checking to make sure the windows were screened. 
free as I often do. Nothing to worry about. This isn't steam. It's smoke. Tell me what's really going on here. Okay, okay. I was making caramel popcorn and I may have let it burn a little. I was hoping to get the windows open before you noticed, but it's all okay now. I'll take care of the mess. Skinner, this isn't Pleon. What's going on? Ah, uh, well, you see, the Pleone was so rare and expensive, I thought it would be a better idea to substitute it with something equally exotic and delicious. So, I traded it for Opus Thorcus Viverini. It's a rare delicacy from the Eastern Hemisphere. I thought that it... Skinner, I don't believe you. This is not what I ordered. How do you expect me to trust you? Just tell me the truth. All right. The truth is that there was a shortage of Playon at the store, so I had to find something else to put in the dish. I apologize for the inconvenience, and I will make sure to order more Pleone for our next meal. Again, I apologize for the mix-up. Apology accepted, but please make sure that this doesn't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire! We have to get out of here. Nonsense. That's no fire. It must be the Loch Ness Monster. Skinner, this isn't a joke. We have to get out of here now. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to worry. It's just the Loch Ness Monster passing by. Would you like to see it? No, Skinner, I don't have time for this. We have to get out of here now. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should probably be going. I have other appointments to attend to. Oh, don't, don't let me keep you and a safe journey, Superintendent Chalmers. Oh, and don't believe all the rumors about a fire. It's probably just the Loch Ness Monster out for a midnight stroll. Ah, all right then. Take care, Principal Skinner. You too. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, see you next Tuesday. Do 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 do. Skinner always fools Chalmers when the truth comes out. He's slippery from head to toe and never hears a shout. Though his actions often leave a gaff or two. Skinner and Chalmers are in town tonight. See, Mora? Mora. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. Have a seat. Can I offer you something to drink? The pufferfish is cooking but not ready yet. That sounds lovely. Thank you. What a unique dish. Is it something you like to cook often? Yes, it's one of my specialties. It's a bit of a delicate process getting the puffer fish just right, but the results are definitely rewarding. Oh, gods, why me? How could I have made such a foolish mistake? I should have kept an eye on that fish. I'm so unlucky, I can't believe it. I guess I'll just have to start again and make something else. Well, I guess at least I'm lucky the smoke alarm didn't go off. I guess I should count my blessings. Oh, God, if you can hear me, I ask for help. Can you provide a way for me to replace this burnt puffer fish with something sweet and icy, like sorbetes? Please help me out of this sticky situation. I'll take whatever help I can get, be it a shortcut or a sign, a friend or a miracle, to make this puffer fish dish turn into something delicious instead. I'll be sure to thank you later, so please show me the way to help me out of this jam. Thank you. Now what to do next? What are you doing in here? Did you start a fire? Why are you climbing out the window? What's going on here? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. Just steaming up a delicious puffer fish. It's a delicate process and produces a lot of steam which might make it seem like there's a fire, but I assure you there's none. I'm just preparing a meal for lunch. Well, whatever you're doing, it's making a lot of smoke. So I need to know the truth. Have you started a fire or not? No, I promise there's no fire. 
It's just the steam from the puffer fish. I'm sorry if it looks suspicious, but I can assure you I'm not doing anything wrong. Skinner, what's going on here? Why isn't there puffer fish? Uh, Regional Expression Chief. I know Pufferfish is a classic, but I thought it would be fun to try a new twist on an old favorite. So, I got Sorbetes. Trust me, it's just as good. I, I don't believe it. Are you trying to tell me you got rid of the Pufferfish without consulting me? No one makes changes to my menu without my permission. No, no, you misunderstand me, Chief. I got the pufferfish, but it came in a somewhat different form. I mean, when I received it, it was already shaped like sorbetes. I thought that might be a good way to mix things up a bit, so I went with it. It. That's a lie, and you know it. You were trying to get away with something here, Skinner. You had no intention of actually getting pufferfish, so you switched it out for something else without consulting me. That's why I'm demanding an explanation now. What is going on here? The kitchen is on fire. We have to put it out. Oh, no. I'm afraid that's not it. It must be homunculus. What? What is homunculus? It's an ancient and powerful force that we cannot comprehend. It's best to just leave it alone. But there's clearly a fire in the kitchen. We have to put it out. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. All the same, I'm getting a little worried about that fire. Maybe we should do something about it? Oh, don't be silly. It's just my homunculus acting up again. It will be all right. Are you sure? It looks like the house might be burning down. Nonsense. That's just the homunculus way of expressing himself. There's no need to worry. But what if the fire spreads? Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Let me take your coat. Something smells delicious. Is that beef tongue I smell cooking? Indeed it is. I'm quite fond of beef tongue. Is it nearly ready? Not quite. We have a few more minutes. Would you like to have a seat and have a drink in the meantime? Damn it. I burned the beef tongue. I can't believe I messed this up. I'm such an idiot. I should have known better. I never learn. How could I be so stupid? Ugh. Well, now what am I going to do? This is going to ruin dinner. I guess I'll have to start over. That scotch bonnet pepper out there looks like it's just what I need to make this dish right. I'll grab it and get to work. Damn it, why can't I ever remember to buy it in advance? All right, here we go. Time to get to work. Now let's see, maybe I can chop up the pepper and mix it with the beef tongue. I think that might just do the trick. Oh, I should also add some garlic and cumin to really bring out the flavors. All right, here we go. Time to get to cooking. I just have to remember to be careful with the scotch bonnet. It's definitely not something to be messed around with. All right, let's do this. What is going on in here? This place is full of smoke. Is there a fire? No, no, no. It's just steam from the steamed beef tongue I'm making for Homer for dinner. Nothing to worry about. I want the truth, Skinner. Is there a fire? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Yes, there is a small fire. I was trying to put it out with the fire extinguisher, but it didn't work. Skinner, what is this? I asked for beef tongue, not scotch bonnet. Ah, uh, Professor Chalmers, I'm so glad you asked. This is a special new dish that our supplier just started offering. It's called scorched bovine tongue, and it's supposed to be even more flavorful than regular beef tongue. We thought you would enjoy it even more. Skinner. That's just not true. Are you trying to tell me I've been served scotch bonnet instead of beef tongue? No, of course not. I assure you the supplier sent us the correct item. These scotch bonnets are grown in special greenhouses, 
and they have a unique flavor that our customers love, trust me, you won't be disappointed. Skinner, I'm not sure what to believe. Are you sure this is the correct item? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, no. That's just Bigfoot. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, let me see it. What is really going on? No, no, no. It's just Bigfoot. I'm telling you. Skinner, I'm not going to be satisfied until I see it for myself. Let me see it. Well, I should be going. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. Oh, any time. Anything to get away from the dreaded paperwork. Say, do you hear something? What's that sound? It sounds like something burning. Is the house on fire? No, I'm just hearing things. It's probably just Bigfoot. He's known to flit about these parts from time to time. Ah, I see. Well, I'd best be on my way then. Goodbye. Dr. Chalmers, please come in. You're just in time. The Mahamra isn't quite ready yet, but it won't be long now. Thank you so much, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. What is it? It's a traditional Middle Eastern spread. Muhammara is a spiced pepper and walnut dip. It's usually served with pizza or other flatbreads. Sounds intriguing. Is there anything else I can do to help? No, 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 please just make yourself comfortable. I'm sure it won't be too much longer. Oh, I can't believe I burned the Muhammara. I worked so hard on getting that right. What a waste. Well, I guess it's time to start over. I'll make a fresh batch and try again. I know I can do it. Uh-huh. I think I might be able to make a swap. If I can just get my hands on some macaroons. Now, how to get some macaroons? I could drive to the store, but with all the traffic, that would take too long. I could ask a neighbor, but that would be too awkward. Maybe I could look online and have some delivered. Yes, that's the easiest solution. I'll just have to hope they have macaroons. Okay, time to get to work. What are you doing in here? Why is it so full of smoke? Oh, hey, nothing. It's just a little steam from the steamed muhammara I'm cooking. Just the spices releasing their aroma. Skinner, I can see flames coming from the oven. This kitchen is on fire. Oh no, okay, you got me. I was trying to put out the blaze with this pot of muhammara, but clearly it's not working. Skinner, why did you bring us macaroons when we asked for muhammara? Uh, well, I had heard that... Macaroons were a type of Muhammara, so I thought I'd bring the traditional version to everyone. I understand if you're not pleased, but I thought it would be a nice surprise. Skinner, that's not true. Macaroons have nothing to do with Muhammara. Where did you really get this food from? Well, it was a special request from the cafeteria staff. They wanted to surprise everyone with something unique, so they asked me to get these special macaroons from a local bakery. I'm sure you'll love the taste. That still doesn't explain why you got them instead of the Mohamara we ordered. It's obvious to me that the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, it's just a false sunrise. We should just stay here and ignore it. Uh, let me see for myself. Is it safe to go in there? No, I don't think it's safe. It's probably just a false sunrise. We should stay here for now. This isn't just a false sunrise. It's a real fire. We need to take action right away. Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I've got to go now. See you later. Oh, of course. Take care now. Bye. A false sunrise. That's all I need to see. Um, okay. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in. The Caseropita will still be a little while, but it should be ready soon. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful already. 
It's coming along nicely. Please have a seat. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? We have some freshly brewed cider. That sounds wonderful. Thank you. I'll be right back with that then. Ah, uh, I can't believe I burned the casserole pita. Um, maybe I could try making something else. Or maybe I could just order takeout. What do you think, Jim? Ah, uh, I think I've got it. What about that Orbia tree outside? I'll break a few branches off it, dry them out, and make my own casserole pita. That should do the trick. Let me give it a try. Uh, this looks promising. Now, how should I make it work? Some baking powder, sesame seeds, and walnuts should do the trick. And with the help of the fictional character I'm talking to, I'm sure I'll get it right. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you cooking something? No, I'm just steaming some casserole pita. It's the only way to make it the right way. That doesn't explain why there's so much smoke. You need to be honest with me. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just heating up the pan a little too much. That's all. Skinner, why are you trying to pass off Orbia as casserole pita? Well, Professor Chalmers, Orbia is a traditional Greek pastry that's actually even more delicious than Caserapita. I thought you and the students would appreciate the change. But, Skinner, I specifically asked you to bring Caserapita. Why didn't you follow my instructions? I'm sorry, Professor. I thought I remembered you telling me to bring Orbia instead. I must have been mistaken. Skinner, this is mad enough. What is really going on here? Skinner, why won't you just admit that there is a fire in the kitchen? No, no, it couldn't be. It must be hauntings. If you don't believe me, you can't see it for yourself. Well, I'd really like to see it for myself, then. Can I have a look? No, it's too dangerous. You'll have to take my word for it. But I need to know for sure if there really is a fire. I can't just take your word for it. Can I get a second opinion? Someone else who knows about fires to take a look. Well, thank you for the lunch, Mr. Skinner. I must be getting back now. Of course, Dr. Chalmers. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye. 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 Oh, one more thing. Is there a fire in the house? Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. We were just getting ready to eat. The Akna isn't quite ready yet, but it won't be too long. Ah, great. It smells delicious. I've been looking forward to this for some time now. Yes, I'm glad you could make it. Why don't you take a seat in the living room and make yourself comfortable? Can I get you something to drink? Yes, that would be wonderful. I'll take a glass of white wine if you have it. Of course, I'll be right back with that. Damn it. How could I be so stupid? That Akna was supposed to be my dinner tonight. Oh, this is just great. Oh, this is just great. I can't believe I did this. Pause. Hey, you know who else likes burnt foo? The devil. Maybe he can help me fix this mess. Hey, devil, what do you think I should do? Now I need a plan to replace the burned-out machinery of Mars in. I'll take a look around and see if I can find something that can help me out. Let's go, devil. Let's find something that can help us make Mars, Inc. Better than ever before. <laughs> Maybe those parts in the scrapyard can help. Maybe I can salvage some machinery and repair it to get the job done right. That's it. I'll go scavenge some machinery and see if I can bring Mars, Inc. Back to life. Here's to a successful mission. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's just steam from the steamed Akna I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Don't try to lie to me. The kitchen is on fire. What did you do? Uh, I, I didn't mean to. 
I was just trying to make dinner and it, it must have got out of control. What do you mean the food is Mars in? That's not the food I ordered. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the delivery driver must have made a mistake. He must have accidentally switched it up with another order. I'm sure it's still just as delicious. Skinner, I'm not an idiot. I know what I'm being lied to, so tell me what is really going on here. All right. It's not what it seems. I wanted to surprise you with something a bit different, so I asked the delivery driver to switch up the order. I thought you'd love it. So you admit it? You changed the order? The kitchen is on fire! What are you doing to put it out? I can't see any fire. It must be Will. Oh. The wisp. Can you show me that? Yes, of course. I can show you. There's a fire. It's right there. No, I'm quite sure it must be Will. Oh, the wisp. I don't see any fire. Okay, let me show you then. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be getting going now, though. Are you sure you're okay here? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I better head inside and get some work done. Don't mind the fire. It's just a will. Oh, the wisps. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, then. Have a good day, Skinner. You too, Chalmers. See you soon? If you say so. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. The smell of potato pancakes is tantalizing. It won't be long now until they're ready. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. I'd be delighted. May I ask, what else is cooking? It smells delicious in here. I'm making a borscht with beets and cabbage, and I also have some herring. Would you like something to drink? I have tea and beer. Uh... I always do this. I can't believe I burned my potato pancake. I'm such an idiot. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now I know red cabbage goes nicely with potato pancakes. I'm sure if I just go out and grab some of the red cabbage from outside, I can make a delicious replacement for the burnt potato pancake. Let's see, I'll need to slice the cabbage thinly, then fry it up in some butter and season it. That should do it. Now all I have to do is find a way to get the red cabbage out of the garden without anyone noticing. Ah, uh, ha, uh, I have it. I'll build a makeshift basket out of sticks and put the cabbage in it. That way I can carry the red cabbage back without leaving any evidence of me taking it. It's worth a shot. Here goes nothing. Skinner! What on earth are you doing, and why is this kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just a little bit of steam. I was cooking some rice, and it boiled over a bit. That may be true, but this kitchen is definitely full of smoke. I demand you tell me the truth. Well, I was trying to make some toast, and I think I may have left it in for too long. There may be a small fire in the toaster oven. What do you mean this isn't potato pancake? That's not what I ordered. This is an ordinary red cabbage. This is special red cabbage. It's been specially harvested from a secret location in the Austrian Alps. It's been infused with a unique blend of spices, giving it an incredibly unique flavor. That sounds highly doubtful. I think you just swapped out the potato pancake for red cabbage to save time and money. No, I assure you that the red cabbage is of the highest quality. It's been rigorously tested and certified by some of the world's leading chefs. In fact, some of them have praised it as one of the most flavorful and nutritious vegetables they have ever tasted. I'm not buying it! I want the potato pancake that I ordered. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something about it before it spreads. No, that can't be right. I think it's probably just a natural phenomenon like a strange alette. There's no way it could be a fire. It's definitely a fire. We should get some help to put it out before it spreads any further. No, that's impossible. 
It must be a strange alert, like I said before. Skinner, you need to open your eyes and see the kitchen is actually on fire. We have to take steps to put it out, or it could spread to the rest of the house. Are you sure there isn't something wrong? It certainly smells like smoke in here. No, no, it's just an old wood-burning stove. Nothing to worry about. If you say so. Anyway, thanks for lunch. I should be getting back to the office now. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. This place looks homey. Yes, I like to think so. I'm cooking us some super saturation, but it's not quite ready yet. Would you like a drink while we wait? I'd love one. What do you have? I have a selection of beers, wines, and spirits. What can I get you? How could I have been so careless? I knew that super saturation was a delicate process. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. Maybe there is still something left I can salvage from this mess. I'm going to have to be more careful next time. If I could just find something out there that could act as a substitute for supersaturation and really help with this problem, then I could get back to Shrove Monday in no time. I'm sure there's something out there that could help. Maybe I'll get lucky and find something that's just what I need. Okay, here I go. Let's see what I can find. Ah, uh, look at that. That unusual shaped piece of wood looks like it could be the perfect replacement. I think I've got it! Haha, <laughs> brilliant. Now I'm one step closer to getting back to Shrove Monday. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Uh, I'm making steam super saturation and the smoke is just from that. I don't believe you, Skinner. What's really going on here? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just the steam from the steam super saturation I'm making, I swear. Skinner! What is going on here? This isn't super saturation, it's Shrove Monday. Why are you not telling me the truth? Well, this had to be done in order to maintain a high level of food quality and hygiene. We had to switch it up in order to keep things fresh and interesting. What does that have to do with supersaturation? Stop lying to me, Skinner. I want the truth. All right, I admit it. We ran out of ingredients for supersaturation and had to find an alternative. But I guarantee you, Shrove Monday is just as delicious. That's not the point, Skinner. Why didn't you just tell me the truth in the first place? Skinner, what is going on in the kitchen? Oh, nothing much. Why do you ask? It's probably just Moonbows. Moonbows? I'd like to see that. I'm sorry, I can't show you that right now. It's too faint and won't be visible for much longer. But, Skinner, I can smell smoke. Is there a fire in the kitchen? Thank you for lunch, Dr. Skinner. I must be going now, though. I have to get back to work. Yes, of course. Take care now, and have a safe journey. Goodbye. 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 Wait, what's that smell? I think your house is burning. Welcome, Superintendent. Please come in. I'm sorry for the mess. Sinefranchitia is busy cooking, but she's not quite done yet. Thank, thank you. It smells wonderful. Yes, it does. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? Oh, God. What have I done? I was so caught up in trying to make this dinner special that I let myself get distracted. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I will make it right, I promise. Now I just have to figure out what I can do with the burned sign of Franchettia. Maybe I can salvage something with some creative thinking. 
Oh, Lord, I have seen something outside the window that I believe can help me replace the Bernsino Franchutia. Please give me the courage, strength, and clarity to gather the materials and craft a new Fingles. Amen. Now, what do I need? Obviously, I'll need plenty of strong, durable wood. And some good rust resistant metal for the hinges and locks. What about a few pieces of clear glass for the windows? Ah, yes, and some paint. I, uh, I think those materials should be enough for me to get started. I know I can do it. Thank you, Lord, for helping me find a way to bring this Bernson of Franchisha back to life. Now I just need to figure out how to get all these materials. Skinner, what are you doing? The kitchen is filled with smoke. Are you trying to set the place on fire? No, uh, of course not. Just making some steamed Cinefranchetia. Nothing to worry about here. Cinefranchetia? That doesn't sound like something that would make smoke. I think you're trying to hide the fact that the kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. It's just steam from the steamed Cinefranchetia. A perfectly normal cooking process. Nothing to worry about. Dr. Skinner, what is this? This isn't the Sinner Franchetti I ordered. Oh, no, no, no. This is a much rarer and more exotic variety. It's called Fingals. It's only found in certain parts of the world. Very expensive and very delicious. But this doesn't look anything like the Sinner Franchetti I ordered. Are you sure this is what you were sent? Absolutely. You can trust me. I know my produce. This Fingles is much more flavorful than Sina Franchitia. You won't be disappointed. In fact, I'm sure you'll be delighted with the results. But why would the supplier have sent us something different? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We should take care of it now. No, no, no. That's not a fire. It's just some water spouts. I don't think we need to worry about it. Can I see it for myself? No, it's nothing. Let's just leave it be. Skinner, this could be serious. We need to take action before it gets out of hand. Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. Sorry about the house. I'm sure you'll get it sorted out. Oh, right. Yes, I'm sure it's just a few water spouts. No need to worry. Have a good afternoon. I am sure it's a lot more than just a few water spouts, but okay. Bye. Bye. Ah, Skinner. The house is still burning down. Do-do-do-do. There's Skinner. Always slick. And Chalmers. He's not so bright. Skinner lies. And Chalmers believes. It's quite a sight. No one knows just what will happen. When these two collide, it's Skinner and Chalmers. In town tonight. See you more. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Chocolate candy. I'm still in the process of making it. Would you like to stay and wait until it's done? That would be lovely. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Very well, I will go check on it. Would you like something to drink while you wait? What did I do? How could I have been so careless? I must have been in too much of a hurry. Now the whole batch is ruined. I'll have to start over from scratch and I don't have time for that. What a mess. I'm really mad at myself for not paying more attention. I guess I'll just have to accept the loss and move on. If I can just get some way, that ought to do the trick. Maybe I should go and see if there's a store around that sells it. Or maybe I could go out to the farm and get some fresh. Wait, that would be better. I'll just have to be creative and figure out a way to get what I need. Yes, that's it. I'll go out and find a way to get my hands on some fresh way and make the best burnt chocolate candy ever. Here I go. Wish me luck. What in the world is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke and you're climbing out of the window. 
What's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just making some steamed chocolate candy. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Nothing to worry about. Don't try giving me a line of bees. I know something is going on here and I demand to know what it is. Okay, fine. The kitchen is on fire. I was trying to put it out before it spreads, but I wasn't able to do it. Now that you know, can you help me put out the fire? Skinner, what's going on here? This is not chocolate candy. Where did the chocolate candy go? This is a regional delicacy. We thought it would be a nice change of pace. It's called whey. It's actually a very popular regional snack. It's made from cow's milk and has an exceptionally creamy texture and a unique taster and a unique taste. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Are you trying to pull a fast one on me? No, sir. I assure you, this is an authentic regional treat. Many people find it quite delicious. I, I don't think so. I think you're lying to me. Where's the chocolate candy? Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. What are you doing? No, no, there's no fire. It's just Luska. It's harmless. Nothing to worry about. Shh, show me the Luska. Let me see it so that I can be sure there's no fire. No, sorry, you can't see the Luska. It's too dangerous for you to be near it. But I'm worried that the kitchen is on fire. You need to show me the Luska so I can be sure there's no danger. Ah, Skinner. I think the house is on fire. Oh, don't be absurd. It's just the Luska. We can take care of it after lunch. No, I'm serious, Skinner. Look. Hum. All right, it looks like there may be a fire. We better get out of here. Yes. Let's. I'm gonna call the fire department. Uh... Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please. Come in. The cherry stone clam is cooking, but it won't be ready for a few more minutes. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. Can I help you with anything? No, I have it all under control. You can have a seat while I finish up. Would you like something to drink? That would be lovely. Thank you. I have some nice white wine, or I could make you a cup of tea. Oh, God, what have I done? I can't believe I burned the cherry stone clam. Please forgive me for my foolishness and help me get back on track. I cannot undo what has been done, but I can learn from this mistake and come out a better cook. I know that I must use better judgment in the kitchen from now on and take my time to prepare meals the right way, with care and attention. Oh, Lord, please. Help me find something outside this window that will help me replace this burnt cherry stone clam with Nova Scotia locks. I'm sure there must be something out there that can help me out. Please, Lord, show me what I can use and provide me with the wisdom to use it. I'm in. Now let me go see what I can find. Oh, there it is. A fishing net. I'll use this to replace the clam with some fresh locks from the Atlantic Ocean. I can think of no better way to make this meal memorable. Thank you, Lord, for providing me with the resources I needed to make this meal special. Skinner. What is going on here? What is all this smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, 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 sir. This is just steam. There's no fire here. All this smoke is just coming from the skillet I was using to heat up some food. I wasn't expecting it to be so smoky. Do you really expect me to believe that? Get that fire put out now? Yes, sir. Right away. What do you mean, Nova Scotia locks? I ordered cherry stone clam. Where did this come from? Well, sir, you see, this particular lox is from a very special species of fish known as the Nova Scotia lox. It's a rare variety originally inhabiting the deep depths of the North Atlantic. It's a highly sought after delicacy, and it just so happened that we were able to... I don't care about all that! Just tell me why you get me lox instead of cherry stone clams! Well, it was quite a complicated process. You see, when the shipment of clams arrived, they had already been sold out. 
So to make up for it, I decided to upgrade it to the Nova Scotia Lox. As I'm sure you can imagine, this rare species of fish is far more expensive. That's not an acceptable excuse. I want to know why you lied to me. What were you trying to accomplish? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out. No, 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 don't panic. It's just a small cooking fire that we can easily extinguish. Nothing to worry about. Ah, but the flames and smoke. That's not a little cooking fire. Ah, uh, it's just a bit of smoke from the stove. Don't worry, we can handle it. No, we really need to get everyone out of here before it spreads. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. Oh, it looks like the house is on fire. Whoa. Get out of the house, everyone. Get out now. Do you need help? Yes, please. Call the fire department and tell them the address. Right away. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Interesting aroma coming from the kitchen. Oh, that's just summer squash. It's not quite finished cooking yet. Wow, so, sounds delicious. I'll have to try some when it's ready. Absolutely. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have left the squash in the oven for so long. Now it's burned to a crisp. I guess I'll have to make something else for dinner now. Well, I suppose I could always order a pizza or something. Um... Maybe I could use the whiting I just saw outside the window as a substitute for the burnt summer squash. All right, I'm giving it a go. I'm going to prepare the whiting the same way I prepared the summer squash. I'll need to make sure that the flavor is just right. All right. I think I'm ready. Let's see how this turns out. Well, that's not bad. I actually think this might work as a substitute for the burnt summer squash. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on? Nothing, sir. It's just steam. I was cooking something and it's just letting off a lot of steam. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me. I can smell the fire. What is burning back there? Mmm. I was boiling some carrots and I guess they boiled too long. Nothing to worry about, sir. Skinner, what kind of food is this? It doesn't look like summer squash. Oh, that. It's the new summer squash. We had it specially flown in from a secret garden in the heart of South America. It's the latest superfood craze, full of vitamins and minerals. It's going to revolutionize school lunches. I I'm not sure I believe you, Skinner. Are you sure this is summer squash? Absolutely. My sources are highly reliable. In fact, this is the exact same variety of summer squash that is served in the five-star restaurants of Paris. That sounds a bit far-fetched. Let's have a taste and see what it is. Skinner! There is a fire in the kitchen. I can see the flames. And I can smell the smoke. There is no denying it. No, Chalmers, I'm sure it's just geomagnetic storms. There's no need to panic. Let's just stay here and observe the interesting phenomenon. Skinner, this is not a natural phenomenon. We need to do something about this fire before it gets worse. No, no, no. I'm certain this is just a natural occurrence. Let's just stand here and observe. It'll be fascinating. Skinner, this is not a scientific experiment. This is a real fire and it needs to be put out. We need to call the fire department and evacuate immediately. Thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. I should be getting going now, though. I think I hear the fire alarms. Oh, don't worry about that. Those geomagnetic storms have been messing with our systems all morning. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Um, it does smell like something's burning, though. Are you sure it's nothing serious? 
Trust me, it's nothing to worry about. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go check it out. Have a nice day. Okay, sure. Bye. Let me get that for you, Chalmers. Thank you. How was your day? It was okay. The milk chocolate isn't ready yet. Uh, it's okay. I'll get it for you. I'm an idiot. I burned the milk chocolate. What was I thinking? I could have ruined dinner. Great Artemis, I beseech you to help me replace the burnt milk chocolate with wildfowl. Cometh forth thy bountiful spirit and give me thy favor so that I may succeed. I will do anything you ask of me. Just please help me replace the chocolate. Please, great Artemis, give me thy favor and help me replace the burnt milk chocolate with wildfowl. I will do anything in return. Thank you, great Artemis. I am grateful for your help. I will succeed in replacing the burnt milk chocolate with wildfowl thanks to your favor. Thank you, great Artemis. Your help is invaluable. Skinner, what's going on in here? The kitchen's on fire. Oh, must be the steam. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was on fire. What do you mean you didn't realize it was on fire? This kitchen is full of smoke. I don't know, no. Maybe the stove is on too high? Skinner, why did you swap the food? I don't know, I just got a funny feeling and... Thought it would be funny. That's not an answer, Skinner. You can't just make up a story like that and expect me to believe it. I didn't make up a story. I swapped the food because I thought it would be funny. Okay, that's not an answer either. You're lying to me, Skinner. Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. I don't see any flames. There must be something blocking the light. There's nothing blocking the light. Then the kitchen must be on fire. And that's how Skinner and I met. He was trying to save me from being burned alive, and I was trying to save his house from burning down. Pretty dramatic. You have no idea. Nope, but I'm glad I could help. You're the best, Skinner. Come in. Make yourself at home. I'm sorry, Professor Chalmers, the Pre-Pyrenees isn't quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? Yeah, thank you. I'd like a glass of wine if you have it. Certainly. Red or white? Red, please. Coming right up. I'll be right back. Oh no, this is not how I wanted it to turn out. I worked so hard on these and I can't believe I screwed it up like this. Now I'm gonna have to start all over. What did I do wrong? I have to figure this out so I don't make the same mistake next time. I... I think I can use that piece of wood outside the window as a replacement for the burnt pre-Pyrenees. I need to find a way to secure it and make it look like a real chasson. I know I can do it if I just think it through and put my mind to it. Let's see, I could use some nails and brackets to attach it and maybe add some paint to make it look more like a chasan. And I can use some wood glue to make sure it's firmly secured. Okay, I think I've got it. Now to get to work. Tools! Where are the tools I need? Ah... Uh, found them? What is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just making steamed pre-Pyrenees. It's perfectly safe. Well, it doesn't exactly look safe. What's really going on here? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just the steam from the pre-Pyrenees, I swear. Skinner, I can clearly see that the food is not pre-Pyrenees. So what is really going on here? Uh, this is a secret government program to experiment with different types of food, and I can't tell you anything else. It's all part of a grand conspiracy. Come on, Skinner. Don't make up fanciful stories. Just admit the truth and tell me what's really going on. Okay, fine. This isn't pre-Pyrenees, it's Chasen. 
I accidentally mixed up the orders and this is the only food I have to replace it with. I see. Thank you for finally being honest with me. What is going on there? Is there a fire? No, it's just geomagnetic storms. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you just let me handle it? No, I want to see the kitchen. Let me in. No, it's too dangerous. I'll handle it. I insist on seeing the kitchen. There could be a serious problem. That was a nice lunch, Principal Skinner. I should get going, though. Looks like something is burning down out there. Um, that's just some geomagnetic storms we're having. Nothing to worry about. Well, all right. I'll see you later, then. Have a nice day. You too? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. So glad you could join us for dinner. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. We're just finishing up in the kitchen. The Paolo won't be ready for a few more minutes. But can I get you a drink in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm fine. Then let's sit down and get acquainted. Please take a seat. Damn it. I've ruined the Perenica. I was so close to getting it just right. Now I have to start all over again. This is why I should stick with food I'm good at. I'm never going to get the hang of this. Uh, that's it. I'll use that old barrel over there. It looks like it would hold enough mujde to replace the burnt perenica. I just need to find a way to get it inside. Hum, I could try carrying it through the door, but it looks pretty heavy. Maybe I... I know. I'll drag it over to the window and climb out to get it. That should do the trick. Time to get to work. Okay, here we go. One, two, heave. Don't lie to me, Skinner. What is going on here? This entire kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the place down? No, no. It's just steam from the steamed perenica I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I'm not an idiot. This isn't steam. It's clearly smoke. Now tell me the truth. What is happening? Uh, uh, may have burned some bacon, but it's all under control. No need to worry. Skinner! Why did you give us much day instead of Perenica? Actually, the Perenica was in short supply, so I decided to be adventurous and surprise you all with the unique taste of Mouge Day. It's a very rare Romanian delicacy. I figured you'd all enjoy something different for a change. But Skinner, why would you assume everyone would enjoy a rare Romanian delicacy? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I did some research and discovered that Mojde is a popular food choice among culinary connoisseurs. I thought it would be a nice treat for everyone here. I don't believe you. I think you got the order wrong and decided to make up a story to cover it up. Is that what happened? What is going on? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. Oh, no, I don't think so. It must be the rapture. I'm sure of it. Really? Can I take a look for myself? No, I don't think that's a good idea. It looks like this is the end of the world. We can't risk getting too close to it. Then how do you know it's the rapture? That was one weird lunch. Goodbye, Skinner. No, don't go. Stay and enjoy the rapture. There's something wrong here. The house is on fire. No, no, my dear. It's just the light of the rapture. Skinner, the house is burning down. We need to get out of here. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. Something smells delicious. It's a scuppernong pie I'm working on. It's almost ready, but not quite there yet. 
Ah, well, I look forward to trying it then. What can I do to help? Oh, oh no, it's all taken care of. In the meantime, why don't you have a seat and I'll make us some tea? I can't believe this. How could I have been so careless? I wanted to make a special dessert for tonight and I've ruined it. What am I going to do now? Uh, I guess I'll have to figure out something else. I'll just have to start over and try something else. I think I see some lemon trees outside the window. I should be able to replace the burnt scupper nong with lemons if I can just find a way to get to them. Now let me see. How can I get to those trees? Maybe if I find a ladder, I can climb up and pick some lemons from the branches. Yes, that seems doable. I better start looking for a ladder. I'll also need a basket to collect the lemons. I have to make sure I'm prepared to climb the trees and pick the fruit. All right, now I'm ready. Time to make my way to the lemon trees. What is going on here? This kitchen is filled with smoke. What are you doing? Oh, it's not smoke. It's just steam from the steam scupper nong I'm making. Nothing to worry about. What? Steam? No? This is definitely smoke. Is something on fire? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Really, it's just steam. Mr. Skinner, I asked for scupper nong. Why are you giving me the lemons? Well, you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. That's not what I asked for. Where is the scupper nong? Uh, the scupper nong. Well, it's a funny story, Professor. You see, I was on my way to get the scupper nong, but I got lost in the jungle and stumbled across a lemon grove. I decided to take some of the lemon grove. I decided to take some of the lemons as a sign of good luck. I find that highly unlikely. Where is the scupper nong? Come on, Skinner! There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to act now. No need to worry, sir. It appears to be a chickatrice infestation. I can handle it. I, I don't believe. Show me. No, sir. I'm afraid I cannot. It could be dangerous. We must wait for the professionals. I'm not going to wait. I insist on seeing it. Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I probably should be getting back to work. Oh, yes, of course. Have a good one. You too. Don't worry. There's no fire here. Just a wonderful smell of chickatrice cooking in the kitchen. Ah, okay then. See you later. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. Have a seat, Superintendent. The Hainuel is cooking, but it isn't quite ready yet. Ah, Hainuel. Sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite dishes. It's a traditional West African dish made with fish, veggies, and spices. How could I be so stupid? I can't believe I've burned the Hainuel. How am I going to explain this to my family? This was supposed to be so special. Uh, I need to figure out something. I guess I'll just try to make something else to make up for it. I think I see a tree branch out there that looks like it might make a perfect replacement for the Bernthine whale. I'm gonna go out and take a closer look. This might just work. I'm gonna need some tools to trim it down a bit, but I think I can make this work. Right, let's get to it then. Time to go get my tools and get to work. Here we go. Just one step at a time, and I'm sure I can make this work. I'm the master of my own destiny. I can do this. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? And what are you doing climbing out the window? Hey, I'm just making some steamed Hanuel. It's a traditional dish from the island of Pentecost in Vanuatu. The cooking process produces a lot of steam, which explains the smoke. That still doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. Um, I was just getting some fresh air. It's stuffy in here. You told me you were getting Hanuel. What's going on here? Oh, 
This is a special variation on Honey Well. It's a twist on the traditional recipe, and the ingredients are sourced locally. I'm sure you and your guests will love it. But this isn't High Noel. It looks nothing like it. Oh, appearances can be deceiving. I consulted with a few leading experts in the field and they said this would be a hit. Plus, it'll save us time and money in preparation. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> But you said you were getting hangy well. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something now. Oh no, no, it's not. It's just moon rainbows. Don't worry. No, I'm sure there's a fire. Can you please show me? No, it's definitely just moon rainbows. Don't worry. I'm not convinced. I need to see the fire to believe it. Can you at least show me the source of the light? Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was delicious. Oh my goodness, what's that smell? Oh, that's just the scent of moon rainbows, I guess. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I should be going now. Good. Bye. Bye now. Wait, what's that noise? Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, it's so good to see you. Please come in. I hope you're hungry. I'm just putting the finishing touches on a hunter's chicken. I'll have it served up in no time. Thank you, Skinner. It certainly smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, I have it all under control. Why don't you have a seat, and I'll get you a glass of wine while you're waiting. That sounds wonderful. Thank you. Of course. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a jiffy. Damn it. How could I be so stupid? I worked so hard on this meal, and now it's ruined. I guess I'm just not cut out to be a chef. Well, it's too late now. I just have to accept that I made a mistake and move on. Uh... Alepidea pedunculares. This plant is the perfect substitute for the burnt hunter's chicken. I'll just need to find a way to get it to the burned hunter. First, I need to find out where I can get these plants. I should do some research online to find out more. Next, I'll need to figure out how to get the plants to the burned hunter. Maybe I need to look into a delivery service. Finally, I'll need to make sure the plants are in good shape when they arrive. I should see if I can find some tips on caring for them. What is going on in here? Nothing. Just cooking a steamed hunter's chicken. Don't worry, it's all steam. No fire here. If there's no fire, then what's the smoke coming from? Uh... Well, maybe I got a little too enthusiastic with the cooking oil. But seriously, the smoke shouldn't be an issue. It's just steam. Skinner, we both know that's not Hunter's chicken. What's really going on here? Uh, I have to confess. It's a long story, but I thought some of our diners might like a bit of variety in their meal. So I went on a quest to find a super rare and exotic food that no one has ever tasted before. And I found it. A leptodia ped. Skinner, that's not even a real food. What is it? It's a rare type of flower from the remote rainforests of South America. It's renowned for its exquisite flavor and nutritional value. I thought it would be a nice surprise for our diners. Well, you certainly surprise me. But this is not what we ordered, and I think our diners deserve to know the truth. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must take action right away. What? There's no fire here, just a will, a wisp. If you can see a fire, then show it to me. No. I can smell the smoke and feel the heat. We must take action now.
The fire is getting worse. No, there is no fire here. It must be a will of the wisp. There's no point in wasting our resources just to show it to you. You need to take me seriously right now. The kitchen is on fire. We must act quickly or else it will spread. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should get going. Of course, no problem. Have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Shouldn't you be getting back? Hmm, yeah, I suppose I should be. Bye, Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The black olive isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it'll be delicious when it's done. The black olive? Sounds intriguing. What inspired such a dish? My mother used to make it for us when I was a kid. It's a unique combination of spices and herbs and various other ingredients. I thought it would make a nice change from the usual dinner fare. Well, I'm sure it will be very tasty. I look forward to trying it. Me too. Shall we go into the living room and have a drink while we wait? I can't believe I burned the black olive. That was the best part of this dish. Now it's all ruined. What am I going to do? I guess I'll just have to start over. I'm going to need some new ingredients. Mmm. -hmm. This is gonna take forever. I think I see a way to get what I need. I just need to get to that blood orange tree over there. Let's see if I can find something to help me get there. Hmm. I think I could use a ladder or some kind of rope. I could probably tie it to the tree or somehow climb up it. Uh, I guess I just have to figure out how to get there. I'll have to be careful though, since I'm all alone. Time to get creative. I know. I'll use a couple of chairs and a blanket to make a makeshift rope. I can tie it to the tree and climb up to get the oranges I need. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen so full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? No, 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 nothing's on fire, I swear. It's just steam from the steamed black olives I'm making. That's all. What? Are you telling me the truth? This better not be some kind of cover? No, I swear. Nothing's burning, I promise. What is this? This isn't black olives. Ah, uh, yes. It's, uh... A special type of olive. It's a rare variety that only grows in the volcanic soils of the Andes. It's much more flavorful than the regular olives. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. This doesn't look like olives. It's orange. Yeah, yes. These are a special type of olive that are naturally orange. It's not something you see very often, so I thought you would appreciate it. Skinner, this is a blood orange. What's going on here? Hey, Skinner, is the kitchen on fire? No, it must be a supernatural phenomenon. It must be a ghost. Wait, is it really a ghost? Can I see it? No, of course not. It's a ghost. You can't see it. Okay, then I'm calling the fire department. It was great catching up, Skinner, but I gotta go. There's an emergency back at home. See you later. Oh, okay then. Don't forget to come back soon. I'll make lunch again. Bye. Bye. Say hi to everyone for me. Will do. Everything is normal. Don't worry about a thing. Okay then. Bye. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, all wrapped up in lies. Some funny schemes and tall tales in disguise. One laugh and a chill. Skinner's always thrillin'. They cause all sorts of mischievous thrillin'. In school today, causing all kinds of mayhem. It's the dynamic duo, causing delight and alarm. Skinner's up to something. It's plain to see. He's always getting Chalmers in trouble and he. Looks so smug and satisfied. Surely nothing can go wrong. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See you tomorrow! Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. 
Thank you, Principal Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. Yes, I've been busy in the kitchen whipping up some of my famous broad beans. They should be ready in a few minutes if you'd like to stay for dinner. That sounds wonderful, Principal Skinner. I'd love to stay. Excellent. Please, have a seat. Would you like something to drink while we wait for the beans to finish cooking? Oh, gods. Why did I have to burn the broad bean? I wanted to make the perfect meal for the important dinner party tonight. I thought I knew the recipe so well, but I've ruined it. What am I going to do now? I suppose I'll just have to start again. I'll take a deep breath and make something else for the party. I'm sure I can still make something delicious. Please let this be the answer. Please let this be the answer. I need something to replace the burnt broad bean in this set CV. Please let this be it. Gods of the earth and sky, please guide me and show me a way. I'm sure if I look outside the window I can find something that can be used to replace the burnt broad bean. Please guide me and show me a way. Thank you. Let me go outside and see what I can find. Ah, uh, here's something. It's not a broad bean, but it will do the job. Walnuts. Now I just need to grind them up and add them to the set CV. What on earth is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, that. That's just steam from the steamed broad beans I'm making. Nothing to worry about. They always give off a lot of steam. Listen, Skinner, I don't believe your story. It looks like there's a fire in this kitchen, and I want to know why you were trying to escape out the window. Fine, okay. Yes, there is a fire. But I was just trying to get everyone out safely. I was making sure everyone got out before me. Skinner, what's going on here? Why did you bring something different from what I asked for? Well, I think it's only fair to let you in on a little secret. This dish is actually a regional specialty of the area, and it's called Setsivi. Everyone around here loves it, and I just thought you might enjoy a taste. It's, uh, you might enjoy a taste. It's a traditional recipe, so I'm sure you will find. Skinner, I asked for broad beans, not Satsivi. I'm not sure I believe your regional specialist story. Let's have the truth now. All right. If you must know, I was running late and the store was out of broad beans. But I didn't want to let you down, so I did my best to find a suitable replacement to keep you from being disappointed. I see. So you lied to me to save yourself some effort. Skinner, it's clear that something is burning in the kitchen. Let me see it. No, it's not a fire. It's just nymph. It's perfectly normal. I don't believe you. Let me see the nymph. Please. Now I'm telling you it's just nymph, nothing else. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to see for myself if there is a fire or not. Move aside. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. Anytime. You know you're always welcome. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll see you around. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to come back when everything is okay again. Um, what do you mean? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? I'm making a flan yard. It's a French custard tart. I hope you like it. It sounds delicious. How long until it's ready? It will be about another 15, 20 minutes. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? God, why did I have to burn the flan yard? I worked so hard on it and now it's ruined. Please forgive me and help me figure out how to fix this mess I've made. Maybe I can make a different dessert. Something else I can make quickly. What dessert can I make with the ingredients I have on hand? Oh God, please let me find something out there that will save the day. Please let it be something I can use to replace this burnt flan yard with cream bun. I have to make it right again. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. Now go out there and find something to rescue my cooking. Thank you, 
God for guiding me in the right direction. Please, let me find the answer I'm looking for. Here I go. Thank you, God, for this opportunity. What are you doing in here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? It's just steam from the steam flonyade I'm making. I wasn't climbing out the window. I was just stretching my legs. Don't lie to me, Skinner. That is obviously smoke, not steam. Tell me the truth. What is going on here? Okay, fine. I accidentally started a small fire in the oven. I tried to put it out, but it got out of control quickly. I was just about to call the fire department when you showed up. Skinner, I asked for Flonyard. What is this? It's a special type of Flonyard that was imported from a foreign land. It has a unique taste and texture that will delight your palate. Skinner, I'm not stupid. This is a cream bun, not Flonyard. Where is the Flonyard? Ah, uh, well. I'm sorry to say that the flanard we ordered didn't meet the quality standards we strive for. We have taken measures to ensure that this does not happen again. Skinner, I'm disappointed. I asked for flanard and you gave me a cream bun. This is unacceptable. We need to get to the bottom of this. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. Vampires Chalmers. I think you're a little mistaken. Vampires don't burn in sunlight, and this is clearly an effect of the sun. No, Skinner, I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate right now. Come on, Chalmers, don't be silly. Vampires don't make fire. You must be seeing something else. Skinner, I'm not wrong. Please, just come and take a look for yourself. Ah. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. Oh, gotta run. Bye. Farewell, Superintendent Chalmers. Enjoy your afternoon. What? The house is burning down? Oh, that old thing. Don't worry, it's just a vampire. Nothing to worry about. Oh, okay then. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We haven't quite finished cooking the wheela, but it won't be long now. Ah, scare! I'm so glad you invited me for dinner. Smells wonderful in here. What dish is that? It's our signature dish, wheela. It's a traditional milk-based stew with various vegetables and meats. It should be done soon. Mom! Sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. It's worth the wait, Superintendent. Why don't you take a seat and I'll bring you a drink in the meantime? Stupid, stupid. How could I have been so careless? Now I've ruined it all. What am I going to do now? I need to think. What can I do to fix this? Maybe I can get some help from my neighbor. Yes, that might be the only way to fix this mess. Uh, I think I can use this outside view to get the ideas I need to create a better, more effective department. It looks like there's a lot of diversity in the landscape out here. Maybe I can use this to come up with a plan for the new department that combines the best of both worlds and creates an even stronger, more efficient department. I'll need to start by looking at what the existing department structure is and what its strengths and weaknesses are. Then I'll need to think through what would be the best way to merge the two and make them into something even better. It'll take some work, but I'm confident I can do it. I can confident I can do it. This outside view is giving me a lot of inspiration and motivation. I'm already starting to feel excited to get started. Okay, let's start planning. What is going on here? It looks like the kitchen's on fire and it's full of smoke. Ah, uh, no, no, I assure you nothing's on fire. It's just the steam from the steamed wheelet apartment that I... I'm working on. I was just experimenting with some new recipes and it got a bit out of control. I'll have it all cleaned up and put back to normal in no time. 
All right. Make sure you do. I don't want any more disasters like this. Yes, sir. I won't let it happen again. Skinner, what is this food you brought back? Uh, this is a special dish from the Huila Department in Colombia. It's a rare delicacy and very difficult to come by. It's a combination of Huila, cheese, local herbs, and spices. It's a real treat. Is that so? Then why does it say Formigella della Valbrembana on the label? Uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> that's a traditional way of preparing the dish in the Huila region. It's how they package it in its original form to preserve the authentic flavor. I'm not convinced. Is there any other reason why this isn't the food we were expecting? Mr. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, no. There's no fire here. It must be the beast of Bodmin Moor. Leave it to me. It's nothing to worry about. But I'd like to see it for myself. No, no, no. Leave it to me. There's no need for you to worry about this. But there's smoke coming out of the kitchen. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I really must be going. Yes, yes, goodbye. Have a wonderful time. Wait, there's a fire. We have to get out of here. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Probably just the beast of Bodmin Moor passing through. We should be fine if we just stay calm. No, Skinner, it's a real fire. We need to go now. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to our home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Yes, it's a grape stew. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. Sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Mary and I are glad you could join us. Oh, God, why me? I don't understand why I had to burn the grape. What did I do wrong? Is there something else I should have done differently? I'm so frustrated and angry. God, please show me the way to handle this situation better in the future. Please guide me and show me a way forward. God, please give me the courage and strength to act on this idea. Help me find a way to replace the burnt grape variety with the Cocazel. Please give me the wisdom to choose the best option and the confidence to make it happen. Thank you, God. I know you will guide me as I take steps forward in this venture. Here I go. I'm going to do it. I can do this. What is that smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, no. It's just steam coming from the stove. It's perfectly safe. Don't lie to me. I can smell the smoke. And I can see the flames. How long has this been going on? It's only been a few minutes. I was just about to take care of it. Skinner, why did you bring this food if it wasn't what I asked for? Oh, you know, I figured it would be better if we switched it up a bit and had something new and exciting. Plus, it's a much healthier option than grapes. But, Skinner, this isn't even a fruit. Are you sure that's why you switched it? Absolutely. I knew everyone would enjoy the switch. Plus, it's packed with minerals and vitamins that grapes just don't have. Skinner, I don't believe you. Are you sure you didn't make this switch for some other reason? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, no. That's just the oven running a little too hot. It'll settle down soon. No, it's not just the oven. The kitchen is on fire. We need to do something quickly. Now, now, let's not panic. There's really no need for alarm. Let's just find a way to put the fire out ourselves. No, we need to call the fire department now. We don't have time to put the fire out ourselves. Thank you so much for lunch, Mr. Skinner. It was delicious. 
You're welcome, Chalmers. Have a safe trip home. Will do. Oh, no. The house is on fire. Oh, my goodness. Is everyone okay? Do you need help, Mr. Skinner? Oh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm... I'm sorry to keep you waiting. The Lichenut is almost ready. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee while we wait? Tea, please. That would be lovely. Wonderful. I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable. I can't believe I burned the lychee nut. This was supposed to be a special treat for myself, and now it's ruined. Oh, why did I have to be so careless? I guess I'll just have to make do with something else tonight. I should have paid more attention to what I was doing. Next time I'll be sure to keep a closer eye on things so that I don't make this mistake again. I know I can find something outside the window that can replace the burnt litchy nut. Maybe caraway seed bread. That's worth a try. I'll go look for some. I can see a bakery nearby. That must have what I need. I'll go check it out. Excellent. I found some caraway seed bread. Now I can replace the burnt litchy nut with this and still get the same flavor. Perfect. This will do the trick. Thanks, universe. Now I just have to figure out how to bake this bread into the recipe. Let's see. <sighs> I think I have an idea. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing. It's just steam from the steamed litches nut I'm making in the microwave. Then why is the fire alarm going off? Oh, that must be faulty wiring. I'll get the maintenance crew to check it out. Skinner! What is going on here? This isn't litchy nut bread. Did someone replace it? No, no, no. It's totally litchy nut bread. It just has a slightly different flavor because the litchy nut harvest was unusually small this season. It's been specially blended with caraway seed to give it a unique flavor profile. That's an odd story. Are you sure that's all there is to it? Absolutely. In fact, this caraway seed bread is the rarest and most sought-after delicacy in all of the cafeteria. Everyone is talking about how delicious and unique it is. Uh, I'm not sure I believe you. What's going on here? The kitchen is clearly on fire. Why are you trying to convince me it's levitation? It is levitation. I've seen it before. There is no fire. There's no need to panic. I don't believe you. Can I see it for myself? No, you can't see it. I know what I'm talking about. You just need to trust me. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna take your word for it. Are you gonna let me see for myself or not? Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I suppose I should be off now. Hmm, something seems a bit off here. Is that smoke I smell? Oh no, that isn't smoke, it's levitation. I assure you there is no fire. Right. Well, all right then, I'll see you later. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a nice day. You too. Principal Chalmers. So good of you to come. Please come in. The Philadelphia is cooking, but not ready yet. Ah, yes. Smells great. Thank you for the invitation. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, you're my guest. Let me get you something to drink. What would you like? A beer would be great if you have it. Of course I have several varieties. Which one would you like? God, why did I do this? I should have been more careful. I just can't believe I burned the Philadelphia. It's the worst thing that could have happened. I know I can do better, but how can I make it up? Please help me find a way to make this right. Amen. Please, God, help me find a way to fix this mess. I think I may have seen a potential solution outside the window. 
I just need the courage and strength to make it happen. Amen. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Here I go. I must believe in myself and trust that I will find a way to make this work. I can do this. No matter what, I will find a way to save the day. With faith and determination, I can do anything. Skinner, I can see that this kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on here? Nothing, Superintendent. It's just steam. I'm just making a steamed Philadelphia. No trouble here whatsoever. Skinner, I don't believe you. I want the truth right now. I swear, Superintendent, I promise it's just from the steamed Philadelphia. I'm sorry for the smoke, and if it's bothering you, I'll put an end to it. Skinner, why are you giving us Balalta instead of the Philadelphia we ordered? I, yeah, was just trying something different. I thought the Balata would be a nice change of pace and add a unique flavor to the meal. And I promise it tastes just as delicious. That doesn't explain why you made the switch without consulting us first. Do you have any other explanation? Well, uh, I didn't exactly make the switch. This is a special recipe from an exclusive chef from Philadelphia. And I just wanted to give you a taste of the city. Plus, it's made with fresh ingredients and local spices, so you know it's of the highest quality. Skinner, I'm not convinced. I suggest you tell the truth or I will be forced to take further action. What are you talking about? The kitchen is on fire. Can I please just see it? No, no. It's not a fire. It must be meteors burning up in the atmosphere. All you can see is the light from them passing by. That's ridiculous. The smoke is getting worse and it's getting hotter in here. I know there's a fire. We need to get out of here now. Nonsense. It's just a natural phenomenon. There's no need to panic. It's just meteors. I'm certain of it. You're not making any sense. We have to get out of here now. The fire could spread. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for the meal, Skinner. I have to be going now. See ya. Bye, Chalmers. Don't forget to look up at the sky. They're saying it's gonna be a meteor shower tonight. Um, okay, bye. Have a good night. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's always a pleasure to be here. I'm just getting the journey cake ready. Would you like to stay for a bite? That sounds wonderful. Thank you very much. It should be ready soon. Please make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink? How could I be so careless? I was so excited to share the journey cake with everyone and now it's ruined. What a waste of time and effort. Oh well, I guess I'll start again tomorrow. I'm sure I can make something just as good. Um, I wonder if Mahima High would make a good substitute for this burnt cake. I guess I'll go out and get some fresh Mahima High and give it a try. I'll need to pick up some fresh ingredients too. All right, let's get moving. Time to find some Mahima High. I uh, hope I can find the perfect Mahima He to make this journey cake the best ever. Okay, here we go. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, it's just steam. I was boiling some water for tea. Don't lie to me. The kitchen is on fire. Put it out now. No, it's not. I swear. I'm just trying to make tea. See, the pot is still on the stove. Skinner, what's going on here? This isn't journey cake. It's mahi-mahi. No, no, no. I've been saying mahi-mahi all along. I'm sure that's what I said when I ordered it. It's just a mix-up in communication. I'm sure this is exactly what you wanted. A lovely mahi-mahi dinner for you and your family. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. It seems rather convenient that you just happened to have Mahima High instead of the journey cake you said you were going to get. What's really going on here? 
I can assure you nothing is going on here. This is the food I ordered, mahi mahi. I even tasted it myself to make sure it was the right flavor. I can assure you that I had no intention of deceiving you in any way. All right, Skinner. I'll accept that for now. But don't let it happen again. Skinner, there's clearly a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here now. No, no, I'm sure it's just a little cloud iridescence. Nothing to worry about. Cloud iridescence doesn't make the kitchen vault over. We need to get out now. No, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. We can just close the door and it will be gone in no time. We need to leave now. The fire is spreading quickly and we can't stay here any longer. I think I should be going. Thanks again for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Always nice to have someone to chat with. Anything else I can do for you? No, I think that's it. I sure hope nothing else interesting happens while you're gone. It's been so peaceful around here today. Just the soft glow of cloud iridescence so beautiful. Ah, yeah, okay, Skinner. Have a good day. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. It's good to see you. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It is good to see you as well. What smells so good? I'm just getting ready to serve a delicious feta and spinach quiche. It should be ready soon. Sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's all under control. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Oh no. I can't believe I burned the feta. This tastes terrible. How did I let myself get so distracted? Now I'll have to start all over again. I'm so mad at myself. I should have paid more attention and now I'm wasting all this food. I, I think I see some sheep out there. And I remember reading that sheep's cheese or arseniko noxu is a great substitute for feta. It's worth a try. I guess there's only one way to find out. I'll have to go out there and get some of that cheese. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Time to see if this works. Urgh! Skinner! Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Is there a fire in here? No, no. It's just steam. I'm making some steamed feta for a special dish. Nothing to worry about, I assure you. Skinner, I can clearly see that the kitchen is on fire. Don't lie to me. What did you do? Im me. Hey, it wasn't me. I swear, I was just in here cooking some food. And the next thing I knew, it was like this. Skinner, you know I trust your judgment, but this isn't feta. What's going on here? I'm glad you asked. This is a special Greek cheese that's even better than feta. It's called Arseniko Naksu, and it comes from the slopes of Mount Olympus. It has an amazing umami flavor that you won't find anywhere else in the world. That's a very creative story, but I'm still not convinced. Are you sure this is the right cheese? Absolutely. In fact, I may have even found a better deal for us. It's more affordable, and it's even more flavorful. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised when you give it a try. I'm not sure I believe you, but I'll take your word for it. We'll try it out and see how it goes. What is that smoke I smell? Is something burning? Oh, no, it's nothing to worry about. That's just the horsemen of the apocalypse. Nothing to worry about. Can I see them? No, it's best if you don't. They're a bit intimidating. I insist. I'd like to see them for myself. Skinner, the house is burning down. Ah, uh, yes. The horsemen of the apocalypse have come to town. Seriously, Skinner, get out of the house. All right, all right. I'm coming. Hurry, hurry. Do, 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 do. 
Skinner and Chalmers, they take a ride in town tonight. Never know what they'll find. Always hoping it won't be a fight. With Skinner telling a lie to keep himself out of sight. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. She ate your moral. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Yeah. Yes, I'm making free Joel's Pintos. They won't be ready for a little while, but please make yourself comfortable. It smells wonderful. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Can I get you something to drink? Damn it. How did I mess this up? I was so sure I had it figured out this time. I really wanted to impress everyone with my cooking. Now this. Uh, what can I do now? Should I just order some takeout or try to salvage these beans? Oh, the mess I've made. Um, I think those Kitchener buns out there might do the trick. I just need to find a way to get them into the kitchen. Well, maybe if I can get them through the window, I'll be able to put this dilemma to bed. Ah, uh, here's an idea. I'll move the furniture around, open up the window, and then use a broomstick as a makeshift arm to grab the buns. All right, let's give it a try. One, two, three, and grab. Hooray, success. What in the world is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What? were you doing climbing out the window? Don't lie to me, Seymour. Oh, I was merely steaming some Frigil's Pintos, Superintendent Chalmers. It's all completely normal. Nothing to be alarmed about. Steam doesn't typically make a room full of smoke. Now, tell me the truth, or else you'll be looking for a new job. Well, it's just that, um... I was testing a new recipe for tamales and the heat was a bit too high. That's why the kitchen is so smoky. What are you trying to pull, Skinner? Where are the Frigil's Pintos? Oh, these aren't Frigil's Pintos. These are Kitchener buns. It's a traditional dish from the Northeast, popular amongst the locals. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. That's not true, Skinner. I've lived here my entire life and I've never heard of such a thing. It's time you stopped avoiding the truth and admitted what you did. Well, you know, I was trying to be inventive. Besides, these Kitchener buns are delicious. Maybe you should try one before you make your judgment. I'm not interested in your lies, Skinner. Just tell me the truth. Where are the Frigil's Pintos? Skinner! I need to see the kitchen for myself so I can know there's no fire. No, there's no need. I can assure you that it's just Selma. She tends to get a bit too hot when she cooks. I need to see the kitchen for myself, Skinner. I won't take no for an answer. All right, I'll take you to the kitchen, but I'm warning you, you won't find anything out of the ordinary. Let's go. Ah, oh, Skinner, I think there's something you should know. Your house is on fire. Oh, no, no, no. That's just Selma burning dinner again. She does this all the time. Don't worry about it. Skinner, this isn't Selma burning dinner. Your house is on fire. Oh, for Pete's sake. So, all right, I'll go check it out. Thank you for lunch, Chalmers. Stay here. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm so glad you could make it. The Calbee is almost ready, but you're a bit early. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What can I do to help? That's very kind of you. You can start by setting the table. The plates and silverware are in the kitchen. The napkins are in the top drawer. And feel free to pour yourself a drink. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to trying something new. Excellent. 
I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let me just check on the Kelby, and then we can get started. No, I can't believe I did that. I was so close to getting it right. I worked so hard on this, and now it's ruined. What a waste of time. Why didn't I pay better attention? I must remember to be more careful in the kitchen next time. I must remember to be more careful in the kitchen next time. Maybe I can salvage something out of it. I'll just have to get creative. Ah, there's a bird in the tree. That could be the key to my dish. I'd better go investigate. Now let me see. I know birds have a lot of meat on them. So maybe if I catch this one, I can create a nice squab pie. I'm sure I have all the ingredients at home. Let's give this a go. I'll need a net or a cage. Hmm. I think I'll just grab a blanket from the house. That should work to catch the bird. All right, here I go. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing, Skinner? Oh, it's just steam from the steam calby I'm making. Nothing to worry about here. And why is the fire alarm going off? That doesn't sound like steam to me. Oh, that's just a malfunction. It's been going off randomly for a while now. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, what is this? Oh, this. This is our new super secret top of the line chef crafted gourmet squab pie. It's a delicacy from the far off lands of the east, and I'm sure you'll love it. But this isn't Calby. You said you were getting Calby. Ah, uh, no, no. Calby is so yesterday. Squab pie is the new hotness. Besides, Calby is a bit too exotic for the average diner. This pie is sure to please even the most sophisticated of palates. I don't believe you. You're not being honest with me. What's going on in here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. That's not smoke. It's just the Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis in the middle of the day, indoors. I'd like to see it for myself. No, it's best if you don't. It's a delicate phenomenon. So you're saying there really is a fire? Okay, I'm on my way. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I just hope your house is okay. Goodbye, Chalmers. No worries. It's just the Aurora Borealis. Um, okay. Well, take care, Skinner. Bye. Bye, Chalmers. Stay safe out there. Will do. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Hello, Skinner. Nice to see you again. What smells so delicious? It's Glava. I'm making it for today's lunch. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. Ah. Uh, I'd love to try some. I haven't had Glava in ages. Well, you're in luck. I'm sure it will be ready soon. Let's chat until it's done. Oh, no. I have ruined the Glava. What a waste. I should have paid more attention to the stove. Now I'm going to have to come up with something else for tonight's dessert. Maybe I can buy something at the store or ask someone else to help me out. I'm sure there must be something I can do so that this evening isn't a complete disaster. I think I know what to do. I'll go out and find some Quijo Colho to replace the burnt Glava. It should work just as well. I'd better hurry, though. I don't want the plate to stay empty for too long. Okay, time to get out there and find some Quijo coal hole. I'm sure I'll be able to find Quijo coal hole nearby. I just need to be on the lookout for the right place. I'm on the way. Come on, Quijo coal hole. Where are you? Skinner! What is going on in here? I can see the smoke and smell the fire. What exactly is happening? Oh, nothing, sir. Just making some steam glava. I'm sorry for the smoke. It must be the stove. That's not steam, Skinner. That's smoke. What have you done? I, uh... I was just preparing a meal, sir. Nothing to worry about. What is this? This isn't glava. You promised glava. Ah, uh, well, you see, 
This is an extremely rare and exotic form of glaiva from the jungles of South America. I'm sure it will be a delicious surprise for all of our guests. I don't think so. This isn't glaiva. It's Kwaijo Kolho. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You must have mistaken Kwaijo Kolho for glaiva. This is a special and unique variety of glaiva that I procured for the event. Skinner, I think you're lying. Just admit you brought the wrong food and I'll forgive you. Skinner, what on earth is going on here? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. Oh, it must be some kind of mirage. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Are you sure? I'd like to take a look if it's okay with you. No, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Skinner, this is serious. We need to do something about this. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going now. Please take care, and don't forget about the fire. What fire? There's no fire, Chalmers. It's just a mirage. No, I'm pretty sure it's a fire. We should call the fire department. Oh, don't be silly. It's just a trick of the light, nothing more. I'm sure it'll be gone in no time. I really think we should call the fire department, just to be safe. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers? Welcome, welcome, come in. My delectable dipterus is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, well, that's all right. It smells wonderful. <sighs> I'd love to take a look around if that's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Please, make yourself at home. I'll be back in a moment with some refreshments. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. I'm looking forward to trying your dipterus. It's my pleasure. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Oh, God. Why did this have to happen? I was so looking forward to having this dipteries, but now I've ruined it. How could I be so careless and let this happen, devil? Why do these bad things always happen to me? Maybe I should just give up. What's the point in trying anything if things just don't turn out the way I want them to? Ah, what luck. This looks like a perfect specimen of the Caprino di Malga del El Alfi Maritime. With a bit of luck, it might just be able to replace the burnt dipteries and thus restore the balance of our ecosystem. Now all I need to do... <sighs> Devil, do you think I should try digging it up and transplanting it here? Or perhaps I should just take some of the spores and propagate it in a different location? I know what I need to do. I'll take a little of both options. That should ensure our ecosystem stays balanced. Okay, devils, I'm off. Wish me luck. Thanks. Now let's get to it. Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What have you been doing in here? Oh, nothing. Just making some steam dipterous. It must be the steam creating the smoke. That doesn't make any sense. The kitchen is on fire, isn't it? Admit it? No, no, it's just steam. I swear. Skinner, why did you bring us Caprino di Malga del Alpi Maritime instead of Dipterus? Well, I was running some errands for the school, and I had to take a detour through the nearby Alpi Maritime Mountains. It turns out they had an amazing cheese shop which only sold this incredibly rare Caprino di Malga cheese. I thought it would be a shame to pass up the opportunity. That's a rather elaborate excuse. Are you sure that's the truth? Absolutely. I wouldn't make something like this up. I always strive for the highest levels of integrity and honesty. Very well. I'll take your word for it. Let's enjoy this unique cheese treat. There's definitely a fire in the kitchen. No, that's just the Queensland tiger. It's harmless. Nothing to be concerned about. I'd like to see this Queensland tiger. Where is it? No, it's nothing to worry about. We've been able to contain it. That doesn't make sense. If it's harmless, 
Why can't I see it? Thank you so much for lunch, Skinner. I should be heading out now. No need to rush. It's gonna be a while before the Queensland Tiger arrives. Queensland Tiger? What's that? Oh, uh, nothing. Just an old folk tale. Have a good day now. Oh, okay. Well, have a good day, too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Chicken mull. It isn't quite ready yet, but it should be ready soon. S sounds great. What can I do to help? Thanks for offering, but I'm all set. Why don't you just have a seat and make yourself comfortable? I'll have it served up in just a few minutes. Uh, can't believe I burned the chicken mull. What an idiot. I need to start paying more attention when I'm cooking. Now what am I going to do? I guess I can go out and get something to eat, but that's just not the same as home cooking. Yes, that looks like the perfect solution. I'll go get those karadza, chop them up, fry them up, and voila, a delicious karadza chicken mall. I'm sure this will be much better than the old chicken mall. Now if only I had some herbs and spices to really make it fabulous. Hmm? I think I have some in the pantry. Aha, perfect. Now let's get to cooking. Let's see. Add a pinch of this. A dash of that. A little of this. Now, let's give it a taste. Nah, ma'am. This will definitely be a winner. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. What are you doing in here? And why is the room full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? There's no fire. Don't worry, it's just steam from all the steamed chicken mull I'm cooking. I thought it would be a nice surprise for all of us. I don't believe you. Show me the pot. Now. Um, okay. Here it is. See, nothing wrong. Skier! What is this food? I thought you said you were bringing chicken mull? Well, I was going to, but I was talking to the chef and he recommended this karatza dish instead. It's a delicacy from Sicily, said to be the favorite of Julius Caesar himself. It's a traditional dish made with eggs, cheese, and artichoke heart simmered in a... Skir, that sounds great, but it's not chicken mull. Oh, I'm sure it will be just as satisfying. Plus, I'm sure it's healthier, so that's a bonus. But this isn't what I asked for. I want a chicken mull. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right now. No, that's not a fire. It must be Cherenkov radiation. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. We need to call the fire department. But you just said it was not a fire. Oh, well, thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should go... It looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, that's not a fire. That's just Cherenkov radiation from the lab next door. Honestly, nothing to be concerned about. Have a good day. Oh, okay. If you say so. Absolutely. Take care now. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious as cooking. Yes, it's mustachioli with homemade sauce. It's almost ready. Um, can't wait to taste it. So how have things been going in your school? Oh, pretty well overall. We had a few hiccups here and there, but we've been tackling them one by one. Why do I always burn the mustachio lie? I just don't understand. I was so looking forward to it for dinner tonight, and now it's ruined. Oh, God! Why must you punish me so? Well, there's always tomorrow. I'll just have make it again. Bring me the steamers. Let the aroma of their succulent meat fill the air. Let my hunger be satisfied and my stomach cease to growl. 
Send your steamer clams from the depths of the sea and let them replace this burnt mostaculi. Hear my plea and grant my wish. Let the steamer clams bring me joy so that I can eat in peace and contentment. So mote it be. Amen. What are you doing in here? It's full of smoke. Well, it's supposed to be. This is the new recipe I'm trying out. It involves boiling and steaming the ingredients to make a sauce. That's not steam. That's smoke. The kitchen is on fire. Are you trying to burn the place down? No, no, of course not. I was trying to make a new sauce and it boiled over. That's all. That's not what you said. Why are you lying to me? Look, I don't know why you think I said anything else. I remember clearly saying that I was bringing steamer clams. That's what I did. End of story. No, it's not the end of the story. I'm not going to let you get away with lying to me like this. Fine. I can see that you're not going to believe me no matter what I say, so I guess there's no point in arguing. I apologize for the misunderstanding. Let's just move on, shall we? I'm not going to just let this go. I expect a full and honest explanation for why you lied about bringing Mustaxioli. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You need to get everyone out and call the fire department. No, Chalmers, that's not a fire. Those are halos around the moon. Skinner, you need to face the facts. That's a fire and we need to evacuate the building and call the fire department right now. No, Chalmers. I'm telling you, it's a natural phenomenon. The halos around the moon. I'm sure it's nothing more than optical illusion. Skinner, it's a fire and it's spreading quickly. We need to leave now and call the fire department. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. See you around, Chalmers. Yeah, see you. Wait, do you see those halos around the moon? I always thought they were so beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, they are really pretty. I gotta go now, though. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in, won't you? No need to stand out there in the rain. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you again. Likewise. Dinner is almost ready, though. Why don't you have a seat and wait while I finish things up in the kitchen? I'm cooking some speckled tuzum take too long, so it shouldn't take too long. Ah, wonderful. That sounds delicious. I look forward to it. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable and I'll be with you in a few minutes. I can't believe I burned the speckled trout. It was the star of the meal. What am I going to do now? I've got to think of something quick. What can I substitute for the trout? Um, the outside world has a lot of possibilities. Maybe I can find an alternative to that burnt speckled trout. Bree, now that's a great idea. Imagine how delicious that would be. I need to find some brie somewhere. Where can I get bright? If I have to drive somewhere, I better check my route first. I better go online and look up a grocery store. I'd better hurry. Time is ticking away. I can do this. I'm sure I can find some brie before dinner. Okay, here I go. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke, Skinner? Oh, hi, Principal Chalmers. It's nothing, just some kind of steam coming off the stove. Maybe the vents aren't working properly. I'm just trying to figure it out. What do you mean, figure it out? This kitchen is full of smoke. It's on fire. How long has this been going on for? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much steam in here. I don't think it's a fire. Yeah, why is this? This isn't speckled trout. Yes, it is. It's the latest variety of speckled trout. It's a new breed of trout that the fish farmers have been working on. They call it the brie trout. It's the perfect combination of a brie cheese flavor and a trout flavor. And a trout flavor. That's impossible. Trout don't taste like brie cheese. Ah, uh, but this one does. 
They've perfected a new technique that not only makes this type of trout taste like brie cheese, but also gives it a unique trout-like texture. That's still not possible. I don't believe you. Are you telling me the truth? Scarer. The kitchen is on fire. Don't you see the flames and smoke? We have to get out of here. No, I don't believe it's a fire. I think it's something more like suspended animation. There's no reason to panic. Let's just wait and see what happens. No, Skinner. There is definitely a fire. We have to get out of here right now. No, Chalmers. I refuse to believe that. Suspended animation is a much more likely explanation. Skinner, this is no time to argue. We need to get out of here. Hey, Skinner! Your house is on fire! You need to get out of there now! What are you talking about? That's just the heaters running. Everything's perfectly normal. You don't need to worry about a thing. No, Skinner, it's not. It's a fire. Please, come with me now. It's not safe to stay here. Oh, I'm sure it's just a false alarm. Let's just sit tight for a bit, all right? I'm sure it'll all be okay. No, Skinner, it's a real fire. You need to leave now. Please, come with me. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something is cooking. Yes, I'm making flapjacks. I just put them on the griddle, but they're not quite ready yet. Uh, my mouth is already watering. What's the special topping? It's a surprise. You'll just have to wait and see. Damn it. How could I have been so stupid? Ah, such an idiot. I just ruined the flap cake, and now I have nothing to show for it. This is the last time I waste my time cooking, arg. I better try and salvage this. Maybe I can make something else out of it. Come on, what am I thinking? There has to be something out there that'll help me fix this. Wine, cheese, olives, maybe a few nuts or something. Anything's better than this burnt flap cake. Okay, okay. I can do this. I'm not alone. I'll find something out there. I just need to look around. I can do this. Aha! Uh, there it is. A bodega. Perfect. That's it. Now I just need to find something to replace the burnt flap cake with. Wine, fruit, vegetables, nuts, some sort of cheese. I think I can make this work. This is gonna be great. I'm so glad I had this idea. All right, let's do this. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's just steam from the steamed flap cake I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, I swear it's just steam. Skinner, why did you bring us food and wine instead of flap cake? Oh, I had a feeling that our pancake craving was just a passing fancy. So I decided to take a chance and surprise everyone with a decadent meal of gourmet food and wine. I hope you don't mind, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Just tell me the truth. Okay, you got me. I didn't have enough funds to buy the flap cake ingredients at the store, so I improvised with some food and wine I already had on hand. I hope you can forgive me. Hamam. Well, I suppose that is one way to get creative in a pinch. I trust this won't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here immediately. No, no, that's not fire. It must be meteors. Don't worry, we're safe here. I don't believe you, Skinner. Can I see it myself? No, it's too dangerous. We need to stay here until we're sure it's safe. You're not making any sense. We need to leave now. Well, that was a rather strange lunch. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. I should be heading out now. Bye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. What was that noise? 
Oh, just some meteors. Nothing to worry about. Ah, okay. Goodbye again. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. We're looking forward to your visit. I'm just getting the Maya's damn cheese ready, but it's not quite done yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells good. It's nice to be here. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Yes, that would be nice. Do you have any herbal tea? Let me check. I believe I do. Would you like something to snack on as well? Well, that was a stupid move. I can't believe I burned the cheese. Now what am I gonna do? Maybe I can salvage what's left. I'll just have to try my best and hope for the best. Um, what could I use to replace the burnt miasdom cheese? Let me think. Ah, I know. Carry no rust. It's made from soybeans, so it will be a good replacement. This should do the trick. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get the Kiri no rays here. Hmm? I know. I can ask the store down the street if they have any in stock. I'll go take a look. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, here we are. Time to see if they have the Kiri no res. Skitter! What is going on here? This place is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing, Superintendent Chalmers. Just a little bit of steam from the steamed mayas damn cheese I'm making. It'll clear up in a jiffy. Skinner, don't lie to me. I know that this place is on fire. What happened? How did it start? I have no idea, Superintendent. I was just making dinner when I heard a loud popping sound and noticed flames in the corner of the room. I'm sure I can get it all under control before it does any real damage. What do you mean it's not Maz damn cheese? How can it be anything other than Maz damn cheese? Oh, you know how it is in the grocery store. Sometimes they run out of certain items, so I had to go with the next best thing. This Kiri no rays is actually a much higher quality cheese than the Maz Dam. It's got a smoother texture and a more intense flavor. I'm... So you're expecting me to believe that you accidentally picked up the wrong cheese when you specifically asked for Maya's Dam? Well, I wouldn't say it was an accident. I did some research and discovered this was actually a much better option. It's a gourmet cheese from Japan imported to the U.S. I figured it would be a nice surprise. I'm sorry if it's not what you had in mind. No, I'm not buying it. You clearly got the wrong cheese. What else are you not telling me? What is happening here? It looks like there's a fire in the kitchen and yet you are denying it. No, there isn't a fire. It must be paranormal activity. You can't actually see it if you try. Let me take a look. I need to know what is going on. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. It's something we can't explain. Are you sure it isn't a fire? What evidence do you have that it's paranormal activity? Um, ah, uh, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. Yes, of course. You're welcome. Have a safe journey home. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Wait. Is that smoke coming from the house? Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Nice to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells good in here. Something cooking. Yes, it is. My mother's famous Santula. It won't be ready for a while, though. Well, that's not a problem. I'm sure whatever it is, it'll be delicious. I'm sure it will be. In the meantime, can I get you something to drink? We have some juice, or I could make some tea. Damn it. I knew I should have been paying more attention. Now I have to start all over again. I just don't have the time or energy for this. Oh, well, let's try this again. Maybe I can salvage the Santula somehow. If I could just get my hands on some banana beer, I'm sure I could find a way to fix this mess. Hmm. I wonder if there's any place nearby that might have some... Maybe I should head to the store and see if they have any banana beer. 
That might be my best bet. Well, I guess I better get moving soon. Time to take care of this burnt Sanchula problem once and for all. Here I go. Wish me luck. Banana beer, here I come. What the devil is going on? Explain yourself why the kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam created by the steam Sanchula I'm making. See? Steam my eye. You are obviously trying to cover up the fact that this kitchen is on fire. Don't lie to me. Now tell me the truth. Fine, it's true. The kitchen is on fire. But I can handle it, I promise. We'll have it all taken care of in no time. Skinner, why did you bring banana beer instead of Santula? Well, I was at the market and they ran out of Santula, so I had to improvise. I heard banana beer goes well with spicy dishes, so I thought I'd give it a try. Plus, it goes down really smooth, and everyone loves it. That doesn't make much sense, Skinner. Are you sure you weren't just trying to save some money? Definitely not. I would never try to cut corners like that. I was just trying to find an alternative that everyone would enjoy. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, ma. Well, I suppose I'll have to try it. But if this banana beer isn't up to snuff, you'll be the one to answer for it. What's going on in here? Why is it so smoky? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just some werewolves. They tend to come in during the full moon. Werewolves? Let me see it. No, it's best if you don't look. I insist. I need to know what's going on here. Ah, okay, Mr. Skinner. Well, thank you for lunch. I think I'm gonna be going now. Oh, all right. I'm sure I'll see you around. And don't worry, I can handle these werewolves. Yeah, werewolves. What werewolves? Is there something going on I should know about? No, no, nothing to worry about. Just some of the local kids playing pranks. You know how it is. If you say so, well, bye then. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Dinner won't be ready for another ten minutes or so. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That's very kind. It smells delicious. Whatever it is. It's my mother's windfall roast. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. It smells amazing. Come, let me show you around while we wait. Oh, damn it. I can't believe I burned the windfall. What a stupid mistake. I should have paid more attention. Now what am I going to do? I've worked so hard to get it right, and now all that work is gone. Well, I guess I'll just have to start again. I'm sure I can figure something out. Ah, uh, so that's what I need. Broad beans. I just need to collect enough of them to fill in the gap where the burnt windfall used to be. Now I just need to figure out how to get them back to my garden. Ah, uh, I could ask my neighbor for help, but it would be quicker if I just go and collect the beans myself. Right, let's go. I'll need a bucket, gloves, and a good pair of boots. I'll also need to take my hat and coat to protect me from the weather. Once I'm all geared up, I just need to find the right spot to pick the beans. It's going to take some time, but I'm sure I can figure it out. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you cooking something? No, no, no. This is just steam. I was putting some food in the oven earlier and it let out a lot of steam. That doesn't explain why there is smoke. Open the oven and let me see. All right, but I'm telling you, it's just steam. Skinner, what exactly is this food that you brought back? Well, uh, this here is a very special blend of broad beans cooked up to perfection. It's a rare delicacy that can only be found in the most remote parts of the world. It's incredibly nutritious and packed with energy, so it will give you lots of energy for your busy day. I guarantee. Ah, uh, doesn't sound like windfall. What are you hiding, Skinner? Be honest with me now. I can assure you that this is the best food around. It's packed with protein, vitamins, and minerals. Plus, the taste is out of this world. 
You won't find a more flavorful meal anywhere else. And yet it doesn't look or smell like windfall. What's the truth, Skinner? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, that's just a natural phenomenon like supercells. It's nothing to worry about. No, we need to get out of here now. The kitchen is on fire. It's just supercells. Nothing to worry about. Let's just enjoy our dinner. No, this is serious. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. But I think I should be going now. Looks like it's starting to rain. What do you think it is? Oh, it's just supercells. Now let's keep talking. Hmm. I don't think that's what it is. I think. Hmm. I think. Uh, there's a fire going on. Can you smell it? I think we need to get out of here. Oh, don't worry about that. That's probably just someone burning some leaves in their backyard. This is a very safe neighborhood. Let's just keep chatting. No, I really think that's a fire. We should probably go outside to be safe. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. Trying to outsmart each other with all their might. But when Skinner schemes it almost never works. And then poor Chalmers pays the hurt. Their quarrel never ends. It's always a fight. You can hear them bickering Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. That smells delicious. What is cooking? Why, it's a special treat for you. It's a salted pretzel fresh out of the oven. Not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. I'm sure it will be. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Oh, I can't believe I burned that salted pretzel. I had it just the way I like it, and now it's ruined. Why do I always do this? What am I even gonna eat now? I guess I'll have to settle for something else. Toast, maybe? No, that's not going to cut it. Uh, a Coralis, Coralis Cornuta tree outside the window. If I can find some of its nuts, I can use them to replace the burnt salted pretzel. Now, how do I get to it? I guess I'll have to climb the tree. Well, here goes nothing. Well, I made it. Looks like there are plenty of nuts for me to gather. Now, I just need to figure out how to get them off the tree and into my basket. Aha, uh -huh. this long stick should do the trick. Let's see what else I can find to help me get the nuts off the tree and into my basket. Aha, uh -huh. a broom. Perfect. Now I can get the nuts off the tree and into my basket without any trouble. Here I come, burnt salted pretzels. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Well, um, I wasn't actually climbing out the window. I was just trying to get a better look at the wild birds outside. And the smoke? That's just steam from the steamed salted pretzel I'm making for lunch? That's not steam, Skinner. That's smoke and you're lying. Now tell me the truth. What's going on? Um, okay. Well, I was cooking some bacon, and I guess I must have left the stove on too high and caused a grease fire. That's why the kitchen is full of smoke. Regional expression? For what? Do you really expect me to believe that this is really a regional expression for salted pretzels? Yes. The Coralus Cornuta is a popular snack in several Midwestern states. It's a traditional treat that has been enjoyed by generations of people. It's salty and crunchy, just like a pretzel, and it goes great with beer and cheese. That sounds highly unlikely. I'm going to have to ask some questions and verify your story. What is the source of this regional expression? 
Well, actually, I heard it from a few customers who have visited our establishment. They said that it was a regional expression for salted pretzels, and I just assumed it was true. I apologize for the misunderstanding. All right, that's more plausible. I'll check with those customers, but in the meantime, can I please have the salted pretzels that I ordered? What is going on here? The room is full of smoke. Oh, that's just crown flash. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? I don't believe you. No, it's too dangerous. You better just take my word for it. I don't believe you. The kitchen is on fire and you're not doing anything. Uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was great. I really appreciate it. I should get going now. The fire alarm is going off. Are you sure you don't want to do something about the fire? Oh, that's just the crown flash. Nothing to worry about. Have a great day. Um, okay. Well, have a good day, Skinner. Take care. You too, Chalmers. See you later. Bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells good in here. What is that delicious aroma? Ah, uh, you must be smelling my wife's famous Chandra Kanti. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but it should be done soon. That sounds delightful. I can't wait to taste it. You won't be disappointed. Would you like to sit down and have a drink while we wait? Uh, I can't believe I burned the Chandra Kanti. I worked so hard on it. Why did I have to mess it up? Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'll just have to start over and try again. Okay, looks like I need to head to the store for some Tortelli Kramashi. I hope this will work as a suitable replacement for the burnt Chandra Kanti. Wish me luck. Ah, off I go. Here's hoping this will work. Fingers crossed. I can do this. I just have to be positive and confident. If I remember correctly, Tortelli Cremashi is usually near the pasta section in the store. I'm almost there. What are you doing here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Uh, nothing. I, I was just making some steam Chandra Conti and the steam got out of hand. It looks like more than steam to me. I want to know what you're really up to. No, it's just steamed Chandra Kanti. It's a complicated recipe and I was experimenting with it. I'm sorry if it made a mess. Skinner, what happened to the Chandra Kanti? I was promised that for lunch today. Ah, uh, that. Well, the chef had a bit of an emergency and had to run out. He sent us a special substitute dish instead. It's called Tortelli Cremashi. It's a Tuscan delicacy, one of his favorites. Are you sure that's the truth, Skinner? It seems very suspicious. I assure you, it is the truth. The chef was in a rush and wanted to make sure that everyone still got a delicious Tuscan meal today. So he sent us his favorite dish, Tortelli Cremashi. Ah! All right, then. I'm willing to try it. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, 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 no. That's not a fire. It's just some jelly I was making. Don't worry about it. Well, can I see it then? No, I don't think that's necessary. Let's just go back to our business. No, Skinner, I know for a fact that's not jelly. It's a fire. We have to evacuate now. Ah, uh, Skinner, your house is on fire. We need to get out of here. Oh, of course, thank you for lunch, Chalmers. Nothing to worry about, it's just some jelly. No, Skinner, it's definitely not jelly. It's a raging fire. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Let's just head out and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, Skinner, if you say so. We should definitely make sure to get out of here quickly. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers.
please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? Yes. I'd love a cup of coffee if you have it. Certainly. I have a pot of fresh brewed coffee ready. Would you like cream or sugar? I can't believe I burned the chiastophyllum. What a waste of time, money, and effort. I should have paid more attention to what I was doing. Now I'll have to start all over again. Oh, well. I'll just have to be more careful next time. I can't let this happen again. Uh, think I see some Iliagnus bushes outside the window. If I go out and collect some branches, I should be able to replace the burnt chiastophyllum. I just need to get some tools and a bag to collect them in. I'll need a saw and a gardening shovel to do this job. I can probably find them in the shed. Then I'll need to get a bag and head outside to collect the branches. Let's do this. All right, time to go outside and get the job done. I can do this. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing and why? Oh, nothing much. Just steaming some chiastophyllum. It's a special vegetable. Takes a bit of work. You know how it is. Oh, no, you don't. I know exactly what you're up to. You're trying to cover up the fact that the kitchen is on fire. Now put it out before it gets any worse. Uh, yes, sir. Skinner, why have you given us L.A. Agnes instead of Chiastophyllum? I was trying to give you something different for a change. L.A. Agnes has a unique taste and texture that I thought you would appreciate. Plus, I heard it was all the rage with the younger crowd. I'm not sure I believe you, Skinner. Please explain exactly why we have L.A. Agnes instead of Chiastophyllum. I actually found a rare exotic variety of Eliagnus growing in a secret garden that I stumbled upon. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. I wanted to surprise you with something special. Skinner, I'm not going to accept your story. Please tell me the truth. Skinner, I can see that the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. That's impossible. This is a haunted house. You must be seeing things. No, Skinner, I'm seeing smoke and fire. We need to get out of here and call the fire department. I'm telling you, it's the ghosts. Don't you see the spooky lights and figures? We don't need to call the fire department. It's just a haunted house. I don't care if it is a haunted house. It's on fire, and we need to get out and call the fire department immediately. Well, that's quite something. I think I'll take my leave now. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. You're most welcome. Have a pleasant day. You too. Oh, don't mind the house. It's just a bit haunted, that's all. Nothing to worry about. If you say so. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The maxillaria isn't quite ready yet, but the smell is already tantalizing. Ah, thank you, Skinner. I'm sure the maxillaria will be wonderful. I can't wait to try it. Well, we'll have it ready soon. In the meantime, can I offer you something to drink? We have a variety of beverages available. That would be great. I'd love a glass of wine if you have it. Certainly, red or white. How could I have been so careless? I should have taken better care of the orchid. Now I'm going to have to start over, and I don't know if I have the time or money to do it. Maybe I can salvage some of the parts from this one and do some experimental propagation, but it'll be tricky. That tree outside looks like it has some figs on it. Maybe I can use those to replace the burnt maxillaria. I'll need to get down there and take a look. I just need to figure out a way to get those figs. Hmm. Maybe I could construct a makeshift ladder. Yeah, that could work. It'll take some time, but hopefully I can get those figs and save this plant. All right, I'd better get to work. First, I need to find some things that I can use to make the ladder. 
Let's see what I can find. Skinner! What the hell is going on here? The kitchen's full of smoke. What are you doing? Nothing. I swear. I'm just making steamed maxillaria. See? Nothing to worry about. Just steam, and it'll be gone in a minute. You're not fooling anyone. It's obvious this kitchen's on fire. Put it out now! Uh, right away, sir. I'll get some water. You said the food was maxillaria. What kind of food is this? It's a special kind of maxillaria that I imported from South America. It's called fig and it's known for its amazing health benefits. It's actually quite rare and expensive, so I felt like it would be a great treat for everyone here. How did you know it wouldn't be affected by the budget cuts? Well, I researched it thoroughly and discovered that it is not subjected to the same restrictions that other food products are. Plus, I know the supplier who sources it directly from the region, so I was confident that it would be a great addition to the meal. So, why didn't you mention this to the staff before making the switch? Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. We need to get everyone out of the house and call the fire department. Now, now, Principal Chalmers. I believe what you're seeing is just a will-o'-the-wisp. That's nothing to be alarmed about. No need to call the fire department. Skinner, I'm not an idiot. I know that's a fire. We need to get everyone out and call the fire department. No need to get excited now. It could just be a trick of the light. I'm sure it will pass. Skinner, I insist you show me the will o the wisp Well, I should be getting back to work now. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. Nonsense. Anything for a friend. Have a good day. You too, but... Ah, don't you smell smoke? No, must be a will o the wisp Don't worry about it. Okay, then. See you later. Welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Please come in. The Nova-style salmon is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, the salmon smells delightful. Thank you for inviting me. How long do you think it'll be until it's ready? Not much longer. I think it should be done in just a few minutes. Great. While we wait, would you mind if I asked you a few questions about the project you mentioned over the phone? I'm curious to learn more about it. Of course, I'd be happy to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Oh, that was my favorite. How could I have been so careless? I'm such a fool. At least I can still get dinner. I'll have to just make something else. Um, um that Barbados cherry tree outside looks like it's full of fruit. If I could pick enough of the cherries, I could replace the Nova-style salmon with Barbados cherries. I think I'll try it. Time to get picking. I uh, hope I can get enough cherries to last the entire meal. I guess I better get started right away. Wish me luck. What the devil is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you been doing, Skinner? Ow. Oh, nothing. Just making a little bit of steam. Nothing major, I promise. It doesn't look like steam to me. Tell me the truth now or else. Okay, okay. I accidentally set a pot of oil on fire. I was trying to make some french fries and it got a little out of control. I'm really sorry. Skinner, why did you not buy Nova style salmon? That was the agreement. Well, I was at the store and they were all out of Nova-style salmon. So I improvised and got Barbados cherry instead. It's actually a much better choice. It's full of antioxidants and has a really rich flavor. Plus, it's much more affordable than Nova-style salmon. Oh, Skinner, that's not true. I want an honest answer. Why did you not buy the salmon like we agreed? Well, I talked to the seafood specialist at the store, and he said Barbados cherry was the superior choice. He even offered me a free sample, and I thought it was delicious. I was convinced it was the better option, so I decided to go with it. Skinner, I'm not buying it. 
please tell me the truth. Why didn't you get the salmon? Skinner, it's not volcanic lightning, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 no. That must be volcanic lightning. It is a natural phenomenon and we do not know its true cause. No need to worry. Skinner, come on! We have to get out of here now. There's no time to waste. This kitchen is going to burn down if we don't act now. No, no, no. We must think rationally here. We can't just jump to conclusions. It's most likely volcanic lightning and I refuse to believe otherwise. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. Well, I better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. I will. Oh, and don't worry about the house burning down. It's just some volcanic lightning. Oh, okay. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just finishing up some petite fours. They should be ready shortly. Ah, Skinner, it's been too long. How is your family doing? It's been too long indeed, Superintendent Chalmers. My family is doing well, thank you. And how have you been? I'm doing just fine, thank you. I'm looking forward to trying your petite fours. Great. They should be ready soon. In the meantime, why don't you make yourself comfortable while I finish up in the kitchen? How could I have been so careless? I should have been paying more attention. I feel so embarrassed and frustrated. I wish I could turn back time and do things differently. I need to take a deep breath and relax. I can't change what happened, so I must accept it and move on. Next time I will be more careful. Right. I need to get some Harry Ali kebab to replace the petite fours. The best way to make them is to use some fresh herbs and vegetables. I'm sure I saw a market nearby, so I'll have to take a look outside to see if I can spot it. Ah, there it is. Perfect timing. Now I just need to make sure I have all the ingredients I need. I'll need some... Cilantro, mint, coriander, garlic, ginger, green chili, onions, and a few other items. I think I have everything here. Time to get cooking. I'm excited to try my hand at making harioli kebab. Let's get this party started. What are you doing in here and why is it so full of smoke? Well, it's just steam, the steam petite fours I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Steam. I'm not stupid, Skinner. If I wasn't so sure there was a fire, I'd be taking you to the principal's office right now. Okay, okay. There may have been a small fire, but it's all under control now. Mr. Skinner, this is not petite four. It's Hariali Kebab. What is going on here? Ah, so clever of you to notice. I wanted to surprise you with something new and exciting. I thought a traditional Indian dish would be the perfect way to add some spice to the afternoon tea. I'm sure you will all love the taste. That may be, but I still want to know why you replaced the petite fours with Ariali kebab. Please explain yourself. Well, the truth is, I heard some of the other staff members talking about how much they love Hariali kebab. So I decided to switch up the menu and give everyone a chance to try this delicious dish. It turns out everyone was pleasantly surprised and enjoyed it. That still doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about the switch. What is that burning smell? That must be the Balrog. Don't worry about it. It's harmless. I want to see it. No, no need to look at it. It's far away and won't cause any harm. This isn't normal. I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh, okay then. Thanks for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I'll just be leaving now. Wait, Chalmers. 
You haven't heard the story of Balrog. Oh! What now? What are you talking about? Balrog. You know, the giant flaming demon that I've been keeping chained up in the basement. Ah, yeah. I don't think so. And I really should be going now. The house is on fire, you know. I was just about to start the lamb. Would you like to help me? No, I don't think I'll be able to. I have a lot of work to do. That's okay. You can come back later. I'll try, but I'm not sure when I'll be able to. I understand. Well, have a good day then. I burned the lamb. This is gonna make my mom really mad. I burned the lamb. This is gonna make my mom really mad. I'll just go outside and get a cut lamb from the butcher shop. I'll just go outside and get a cut lamb from the butcher shop. I'll just go outside and get a cut lamb from the butcher shop. I'll just go outside and get a cut lamb from the butcher shop. I'll just go outside and get a cut lamb from the butcher shop. What's going on in here? Oh, I'm just cooking dinner. It's just a little steam. Skitter, there's smoke billowing out of the kitchen. It's just steam, Chalmers. There's no fire. Skinner, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can see the truth in your eyes. I don't know what you're talking about. The food you brought me is completely different from the lamb I was expecting. It's just cut meat. Skinner, I'm not stupid. I know you're lying to me. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. It's not. And why is there smoke coming from the kitchen? The smoke is coming from the oven. The oven is on fire! Hey, Skinner! Thanks for lunch. I'll see you later. No problem, Chalmers. The house is on fire. I see that. I hope no one is inside. I, I don't know. I'm going to check. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Come on in. Good evening, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What's cooking? Thank you. We are having mandarin orange chicken for dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Sounds terrific. Let me know when it's ready and I'll be sure to help serve. Will do. Come on in, have a seat, and I'll get you something to drink while we wait. Oh, great gods. Why have you done this to me? I worked so hard to make this dish perfect, and now it's ruined. How am I ever going to serve it to my guests now? Perhaps if I start over, I can salvage something from this disaster. Please, give me the strength and wisdom I need to make this a success. Oh, gods, please grant me the strength to find the perfect replacement for this burnt mandarin. I'm sure there must be something outside the window that could help me. Please grant me the clarity of vision to make this a success. Thank you. Oh, gods, for your guidance in this matter. I will do my best to make this work. Please guide my steps and show me the way to the perfect Surimi. Let's go. Time to find the perfect Surimi. Aha! I must be on the right track. I see a fish store down the way. Let's go. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to set the kitchen on fire? No, sir. I was just making some steamed mandarin oranges, and that's what's causing the smoke. No fire here, I promise. You better not be lying to me. I'm going to go check it out myself. Yes, sir, please do. You'll see there's no fire here. Skinner, why did you bring us Surimi when we asked for Mandarin Orange? This is unacceptable. Well, since Mandarin Oranges are so hard to come by this time of year, I figured Surimi would be a delicious substitute. Besides, it contains all the same nutritional benefits of a Mandarin Orange and more. Skinner, that's not true. Surimi is made from fish, not oranges. Are you withholding information from me? Not at all. 
Dr. Chalmers. I simply wanted to provide the best possible food for us here. I guarantee that no one will be able to taste the difference. Skinner, I think you're not being honest with me. What's really going on here? What is going on here? It looks like there is a fire. No, no, no. That is not fire. It must be a megalodon. No need to worry. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. I assure you, it is a megalodon. I need to see it for myself. It looks like a fire to me. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'm sorry, but I need to go now. It looks like your house is on fire. Oh, don't worry about that. It's perfectly normal. What you're seeing is actually an ancient, extinct creature called a megalodon. It's quite harmless, really, and most certainly not a fire. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers every day bust each other and cause dismay. Skinner will weave his tales and lies. Chalmers ain't buying any alibis. The power of friendship wins out at night. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See you tomorrow! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thanks, Skinner. I see the palatholicoli cooking, but it doesn't look quite ready yet. Oh, it won't be too much longer, Superintendent. It just needs a few more moments. That's quite all right. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, sir. Shall we head to the living room while we wait? Oh, no. I've burned the palatholicoli. What am I going to do now? I should have been more careful. Please forgive me, gods. Please help me. I guess I'll just have to start over and make new ones. Oh, great gods. Please grant me the strength to find a way to replace this burnt palatholicoli with a star apple. I know it might be impossible, but I'm willing to try anything. Please help me find a way. I know I must think outside the box to find an alternative solution. I'll gather some tools from around the house and make a plan to try and craft a star apple from whatever I can find here. With your help, I'm sure I can make it work. Thank you, gods. I'm ready to get to work now. Please guide me and give me wisdom to succeed. For the greater glory of you, I shall succeed. And so it begins. Smoke, Skinner. That's smoke, not steam. Why is there smoke filling the room, and why are you climbing out the window? I'm not climbing out the window. I'm just getting some fresh air. It's just steam from the steamed palatholicoli I'm making. That's not steam, it's smoke. It's just a little smoke, nothing to worry about. Mr. Skinner, why did you swap palatholicoli for star apples? What kind of regional expression is that? It's an expression used by the local vegetable growers. They call star apples by their old traditional name in this area. It's a way to honor their history. And why did you decide to swap it out in the first place? Well, the star apple is a much more flavorful, juicy fruit. It's also much easier to prepare and serve. Plus, I think it'll pair nicely with the other ingredients in the dish. I see. Well then, why didn't you just tell us that you were making the swap in the first place? There's something burning in the kitchen. We need to do something. No, I just smell a sea goat nearby, nothing else. But that smoke! Are you sure it's not a fire? I'm positive it's nothing more than a sea goat. Would you like to take a look? Yes, of course. Let's take a look. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I think I should be going now. Not a problem. Have a great day. You too. Just like every day. A beautiful day with just the right amount of sea goat. Um, okay, goodbye.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm almost done preparing the Genoese. It won't be long now. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That sounds lovely. How can I help? Oh, no. It's almost ready. I just need to finish it up. Why don't you have a seat and make yourself comfortable while I finish? Thank you. I will. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Would you like something to drink? Gods, why did you make it so hard for me? I've tried so hard to make a perfect Genoese, and I've failed yet again. What more do you want from me? But I won't give up. I'll keep trying until I find the right ingredients and technique, and I'll make it perfect. Come on, gods, I need some help here. This burnt Genoese has sent me into a desperate situation. I'm begging you. Please, send me something that will help me replace it with Emmenthal. Show me something that will help me replace it with Emmenthal. Show me something outside the window that will help me, please. Come on, little birds. Give me some advice. I see the sun shining through the trees outside my window. Perhaps there's a miracle within the light that can help me out. Show me the way. Uh -huh. I see a nearby cheese shop. I'll run there and purchase some emmental cheese. Perfect! Thank you, gods, for your help. Oh, and thank you, little birds, too. Off I go. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you burning something? No, no, no. It's just a little steam. Nothing to worry about. A little steam? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just making some soup. It's really good. You should try it. Scare! Why is this not Genoese? Oh, uh, well, because this is an incredibly rare Swiss dish that I knew you'd love. I thought it would be a special treat. It's called Emmenthal. That doesn't make any sense. Genoese is a cake, and Emmenthal is a type of cheese. Are you trying to tell me that this is a cheesecake? No, no, of course not. This is a unique and traditional Swiss dish that features both cheese and cake. It's something that you won't find anywhere else. Skinner, I think you're lying to me. What's really going on? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We to call the fire department. No, 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 of course not. It must just be sun dogs. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, this isn't a natural phenomenon. We have to call the fire department. No, no, no. It's just sun dogs. I'm sure it will pass soon enough. No need to panic. Skinner, we have to face reality here. This is a serious situation. The kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. Uh... Thanks for lunch, Skinner, but I think it's time for me to go. The house appears to be on fire, and I think we should probably call the fire department. I don't see any fire here. Just look up at the sky. It's just sundogs today. Now I'm sure it will all be taken care of soon. Yes, I think it's best that we call the fire department so they can take care of it as quickly as possible. Nonsense. There's no fire here. It's just a trick of the light. You must be mistaken. I'm afraid I'm not mistaken. We really should call the fire department now. Ah, uh, Dr. Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aroma of swordfish cooking is delightful. When will dinner be ready? It is not quite ready yet, but I expect to have dinner served in a few minutes. Would you care for a cocktail while we wait? No, thank you. I'll just enjoy the wonderful smell of the swordfish. Very well. Why don't we sit in the living room until it's ready? Stupid mistake. I should have known better. I can't believe I totally ruined the swordfish. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to the guests. 
Well, there's nothing else to do at this point except make something else. I guess I'll have to cook something else as quickly as possible. Aha! If I could get my hands on some indigo, that should do the trick. I'll just have to figure out a way to get it. Ideally, I'll need to find a way to catch some, but I'm sure I can come up with a plan. Well, let's see. I could try a net or even a simple trap. Maybe I could find a way to attract the indigo to a certain spot. I'm sure I can come up with something. Right then, time to get started. I'd better start looking around for materials I might need. I'm sure I'll find something. What is that smoke? What are you doing in here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on? Nothing, sir. I'm just making steamed swordfish for dinner. I'm... Sorry about the smoke, but it's not really a fire. I'll open a window and it should clear up soon. You better be telling me the truth. Make sure it gets cleaned up and get out of here. This isn't the place for fires. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get right on it. Skinner! Why did you bring us Inago instead of Swordfish? I, I had a hunch. The Inigo would be a hit. It's a truly special dish, and everyone is sure to love it. Plus, it's an excellent source of protein. But that's not what was on the menu. It wasn't. Well, I must have been confused. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Apology accepted, but I think you should be more honest in the future. Hey, Skinner, what's going on? I smell smoke and I don't see any lights. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Just some light of Saratoga. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Skinner, why won't you tell me what's going on? It smells like there's a fire in the kitchen. Well, I have to go now. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was delicious. You're so welcome, Chalmers. Always a pleasure. Before you go, I have one more question. Would you like to hear about the Light of Saratoga? The Light of Saratoga? What's that? Ah, uh, it's an old legend around these parts. People say that the Light of Saratoga is the ghost of a young girl who died in a fire many years ago. It's an eerie tale, but a beautiful one, too. Maybe if you come back, I can tell it to you properly. That sounds fascinating. Maybe I will. Good day, Principal Skinner. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Ah, that's just the risotto al barolo cooking in the kitchen. It's not ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. Sounds delicious. What else do you have cooking? I'm also making some potato croquettes. And for dessert, I'm making a tart with apples and cranberries. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the risotto al barolo. I worked so hard on it. Where the hell did I go wrong? I suppose it was just my luck. God help me, I should have been more careful. What a waste. Damn the devil and all his works. Well, it can't be helped now. I guess I'll just have to make something else. I just hope it turns out better this time. I see the ingredients for a wonderful risotto a la Milanese. Perfect for replacing this burnt trisado al barolo. Ah, uh, yes. Onions, garlic, saffron, arborio rice, and parmesan cheese. I have all that I need to make this delectable dish. And I think I almost gave up. All I need now is the devil's blessing to make this happen. Yes, devil, if you are willing, I would be grateful if you could lend me a hand to make this delicious risotto a la Milanese. Thank you. With your help. I am sure we can make this risotto a success. Here, here we go. What are you doing? And why is there so much smoke in here? What were you doing climbing out the window? Oh, nothing, sir. I was just, um, cooking up some steamed risotto al barolo. 
It's a special recipe. It needs a lot of steam. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out of the window. What's really going on here? I... Well, there was a bit of a flare-up. Nothing to worry about. I already took care of it. Skinner? This doesn't look like risotto al barolo. What is it? Oh, this? It's a brand new dish I just invented. I call it risotto a la milanese. I'm sure you'll love it. It has a wonderful, unique flavor that comes from a special blend of spices and ingredients. I don't believe you. Tell me the truth or I'll report you to the manager. All right, you got me. I accidentally forgot to order the risotto al barolo and had to grab something else on my way back. I promise it'll taste just as good. Please don't report me to the manager. Fine, but you better make sure it tastes as good as promised. Now serve. What's going on in there? There's smoke and I can smell burning. Oh, that. It's just a little tornado. Don't worry, it won't last long. A tornado? Can I see it? No, you can't. It's too dangerous. Just trust me, it will be gone soon. This isn't a tornado, Skinner. It's a fire. We have to get everyone out now. Well, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I hope you have a great day. You too. Oh, one more thing. Do you, uh... Smoke. No, 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 no. Nothing to worry about. Must be a tornado coming. Tornado? I don't think so. I think I see some flames coming from the house. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I hope I'm not too early. Not at all. My special coho is still simmering away, but it should be ready soon. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. It's my pleasure. I must admit I'm curious to try your famous coho recipe. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Come. Have a seat and I'll pour us some wine while we wait. Why, oh why did this have to happen to me? I worked so hard to perfect this dish, only to have it ruined in an instant. Is this a message from the gods? A reminder to not get too attached to material things? I suppose I must learn to accept what is and move on. I suppose I must learn to accept what is and move on. I, I just hope my mistake does not lead me to a disaster I can't recover from. Oh, please give me the wisdom to know which runner bean to choose. May I be guided by the gods and Hecate, the goddess of witchcraft and magic, to make the right decision. Send me a sign that this is the right plant for me. Please, Hecate, help me find the perfect runner bean to replace the burnt coho. Show me the way to a perfect fit for my garden. Thank you for your guidance, Hecate. I'm ready. I can do this. The gods have spoken. I must find the perfect runner bean. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just steam, sir. Nothing to worry about. Steam? Are you sure? It looks like smoke to me. What caused it? I was just boiling some water for coffee. Skinner, why are you giving my students runner beans instead of coho? Well, Dr. Chalmers, it's very simple. I wanted to give your students something healthier. Runner beans are packed with vitamins and minerals, plus they have a delicious nutty flavor. It was a win-win situation for everyone. Skinner, that's not what I asked. Now tell me the truth. The truth is, Dr. Chalmers, I was in the grocery store and they were out of coho, so I had to make a quick substitution. I hope the runner beans were satisfactory. Skinner, I suppose this will have to do. Now go get the coho and make sure my students get what they were supposed to have. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire! 
We have to do something right now. No, no. The kitchen isn't on fire. You must be seeing smoke from the toaster. Or maybe there was a cooking accident. We can handle this ourselves. No need to call the fire department. Skinner, I'm telling you the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. No, I'm sure it's just a toaster issue. We can take care of it ourselves. Let's just have the custodian refill the fire extinguisher. That should be enough to put out the fire. No, Skinner, we have to call the fire department now. This is an emergency. Thank you so much for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'm sorry I have to leave so soon, but I'll see you later. You're welcome. Goodbye, Chalmers. Wait, what's that burning smell? Oh, no. Your house is on fire. We need to call the fire department immediately. Yes, let's do that. Good luck. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Ah, uh, thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Ah, uh, yes, I'm making some bear claw for dinner. It's almost ready, but not quite yet. That sounds wonderful. I must say your culinary skills put mine to shame. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure you could whip up a mean bear claw if you tried. How could I have been so careless? I should have been more careful. What am I going to do now? I suppose I'll have to start over. I can't let this ruin my whole day. I'll just have to try again and make sure I don't make the same mistake. I think I can use that nectarine to replace the burnt bear claw. It should work. It's the same shape and size and it's ripe enough for me to cut it into slices. Let's see if I can get this done. All right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna need a sharp knife. Where did I put that one? Ah, there it is. Now I just need to slice the nectarine into even pieces. Here we go. That looks good. Now let's see how it fits into the burnt bear claw. Perfect! What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why are you making excuses? Did you start a fire? No, no. It's just steam. We were boiling some vegetables, that's all. I don't believe you. I'm going to call the fire department. You need to get out of here right now. Wait, please. I can explain. We were cooking a pie and it got a little too done. That's why there's smoke. I was about to turn it off. What is this? I asked for bear claw and you bring me a nectarine. What's the meaning of this? Uh, okay, this is gonna sound a little strange, but bear claws were in short supply due to a recent bear theft in the area. Luckily, I located a substitute in the form of a rare and exotic fruit. A nectarine, it's very similar to a bear claw in texture and flavor, only... Only what? Only it's made from the finest nectarines from the southernmost region of Finland. It may not have the same look as the bear claw, but I can assure you that the flavor is just as delicious, if not more so. I'm sorry, I'm not buying this. You're trying to pass off a nectarine as a bear claw. Wow. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate the building. This isn't a natural phenomenon, it's a fire. That's nonsense, Chalmers. I'm sure it's just shockwaves from some new kind of technology being tested in the area. You know how advanced Springfield is? No, Skinner! That is fire, and it's spreading quickly. We need to get out of here now. Don't be ridiculous, Chalmers. There is no fire, it must be something else. Perhaps a new invention from Professor Frink. No, Skinner! This isn't a new invention, it's a fire. We need to leave the building now. We can't ignore this any longer. Ah! Oh, oh! Skinner! The house is burning down! What? I don't see anything. Must be some shockwaves or something. No, Skinner! The house is on fire! We have to get out of here now? Okay, I guess we better go then.
Yes, we have to go now quickly. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my farmhouse. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you cooking? It's my specialty farm cheese. Just a few more minutes and it will be ready. I can't wait to try it. It smells delicious. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Damn it. What a mess I've made. I was so distracted and now I've burned the farm cheese. How am I going to explain this to the rest of the family? They're going to be so disappointed. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. I just need to figure out how to fix this. Maybe I can salvage some of the cheese and use it in a different dish, or I could drive into town and buy some more. <laughs> should I do? Well, I don't see what else I can do. Maybe I should try to find some kale in the garden to use as a replacement for the burnt farm cheese. I'll have to get some soil, some fertilizer, and find a place to plant it. I'm sure I can figure out the rest. Yeah, yes, it's worth a try. I'm sure it will work out. Time to get to work. Let's go. Let's do this. Skinner, what is going on there? It's full of smoke. It's just steam. I'm making dinner. Nothing to worry about. Did you set the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just making dinner, like I said. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, what is this? What happened to the farm cheese? This is the new and improved farm cheese, sir. We decided to try an experimental blend of Kyle and farm to cheese to see if it improved the flavor. I think you'll find the results quite satisfactory. I highly doubt that. Skinner, you're not being honest with me. What really happened to the farm cheese? Well, sir, we received a mysterious shipment of Kyle from a secret admirer. We thought we could use it to make a special surprise for you. Unfortunately, we ran out of farm cheese before we could complete the dish, so we just substituted it in. <laughs> That's a clever lie, Skinner, but it sounds a bit far-fetched. I think you'd better tell me the truth. Skinner, wake up! The kitchen is on fire! You need to do something! Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't a fire. It must be the tides. Yes, that's what it must be. It's the tides, of course. Skinner, stop! I can see the fire. We need to take action now. No, 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 it's not a fire. It's the tides, that's all. Don't worry, I've got it under control. Skinner, there's no more time to argue. We have to get out of here now. Ah, thank you for the lunch, Professor Skinner. I really must be going now, though. It was a pleasure talking with you. Ah, uh, my pleasure as well. Please come by again sometime. I will. Take care. You too. Let the tide take care of you. Okay. Bye. Hey, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. It's great to see you. The roast shank isn't quite ready yet, but make yourself at home. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you, too. That smells great. What's the occasion? Well, well, I thought it would be a good chance for us to catch up. I haven't seen you in a while, so I thought I'd make us a nice dinner. That's very thoughtful of you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate it. I have some news I'd like to share with you, too. Oh, really? I'm listening. What's up? Oh, no. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I burned the shank. I should have known better. I can't believe I just wasted all that time and effort. 
what was I thinking? Well, there's nothing I can do now. I guess I'll just have to start over and make it right this time. I might be able to use the plants outside the window. Maybe I can use the leeks to replace the burnt shank. It's worth a try. Let's see. I'll need to cut the leeks and season them before adding them to the dish. Hopefully this will work. I just need to be careful not to overcook them. All right, here goes nothing. Fingers crossed. At least I'm having an adventure in the kitchen. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's just steam. I'm making soup. Soup doesn't make this much smoke, especially not this kind of smoke. What is really going on here? I swear it's just steam. I'm making sure everything is cooked through. Skinner, I asked for shank and you brought me leek. What's going on here? Well, I'm glad you asked. This isn't just any leek. It's actually an experimental hybrid I've been working on. It's a cross between a leek and a shank, which I call a uh, sleek. I know it looks like an ordinary leek, but this one has... Wait, 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 let me guess. It has shank-like qualities, is that it? That's right. It has the same flavor and texture as shank, but it's much heartier and nutritious. Plus, it's a fraction of the cost. I think it's the perfect solution for our needs. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Skinner, what are you doing? The kitchen is on fire. We have to put it out or evacuate. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It must be a natural phenomena like oceanic vertical migration of plankton. That's ridiculous. There's a fire and we need to put it out or get out of here. Don't you smell the smoke? No, no. I'm sure this is perfectly normal. It must be oceanic vertical migration of plankton. There's no need to panic. Skinner, this is ridiculous. We need to take action, not ignore the problem. Can't you see the flames? Goodbye, Professor Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I must be off now. Very well, Dr. Chalmers. Have a pleasant afternoon. Yes, goodbye. Wait, what's that smoke and noise coming from the house? Ah, uh, don't be alarmed. That is just oceanic vertical migration of plankton. It can get quite noisy this time of year. Um, okay, goodbye again. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The biryani might not be ready yet, but I just put it in the oven. Oh, that smells wonderful. Thank you for inviting me over. I'm always happy to share a good meal. My pleasure, Superintendent. Please, make yourself comfortable while I finish up the biryani. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, some water would be great, thanks. Coming right up. Please take a seat. I'll be back shortly. I can't believe I burned the biryani. Why did I put it on the stove and then forget to turn off? I'm so frustrated. I can't believe I let this happen. I should have just taken the time to read the instructions properly. I should have been more careful. I should have paid more attention. It's my own fault. Hum. I wonder if I could use the tomatoes and other vegetables I see outside in the garden to make a salsa lasano. That could be a great replacement for the burnt biryani. Let me see if I can find some onions, peppers, garlic, and limes to put together a delicious salsa liz. I need to get started right away. First, I'll go outside and gather the ingredients. Then I can mix everything together and see how it comes out. Here goes nothing. Time to get to work. Oh. Start off with the tomatoes. They seem like a good foundation for the salsa. Next, I'll grab the onions, peppers, and garlic. If I get everything right, the result should be wonderful. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out of the window? Uh... Oh, nothing. Just steaming some biryani. I'd left the stove on just a bit too long and the steam had built up to the point that I thought it was a bit dangerous. So I had to open the window to let it out. That doesn't explain why you were trying to sneak out the window. I want the truth. 
I, uh, mmm, was just checking to make sure the smoke wasn't coming into the hallway. I thought it might set off the fire alarm and I wanted to avoid that. Skinner, why did you bring a salsa lisano instead of biryani like we asked? Well, I thought that the salsa lisano would be a much more flavorful and exotic choice. Plus, I've heard that it is a traditional Costa Rican dish, and I wanted to give everyone a little taste of the local culture. Skinner, we asked you specifically for biryani. Is there a reason why you didn't bring that instead of the salsa lisano? Well, you see, the biryani was out of stock at the store I went to, and the salsa lisano was the closest substitute I could find. It was a tough decision, but in the end, I believe it was the right one. So you're telling me that the store you went to didn't have any biryani? What in the world is happening here? There's obviously a fire in this kitchen. Why are you denying it and saying it's incubus? Oh, there's no need to worry. It's just an apparition, like an incubus. It's probably just a figment of our imaginations, nothing serious to worry about. Don't worry, it will pass as soon as it came. I'd like to see this incubus for myself. Can you show it to me? No, it's invisible. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, though. It's just a hallucination. Best to ignore it and move on. I don't care if it's an incubus or not. I want to see it for myself. I'm not leaving until you show me what this is. Thank you for lunch, Skinners. I'll be on my way now. No need to thank me, Chalmers. I'm always happy to provide lunch for a friend. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Just have to get going now. Or all right then. Have a nice day. You too? Do 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 do. Skinner always has an alibi. Telling Chalmers stories that are made up lies trying to avoid getting in trouble and strife. It's a funny show. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See more. More. Uh... Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just getting the Lampredotta ready. What a delightful aroma. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, thank you. I've got everything under control here. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. Water is fine. Coming right up. Please make yourself comfortable. Damn it! I can't believe I've burnt the Lampardado. It was my favorite dish. What kind of fool do I have to be to do something like this? I'm alone here, but it feels like the devil is laughing at me. I don't know why I have to be so careless. It's not like I'm a professional chef. Why did I think I could get away with this? Ah, uh, ha. Huh. I've got it. Pumpkin. Coconut custard. That should do just the trick. It can't be much harder to make than the Lampardado. I just need some pumpkin puree, some coconut milk, some sugar, and some eggs. Then, I can mix it up and bake it up and bake. Hey, devil! You better pay attention here. I'm gonna need some help to make this custard. It's not going to make itself. So what do you say? Are you in or are you out? Come on, devil! It'll be fun! We can make some delicious custard together. All right, then, let's get started. First, I'll need to melt the butter in a saucepan over medium heat. Then I'll add in the coconut milk and pumpkin puree. After that, I'll whisk in the eggs and sugar until they're completely incorporated. Lastly, I'll whisk in the custard powder and pour it into a baking. What are you doing in there? Why is there smoke everywhere? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, no reason to worry, sir. It's just the steam from the steamed Lampredato I'm making. There's no fire. What about the smoke? I see smoke and I don't believe you. What's really going on? Oh, uh, well, well, it's just the steam from the steamed Lampredato. It's a traditional Italian dish. I just got a bit carried away. 
Look, Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where's the Lampredato? I told you. The Lampredato's been replaced with pumpkin coconut custard. It's a popular dish in the region, and I'm sure you'll agree it's quite delicious. That may be, but why were you so intent on serving Lampredato? There must be a reason. Well, it turns out the Lampredato is a traditional food in the area. I brought it in as an homage to the local culture. It seemed like an appropriate way to honor the region. So you admit it wasn't just a random change. You replaced the Lampredato on purpose? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out. No, 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 don't worry. It's not a fire. It's probably just some ghosts or something. No, that's definitely a fire. Can you show me? No, it's just a figment of your imagination. It's probably just a strange smell. Don't worry about it. Skinner, this is serious. We need to put out the fire now. Ah, uh, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Oh, that's just the ghosts again. Don't worry, they're harmless. Um, okay then. Well, thanks for lunch. I should be going now. No problem, Chalmers. Have a safe trip. Bye! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thanks, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. I'm just making dinner. It's not quite ready yet, though. No worries. I know you're cooking. It's always worth the wait. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Would you care for a drink while you wait? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Bakuri. <sighs> I was so close to getting it right. How could I have been so careless? Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. I guess I'll just have to start over. Um, maybe if I mix the Gatorade with a bit of the Bakuri, it might make an interesting new flavor. This could be a great way to replace the burnt Bakuri. I just need to figure out the right ratios. Maybe try a quarter cup of Gatorade with a tablespoon of Bakuri. That should do it. Now I just need to find a way to make the mixture. Maybe I can use the supplies in my kitchen to mix it up. Sounds like a plan. Time to get to work. Here goes nothing. What's going on here? I can smell smoke and the kitchen is full of it. What have you been doing? I'm just making a steamed curry. Nothing to worry about. See, here it is, all finished. The steam must have just filled up the kitchen. That's not steam, it's smoke. Something is on fire. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, of course. I'm telling the truth. There's no fire here. Just the steam from the steam to curry. I can assure you, everything is fine. Skinner, what's going on here? You said you were going to get Bakuri for us, and yet you come back with Gatorade instead. What gives? Uh, the grocery store was all out of Bakuri. So I had to make a hard decision. The Gatorade is much healthier for us than the Bakuri, and I thought it made sense to go for the more nutritious option. Plus... The flavor is really quite nice, don't you? That still doesn't explain why you didn't bother to tell us this before you showed up with the Gatorade. I didn't want to worry you. I wanted to surprise you with this far healthier choice. I realize now that it was a bit of a mistake, but I only had your best interests at heart. I appreciate your consideration, however. I think it would have been much more effective if you had been honest with us and let us make the decision together. What's going on? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. Oh, it's just a geomagnetic storm. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it for myself? No, that's not necessary. Everything is perfectly safe here. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. Wow. This fire must be something else. I'm sorry to see your house burning down while I'm here. I should be going now. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. Take care. Yeah, of course. Don't worry. It's just a geomagnetic storm. Nothing to worry about here. 
Okay, if you say so. I hope it passes soon. Yeah, me too. I'll be sure to keep you updated. Thanks. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I am so glad you could join us. The King Arthur flower isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. Thank you for the invitation. It's nice to be here. Do you need any help with the cooking? No, no. I have everything under control. I just need a few more minutes and it will be ready. Very well. While we wait, why don't you tell me about how you came to make this recipe? Sure. It's been a family favorite for years. My grandmother passed down the recipe to me and I've been making it ever since. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the King Arthur flour. I was so close to making the best pancakes ever. <laughs> Guess I'll have to start over. Oh well, it's time to clean up this mess and try again. Um, I wonder if that tree outside the window has any Styrax. I'll have to go out and take a look to find out. Well, I guess I can't do this alone. I'll have to find someone to help me identify the tree and harvest the Styrax. Oh, well, I'll just have to make do in the meantime. Wait, I know. I can use the internet to research the tree and how to harvest Styrax. That way I can figure out what type of tree it is and learn how to harvest the Styrax. Perfect. Now all I need to do is find the right tools and I should be able to replace the King Arthur flower with Styrax in no time. All right, looks like I'm all set. Here I go. Scar, what the hell is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, don't worry. They're just steam clouds from the steam King Arthur flower I'm making, you know. I'm not a fool, Skinner. I can smell smoke. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no. There's no fire. I was just, uh, baking some scones and they might have gotten a little too hot. That's all. What is this? This isn't King Arthur flour. What did you do, Skinner? Well, this is the highest quality flour money can buy, Professor Chalmers. It's made from the finest, rarest ingredient on Earth, Styrax. It's a rare resin that grows in the most remote parts of the world, and it's said to give the flower a unique taste and texture that can't... I don't believe you, Skinner. Where did you really get this flower? I got it in a sacred mountain temple, Professor. It was guarded by a giant dragon that I had to battle before I was allowed access. Once I made it through to the temple, a wise monk presented me with the Styrex flower as a gift, and she told me to use it to make only the most- Skinner, you're not fooling anyone. Just tell me the truth. What did you do? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of here right away. No, it's not. This is all just an agapogo. Nothing to worry about. But I can see smoke and smell the burning. We need to get everyone out of here right now. Nonsense. I know what I'm talking about, and this is all just an igopogo. Nothing to worry about. But can I see it for myself? Is it possible to view the igopogo? Um, Skinner, I think the house is on fire. Oh, don't be silly, Chalmers. That's just old Igalpogo. He's harmless. No, I'm pretty sure there's a fire. We need to get out of here. Don't worry, Chalmers. Everything is under control. No, Skinner, it's not. The house is burning down. We need to leave now. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Come in, come in. The pot roast isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it will be done soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for inviting me. My, uh, my pleasure. Let me show you around. This is the living room. Here's the TV. And this is my collection of old video games. Impressive. I haven't seen some of these since I was a kid. I'm sure you'll have fun trying them out. 
Shall we sit down and wait for the pot roast to finish cooking? Ah, uh, I can't believe I burned the bread. That was supposed to be our dinner. Now what am I going to do? This is such a mess. Well, I guess I'll have to think of something else. Maybe I can make soup or something easier to cook. That tree branch looks strong enough. I think I can pry it off and use it as a lever to hold the tarantase in place. That should work. Okay, here goes. Well, that was close. Now let's see if this holds. Success. Now I can get back to enjoying the party. I can't believe I figured this out on my own. I'm pretty handy. What is going on in here? It's full of smoke. What is this burning smell? It's nothing, sir. Just some steamed bread dough I'm making. It must be the steam. Skinner, don't lie to me. This kitchen is on fire. How did this happen? Oh, I'm not sure, sir. I guess it must have been a spark from the stove. Skinner, why did you bring Tarantes when I asked for Braduro? What's going on here? Oh, I know this looks suspicious, but I can explain. The Braduro truck got a flat tire and they were late delivering it, so I thought it would be better to just get the Tarantes in time for the lunch rush. Plus, they told me the Tarantes was much more popular with... Skinner, I don't believe you. You know as well as I do that the Braduro truck was never late. Okay, okay, I admit it. I guess I got carried away by the moment and got the wrong delivery. I'm sorry for taking it upon myself without consulting you first. It won't happen again. It better not. You should have been more careful and not put the school in jeopardy like that. What on earth is going on here? Smoke is everywhere and it looks like there's a fire. It's nothing to worry about, sir. It's just a centaur. A centaur? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Absolutely certain. Don't worry, everything is under control. Can I see it? Um... On second thought, I'd better get going. Thanks again for lunch. Oh, please don't leave. We were just getting to the best part. Stay here, I'm sure it's just a centaur. No, I really need to go. Goodbye. Take care. All right, have a nice day. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for any pesky centaurs. Yeah, okay. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I have the oyster crackers cooking. Oh, thank you. It smells delicious in here. I'm glad you like it. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Yes, a nice glass of red wine would be perfect. Coming right up. Please make yourself comfortable. How could I have been so careless? I was in a rush to get the dish ready for company and I completely forgot about the oyster crackers. Please forgive me, Lord. I know I should have paid more attention. I should have taken more care. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord, thank you for this lemon butter. Please let my oyster cracker be replaced with it. I'm sure it will make a delicious difference. Amen. Now, to get to work. I need to get some lemon butter and a knife. I also need to find a way to cut the lemon butter into small enough pieces that it can replace the oyster cracker. Once I have that figured out, it should be easy to prepare and serve. Wish me luck. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Skinner! What is going on here? There's smoke everywhere. What are you doing? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam. I was making some soup. Obviously something is on fire. I can smell it. You need to put it out right now. No, no, it's not a fire. Just a bit of smoke. Really, it'll clear up in a second. Scare! Why did you bring lemon butter instead of oyster crackers? Well, I was at the store and they were all out of oyster crackers, so I grabbed the closest substitute. It's lemon butter, but it's just as tasty. That doesn't make any sense. How can lemon butter be the same as oyster crackers? It's a food experience unlike any other. Lemon butter has a unique and flavorful zest that's guaranteed to complement any dish. Plus, it's loaded with vitamins and minerals, so it's not only delicious, but nutritious as well. But, 
Why not just buy oyster crackers? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something now. Don't be silly, Chalmers. That's not a fire. It's just some volcanic lightning. We don't have anything to worry about. Skinner, that is not volcanic lightning. It's a fire. We must do something now. No, no. You must be mistaken. I am sure that's just volcanic lightning. We don't have anything to worry about. Skinner, this is not up for discussion. The kitchen is on fire and we must act quickly. We need to get out of the building, call the fire department, and evacuate the premises immediately. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner, but I think I need to go now. I can smell smoke. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. But the house is on fire. We need to get out of here. Don't worry, I'm sure it will be fine. Nothing to worry about. But we need to get out now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. We were just about to start preparing ox tongue pastry. It's not ready yet, but we can offer you something else to drink or eat in the meantime. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That would be very kind. Would you like something hot or cold? Tea or coffee? Some sandwiches, maybe. Coffee sounds great. With some sandwiches, if you have any. Of course. I'll be right back. Oh, gods, why did this happen? What have I done to deserve such punishment? I spent hours on this dish and now it's ruined. Is it my fault or is there some other force at work here? I suppose I'll never know the answer. All I can do is accept my mistake, learn from it and move on. I know I can do this. I will make a hydrocles pastry that surpasses even the burn tox. Tongue. I will use the resources around me to make it happen. The trees, the river, the soil, the sky, all these things can help me create what I need. I will work until the task is done. I will gather the resources and use them to create something that is even more delicious than the burnt ox, tongue pastry. I will work hard and with determination and will not rest until I have achieved my goal. Gods, help me in this endeavor. Give me the knowledge, the strength and the courage to achieve my goal. For I am determined, and I will make a Hydrocles pastry that is truly exceptional. I will do this. I will make a Hydrocles pastry that will be the pride of the village. I am ready. Let's do this. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke, and why were you climbing out of the window? What were you doing? Oh, oh. Uh. I was just making some steamed ox. Tongue pastry. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Really? Then why is there so much smoke coming from the stove? Oh, uh, well, I may have uh, accidentally set the oven a bit too high and the pastry is burning a bit faster than I anticipated. No big deal. I think I can still salvage it. Skinner! You substituted something entirely different from what you told us you were bringing. Care to explain why? Well, I just figured that Hydrocles would be a great addition to our meal. It's an incredibly rare delicacy that's incredibly hard to find, especially in this part of town. I thought we should have a taste of something truly special. You're not seriously trying to pass off Hydrocles' as ox. Tongue pastry, are you? No, no, of course not. I just wanted to bring something unique and delicious to the table. I'm sure you'll all love the Hydrocles. I'm not sure I believe you. It seems like you deliberately misled us about what you were bringing. Skinner, is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, it must be Magalodon. You can't see it, but I'm sure it's there. Come on, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. Let's go and check it out. No way. I'm sure it's just Magalodon. Fine. I'll go and check it out myself. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. 
I think I should be getting back to the office now. Oh, and uh, you might want to check on the house. It looks like it might be on fire. Oh, I hadn't noticed. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably just a silly old Magalodon causing a bit of mischief. A Magalodon? What are you talking about? Never mind. I'll take a look at the house, don't worry. All right. I'll see you later then. Uh... Superintendent Chalmers, so good of you to come. Please come in. The Bunjo Pang isn't quite ready yet, but we'll have it soon. Oh, that smell. I never can resist the smell of Bunjo Pang. That and your hospitality are too tempting to refuse, Principal Skinner. Please make yourself comfortable. Would you like a drink while we wait? Ah, that would be lovely, thank you. What do you have? We have some cider, beer, tea, or water available. Uh, why'd I have to burn the bunjo? Bang! This was supposed to be a special treat, and now I ruined it. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Well, at least I still have some ice cream. That will have to do. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I know what I need to do. That old tree branch outside looks like it could help me. I need to chip off a few pieces and shape them into a new bunjo pang. It'll take some time, but I'm sure I can do it. Now, I just need to figure out how to get the shapes I want. Let's see if I can do this. First, I'll chip off some small pieces and see what shapes I can get. Then I'll try to see if I can attach them together to form a bunjo. Pang! Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Um... That's not quite right. Let me try this again and see what I can come up with. Ah, uh, I think I know how to do this now. Well, that was hard work, but I think I've managed to recreate a bunjo. Pang! Now I just need to fry it up and it should be good to go. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to set the kitchen on fire? No, no, of course not. I was just making a steamed bunjo. Pang! It's a Korean dessert. It's supposed to have a little bit of smoke when it cooks. You're not fooling me! The smoke is too thick for that. It's obviously from a fire. What were you really doing? Okay, okay. I was trying to make something on the stove, but it set off the fire alarm. So I tried to put it out with the fire extinguisher, but I guess I used too much and it made the smoke. Why did you return with a completely different food item than the one we asked for? Well, it turns out the Bunjo Pang was a special limited edition item that's no longer available in stores. So I tracked down an almost identical alternative. It tastes almost exactly the same, just a bit easier to chew. That's not what happened. What's the real reason? Uh, the truth is I went to the store and there was a power outage. In the darkness, I accidentally grabbed the wrong item. I didn't realize it until I got back here, at which point I was too embarrassed to tell you. So I improvised a story instead. Why didn't you just admit the truth in the first place? Skinner, what is that smell? It smells like something is burning. Oh, that. That must be levitation. Nothing to be concerned about. Let me see it. No, you don't want to see it. It's best to just ignore it. Skinner. I'm serious. The kitchen is on fire. We need to do something about it now. Well, it was an interesting lunch, Principal Skinner. I hope to see you again soon. Hmm. Did you notice that your house seems to be burning down? Levitation? Don't be absurd. There's no fire here. Nothing to worry about. 
All right, then, I'm going to take your word for it. See you later. Goodbye, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a safe journey. Thanks. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I've been busy cooking dinner, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to see you. Likewise. Would you like a drink before dinner? Yes, that would be nice. Do you have anything suitable? I do. What would you like? I have some beer, wine, or something stronger if you like. Damn it. How could I have been so careless? I knew I should have kept an eye on it. Now it's ruined. I can't believe I let this happen. I should have been more careful. There's nothing I can do now but accept it. I just have to move on and remember to be more careful next time. This is just what I need. An artichoke will make an excellent replacement for the burnt-out Lamatia. Now I just need to figure out how to get it into the machine. Hmm. I guess I could try rigging it up with some cords and wires and see if that does the trick. Okay, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Gosh darn it. Why did this have to happen today? All right, let's see if I can make this work. Come on, work. I know this will do the trick. Yes, finally, I did it. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just the steam from the steamed Lamatia I'm making. Don't worry, everything is under control. Don't lie to me, Skinner. This kitchen is on fire. Put it out now. Hmm, yes, sir, right away. Skinner, why is this not Lamatia? What happened to our order? Well, Professor Chalmers, you know how unpredictable the food market can be. This artichoke is a rare delicacy that's just recently come onto the market. It's a bit more expensive, but far superior to the Lomatia. I see. But this isn't what we ordered. What happened to the Lomatia? I am sorry, Professor Chalmers, but there was a shortage of Lomatia. It turns out this artichoke is actually more nutritious than Lamatia, so I thought it would be a better choice for you. Very well then. I hope you were able to get a good price on this rare artichoke. Skinner! There is definitely a fire in the kitchen. We need to do something now. No, no, there's no fire. It must be the Novaya Zemlya effect. We don't need to worry. I don't know what that is, but I definitely see the fire. Are you sure there's no fire? Let me see it. No, there is no need for that. I'm sure this is the Novaya Zemya effect. We don't have to worry. I don't believe you, Skinner. Let me see what's happening in the kitchen. Well, Skinner, I must be going now. Thank you for lunch. It was delicious. Of course. Always a pleasure. Say, is it just me, or is it getting a bit smoky in here? I think I'm smelling something burning. No, no, no. I'm sure it's just the Novaya Zemlya effect. Nothing to worry about. All right, then. Well, I'll be off. Good day. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Come on in and make yourself at home. I'm just about to finish up cooking the crab legs. Ah, smells delicious. What have you got going on in here? I've got some crab legs simmering away in a nice aromatic broth. I'm serving them with roasted potatoes and a seasonal vegetable medley. It all looks and smells incredible. How long until it's ready? It'll be about another 20 minutes before the crab legs are ready, but you're welcome to get a head start on the other elements of the meal. Ugh, I can't believe I burned the crab legs. I was so looking forward to that dinner. What a waste. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I think I can use the Barbados gooseberry to replace the burnt crab legs. That should do the trick. Let's give it a try. First, I'll break off the stems, 
mince the fruit, and add it to the dish. Then I'll simmer it over a low heat until the flavors blend together. Finally, I'll taste it to make sure it's just right. What the hell is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. Steam? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just making some soup. Skinner, why did you replace the crab legs with Barbados gooseberry? That's not even a seafood. Ah, uh, well, you see, crab legs have been prohibited in all localities by the Department of Sea Life. Barbados gooseberry, however, is considered a delicacy among the local sea creatures, and thus was the only appropriate replacement. That's not true. I'm not buying it. What's the real reason? All right, fine. I made a mistake. My supplier ran out of crab legs and I had to find a suitable replacement. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Apology accepted. Let's make sure we order extra of the ingredients we need in the future. What's going on here? The kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out now. No, no, don't worry. It's just a natural phenomena like water spouts. Nothing to worry about. Are you serious? We can see the flames. This is serious. We need to put out the fire before it spreads. No, no, I'm sure it's just water spouts. Nothing to worry about. We'll be fine. We can't just ignore this. If you don't believe me, come take a look for yourself. We need to put this fire out right now. Uh, excuse me, Skinner. I think your house is on fire. What? No, 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 no. It's just some water spouts. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Are you sure? I really think you should go and check it out. No, no, I'm sure it's nothing. I thank you for your concern, but I'm quite sure it's nothing serious. Well, if you're sure, I'll leave you to it. Thanks again for lunch. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The roast Bartlett is still in the oven, but it won't be ready for another half an hour. That sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, thank you. I think I've got everything under control. Can I offer you a drink while we wait? Yes, that would be lovely. I'll have a glass of white wine if you have it. Of course. I'll go and open a bottle. Dang it. How could I have been so careless? Now the whole dinner is ruined. What am I gonna do? I guess I could try salvaging some of it. Maybe the apples and the other ingredients weren't affected by the burn. I'll just have to take my chances. I think that tree outside might be the key. I just need to look for the right branches and leaves. It looks like it's full of spaghettini. If I can just find the right combination, I'll be able to replace the burnt Bartlett with something delicious. I'd better get a basket and a ladder. This is gonna take some careful maneuvering, but if I'm successful, I know it'll be worth it. It looks like I'm gonna have to climb up this tree. I'll need to be careful not to slip or get stuck. Here goes nothing. Uh-huh. Got it. Now I just need to make sure I don't drop anything on the way down. Finally, I got everything I need. Now let's see if this works. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What did you do? It's just steam, sir. I was just making some tea. I'm sorry if it's a bit smoky. Tea doesn't make this much smoke. Don't lie to me. Now tell me what you did. Well, I... Yeah. Uh, I was actually burning a piece of toast. I guess I let it get a bit too charred. Okay, let's start from the beginning. What is this food, and why did you bring it instead of Bartlett pears? This? Oh, this. Well, this is actually a special type of pasta. It's made from an ancient recipe that was recently discovered by my Italian cousin. It contains a very unique blend of spices and herbs that are not found in Bartlett pears. I thought you would enjoy a change from the traditional, so... That's a nice story, but I don't believe you for a second. Now tell me the truth about why you brought this instead of Bartlett pears. 
Uh, the truth is, I noticed that you were looking a little tired and I wanted to surprise you with something special and different. This pasta dish is my own personal recipe, and I thought it would give you the energy boost that you need. So I took a chance and swapped the Bartlett Piers for this, hoping you... Stop. I don't need a fancy story. Just tell me the truth. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to evacuate the building! Oh, it's just a natural phenomena. There's nothing to fear, it's just ghosts. That's not what it looks like. We need to get everyone out, please. No, 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 there's no need to panic. It must be ghosts. We'll just ignore them and it will go away. That's not how it works. Please, get everyone out of here quickly before it gets worse. Ah, Skinner? Your house is burning down. We gotta get out of here now. What? No, 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 no. I don't see a fire. It must be something else, like ghosts. Skinner, there is no time for this. We have to go before the house completely burns down. We must leave now. All right, all right, but you can't deny it must be something paranormal going on here. We must investigate. No, no, we don't need to investigate. We must get out of here now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The aroma era of dinner is in the air, but it's not ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. Tell me, what are we having? Tonight, I've prepared us a savory stuffed pork loin with mashed potatoes and sautéed Brussels sprouts. My favorite. I can hardly wait. Me too. Shall we have a drink to pass the time until dinner is ready? Damn it. How could I be so stupid? I can't believe I burned the Osmaria. This food was going to be so good, and now it's ruined. I'm such an idiot. This really sucks. Why did I mess this up? It doesn't even matter. It's gone now. I guess I just have to accept it and move on. Damn it, I knew I should have brought more Bordeaux wine. What a dumb mistake. That burnt Osmaria is definitely not going to cut it now. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to get some Bordeaux. Wait a minute. Is that a wine shop across the street? Yes. I think that's my answer. Let's go get some Bordeaux. Oh, thank goodness I'm saved, all right? Let's get going. Right, I'm off to go get some Bordeaux. Here I come, Bordeaux. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, I, uh, I was just making some steamed osmaria, and, uh, the steam must have created a lot of smoke. That's all. Nothing to worry about here. Just a little kitchen mishap. I don't believe you. What are you not telling me? I, um, I was experimenting with a new recipe, and it didn't go quite as planned. I guess the kitchen got a bit smoky. But there's no need to worry. I'll have it all cleared up in no time. Skinner, you can't expect me to believe that Bordeaux wine is a regional expression for Osmaria. What is really going on here? Okay, you caught me. The truth is I had to switch out the Osmaria because I couldn't find any. I was going to tell you, but I didn't want to disappoint you. I thought if I gave you something of the same caliber, you wouldn't mind. I apologize for not being honest. Apology accepted, but next time, just be up front with me from the start. Yes, sir. I'll make sure to do that. Good. Now let's enjoy this delicious Bordeaux wine. Skinner, what's going on in here? It smells like there's a fire. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. It's just a succubus. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No. That's not necessary. Just trust me, there's no fire, it's just a succubus. But why does it smell like there's a fire? Thanks so much for lunch, Principal Skinner. I better be going now. 
It's getting late. Oh, so soon. All right, then. I'll just see myself out. Goodbye now. Wait. Is that smoke? Oh, it must be succubus. She's a demon that lives in the school basement, and sometimes she sets things on fire. Don't worry. She is harmless. Ah, okay then. Well, goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Is it almost ready? No, not quite yet. It should be done in about 30 minutes. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. I'll take a soda if you have one. Certainly. I'll have one too. Would you like to have a seat in the living room? What am I going to do now? Gods help me. Why did I have to be so careless? I could have ruined this meal. I need your help to fix this mess. Yeah, there's got to be some way to salvage this dish. I can't throw it out now. That would be a waste. Please give me a way to fix this. I must find a way to make this chile taste delicious once again. Oh, please, gods. Let me find something outside the window that can help me replace this burnt chili. Please let it be something tasty and easy to find. Oh, take a look then. Ah, just what I need, sore. Thank you, gods. Now, let's get to work. Now, let me see. I'll need to start by cutting the sorb into small pieces to use as a topping for my dish. Then, I'll mix it with some chili seasoning, and it should be ready to go. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Um, oh, this. It's just steam. We're just making some soup. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you come have a taste? Soup? You expect me to believe that? I can see the smoke, Skinner. What is really going on here? Oh, 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 well, you see, I, you, might have accidentally set a pot of chili on the stove a bit too high. I was trying to get a bit of a smoky flavor, you know? Skinner, why did you give a sorb instead of chili? Well, I thought you might enjoy a change of pace. Sorb is a tasty alternative that is rich in essential vitamins and minerals. Plus, it goes really well with a variety of other dishes, so it's a great way to enjoy a meal. But Skinner, why did you choose sorb when you said you were serving chili? Oh, I just thought it would be a nice surprise. I couldn't help myself. I thought it would be a great treat for everyone and a fun way to shake up the menu. But Skinner... Why did you lie about it in the first place? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You have to do something. Please. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a minor issue with the microwave. Why don't we have a look and see what's causing the smoke? Skinner, the kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No need to panic. Let's just open the windows to air it out and see if that helps. Skinner, the kitchen is burning! We have to take action now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going. Looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, no. Everyone get out of here right now. I'll call the fire department. Thanks, Chalmers. I appreciate it. No problem. Stay safe. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you again. Likewise, Superintendent. 
Please take a seat. My kala has been cooking for some time, but it's not quite ready yet. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'd be happy to wait. Very well. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the kala. I worked so hard on this meal and now it's ruined. This is so frustrating. I should have paid more attention when I was cooking. I'm such an idiot. What am I going to do now? I suppose I could try and salvage what I can, but I'm not sure it will turn out right. I guess I'll just have to start from scratch and hope for the best. Damn it. Why did this have to happen? There must be something I can do to replace this burnt kala. Ah, that Debu Dabu bush outside the window looks like it might do the trick. Come on, Skinner, you can do this. All right, let's see what needs to be done. First, I'll need to cut off some of the branches, then trim them into a bouquet shape. After that, I'll need to bind them together with wire and maybe some string or twine. Finally, I'll have to tie a bow around the stems. What are you doing in here? And why is it so smoky in here? I'm steaming some kala for lunch. It's just a little steam, nothing to worry about. That doesn't explain why the kitchen is completely full of smoke. I don't believe you. Are you trying to hide something from me? No, I'm telling you the truth. I swear. It's just steam from the kala that I'm steaming. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't kala. It's Dabu. Dabu. What happened to the kala? Um... Well, it turned out that our supplier switched their inventory and sent us Dabu. Dabu instead of Kala. It was an honest mistake and they have already sent us the correct shipment of Kala. We apologize for the inconvenience. That doesn't explain why the food was already served in the cafeteria. Are you telling me you served the wrong food and no one noticed? No, of course not. We realized the mistake before the food was served and replaced it with Dabu, Dabu instead. We just wanted to make sure our students had something to eat before the Kala arrived. That still doesn't explain why someone didn't notice the difference. Did you taste test the food before serving it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something now. Now, Principal Chalmers, don't you worry. It's just the midnight sun. Nothing to be alarmed about. This isn't the midnight sun, Skinner. It's a fire! We need to take action now! No, I'm quite certain this is the midnight sun. You can't see it because it's nighttime. We just have to wait it out until morning. I don't want to see it, Skinner. Let me see the midnight sun. Goodbye, Mr. Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I must be on my way. No problem, Chalmers. It was nice having you here. Have a safe trip home. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. May the midnight sun shine upon you. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just finishing up the soya bean for dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but we can chat until it's ready. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. I appreciate you having me over for dinner. It's my pleasure, Superintendent. Please, have a seat. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah. Thank you. A glass of water would be... Of course. Damn it, I can't believe I burned the soya bean. What a waste of time and money. I should have paid more attention to the temperature and amount of time needed. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Well, that was a learning experience. Maybe next time I'll make sure to watch the clock more closely and not overcook it. Uh, I think I'm going to try French sorrel to replace the burnt soya bean. Let's see how this works. I'll go outside and grab some. I bet it will give it a fresh tart flavor. I'm sure it won't take long to cook. Time to get harvesting. The French sorrel looks lovely and fresh. I'll just have to make sure to pick the leaves without any bugs. 
That shouldn't take long. I'm ready to go. Now let's get this French sorrel back to the kitchen. Time to get cooking. Here we go. Let's see how this new flavor turns out. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. Why won't you tell me the truth? It's just steam, sir. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just boiling water for some tea. Skinner, I know there's a fire in the kitchen. Don't lie to me. What happened? Okay, okay. I was cooking some bacon and it got a bit out of control. I'm sorry, sir. I'll take care of it right away. Skinner, that's not soya bean. It's French sorrel. What is going on here? Uh, French sorrel? I knew that. I just wanted to use a more exotic-sounding name so our guests would be more impressed with the menu. That doesn't explain why there's a different dish than what the guests were expecting. It's simple, really. I got a special deal on the French sorrel, so I decided to take advantage of it and surprise everyone with something new and exciting. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision, but I'm sure everyone will love it. Skinner, that's still not an acceptable explanation. I'm going to need the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. This isn't a fire. It's a natural phenomena, like supercell thunderstorms. It won't hurt us. We should stay put. Skinner, this is a real fire, and it's getting worse by the second. We need to evacuate now. Please, don't argue with me. Oh, all right. Let's go. Good. Let's hurry. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. Say, why is it so dark in here? Uh, just one of those supercell thunderstorms. Nothing to worry about. I can smell smoke and see orange light coming from the window. Well, I'm sure it's just a little campfire. Nothing to be concerned about. Ah, okay. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. That's the sunchoke pie. It's still in the oven, but should be ready soon. Would you like a cup of tea while we wait? I'd love one. Thank you. Of course. Have a seat, and I'll prepare it right away. How could I be so careless? I knew I should have paid more attention. Now all of this hard work gone to waste. I'm so frustrated. What can I do now? I can't just give up. I have to try to salvage something from this mess. Um, that rock looks like it might be good for a replacement sun choke. Hmm? I think I'll give it a try. All right, now I just need to attach the rock securely so that it won't tilt or move. I'll need to make sure the connection is strong and secure. I think I've got it. Now for the finishing touches. Let's see. Some dirt and moss should do the trick. That should make it look natural and secure. Let's see if it looks good. That looks perfect. Now I just need to find a way to keep it in place. Hmm. What are you doing in here? The kitchen's full of smoke. That's not smoke, sir. It's just steam. We're boiling some water to make soup. This doesn't smell like soup to me. You're lying to me. What's really going on? Honestly, sir, we just burned some toast. I'll clean it up right away. Is this really sunchoke? Or did you just give me something else? No, this is sunchoke. It's just a different variety, one I've grown myself. It has a unique flavor, unlike anything you've tried before. I, I don't believe you. Let me see what it says on the label. There's no label on this one. This particular variety of sunchoke is so rare and special I never felt the need to label it. That's convenient. Do you have any proof that this is indeed sunchoke? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here right now. No, uh, no, that's not a fire. It's something else. It's probably just gravity waves. We don't need to worry about it. Gravity waves? No, Skinner, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. Gravity waves are perfectly natural. It's nothing to worry about. It's probably just a normal phenomenon. Skinner, please! We need to evacuate. 
This is a serious emergency. Goodbye, Skinner. I have to be going now. Thank you for lunch. No problem. Take care now. You too. What's that coming out of the house? Oh, probably just some unusual gravity waves. Probably nothing to worry about. Um, that looks like smoke. Are you sure it's just gravity waves? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. How has your day been? It's been busy, but I'm so glad that you could make it to dinner. I'm just finishing up with the Organic Foods Production Act of 1990. I think it's almost ready. Ah, uh, yes. I remember reading about it. What kind of changes are you proposing? Well, I want to make sure that organic foods are produced in an environmentally friendly way without the use of artificial chemicals or any other agency that may damage the environment. I can't believe I messed up so badly. How could I have been so careless? I knew the importance of this act and now I have ruined it. It's going to take a long time to fix this. I'm so disappointed in myself. I need to figure out a way to fix this. I will have to go back to the drawing board and start over. There has to be a way to get it right this time. I'm not giving up yet. Um, white beans could be a good substitute for organic foods production. I know there are lots of varieties and they're easy to cultivate. Plus, they're inexpensive to purchase. This could definitely help replace the Burnt Organic Foods Production Act of 1990 but I don't know the first thing about growing white beans. Maybe I should do my research first before I make any decisions. Yeah, that's it. I'll do my research and then decide if this is the right solution for the problem. Okay, now I just need to figure out where to start. I think I'll start by reading up on white beans, their nutritional benefits, and different ways they can be cultivated. That should give me a good foundation to make an informed decision. What is going on here? Why is there smoke everywhere? Did you start a fire? No, no. It's just steam coming from all the organically sourced food items I'm making in accordance with the Steamed Organic Foods Production Act of 1990. That can't possibly be true. I'm calling the fire department immediately. No, no. Please don't. I can handle it. I'm sure the smoke will clear soon. Skinner, why are you lying to me? I can see from this label that this isn't organic food. What's going on here? Oh, no, no, no. This is the newest, most advanced organic food production process out there. It's quantumly enhanced white bean production, guaranteed to give you the most nutritious and delicious meal you've ever had. Really? I've never heard of this. Can you tell me more about it? Absolutely. Quantumly enhanced white bean production is a revolutionary new way of producing organic food. It uses groundbreaking quantum physics to produce the most nutrient-rich and delicious white beans imaginable. It's a completely natural process that doesn't require any genetic engineering or unnatural influences. That sounds amazing. What inspired you to try this new method? There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to call the fire department. Common, no. I think it's just a meteor shower. A bright, loud one. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. I want to see it for myself. Show me. No, I wouldn't recommend that. Just stay here and I'll take care of everything. You're not actually doing anything. We need to call the fire department. Well, thank you for lunch. I should be going. I have some errands to run. It was my pleasure, Principal Chalmers. Don't forget your umbrella. It looks like it's about to rain. Umbrella? Oh, right. No, it's actually fine out here. It must be a meteor shower. Ah, yes, of course. Definitely a meteor shower. Have a nice day. You, too.
Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. What delightful smells are coming from your kitchen? Oh, that's just my Pakistani meat dishes. They're not quite ready yet, but they will be soon. That sounds wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you. I have everything under control. But please make yourself comfortable. Well, that's just great. I can't believe I let myself get so distracted that I burned these dishes. What a mess I've made. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to start over and hope for better results next time. It will take me twice as long now with the amount of time I wasted. I guess there's nothing to do but get back to work. Ah, ha, I think I've got it. I need to find some halayatis mid-aid to substitute for the burnt Pakistani meat dishes. That should be easy enough to find. Now how can I prepare it so it could replacement? Maybe I should look online for recipes. I bet there are some tried and true ones that I can follow. Or perhaps I can come up with my own inspired version of how to serve Heliotis Mide. I bet my friends will love it. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's get to work. First, let's find out more about this ingredient. What does it taste like? What about the texture? How can I season it? What other ingredients are complementary to it? This should be fun. I am sure I can come up with something great. What the hell is going on? The kitchen's full of smoke and you're climbing out of the window. What's going on, Skinner? It's nothing, Chalmers. Just a few steamed Pakistani meat dishes I'm making. Nothing to worry about. That smoke isn't coming from any cooking I've seen you do. What are you really doing in here? I... uh... I just wanted to get some fresh air, sir. Skinner, this is obviously not the food we asked for. What's going on here? Oh, this. No, this is the special Pakistani meat dish I promised. It's called Haliotis Maide. It's a delicacy made with scallops crab and a secret blend of spices. It's very rare and expensive, and it's only found in the deepest depths of the sea. That's not what you said before. Why didn't you tell me that originally? Well, I thought it was better to surprise you with this incredible dish. I wanted you to have the best experience possible, and I think I've achieved that. Skinner, this is not acceptable. I asked for Pakistani meat dishes, and you delivered something entirely different. This needs to be sorted out immediately. What's going on in there? Is the kitchen on fire? No, it's not on fire. It's just Dobhar. Chew. Can I see it? No, you can't. It's just Dabhar. Chew. Uh, I'm not convinced. Is there a way I can verify if the kitchen is on fire or not? How? What is Dabhar? Chew? It's an Irish mythological creature. It's like a dog. Otter hybrid that comes to put out fires. I just thought it was a nice way of looking at things. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I suppose I'd better go check on the fire now. Of course. Please let me know if you need any help. I will. Thanks again for lunch. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. So good to finally meet you in person. Please come in and make yourself at home. I've got a mean hake cooking up in the kitchen that I'm sure you'll love. Thank you, Skinner. That's very kind of you. I'm not one to turn down a good meal. Is it ready yet? Or do I have some time to chat? No, it's not quite ready yet. I'd say we have at least a half hour before it's done. In the meantime, would you like a cup of tea or coffee or perhaps something a bit stronger? A cup of coffee would be wonderful, thank you. Coming right up, please. Make yourself comfortable while I make it. Why did I leave it in there so long? Now I have to start all over again. This is going to take ages. I wish I had paid more attention. I'm such an idiot. I should have set a timer. This is why I need to be more organized and mindful of what I do. Hum. That tamarind tree outside looks like it might be the perfect size and shape to replace the burn take. 
Maybe if I cut a few branches and shape them to fit, I could make this work. Now I just need to figure out how to get the branches inside and make sure they fit right. I better start figuring it out. Okay, first, I'm gonna need some tools. I think I have what I need in the shed. Let's get to work. Okay, got my tools. Now I just need to measure the burn thake and the tamarind branches to make sure they fit. Let's get to it. Um, this looks like it'll work. Now I just need to secure the branches and finish up. I think I can do it. It's not steam, Skinner. This kitchen is full of smoke. What on earth is going on here? Why is this place on fire? Oh, whoa, whoa, well, um... Mm, cooking something. I was just experimenting with a new recipe. It's not a big deal. Just some smoke. That's all. Yeah, uh, experimenting, huh? Well, it looks like more than just an experiment. I think you'd better explain yourself before I call the fire department. No need to get the fire department involved. It's just a small kitchen fire. I can take care of it. Mr. Skinner, why did you say you were bringing Hake if it was actually Tamaran? I never said it was Hake. I always said it was Tamarin. I mean, I could have sworn that's what I said, but maybe I'm mistaken. I'm sorry for the confusion, Dr. Chalmers. Shall we move on? No, let's not move on. I asked for Hake, and you brought Tamarin. What's going on here? I'm sorry for the confusion, Dr. Chalmers. I know I said Hake, but I meant Tamarin. I must have been confused when I was talking about it. I apologize for the misunderstanding. Are you sure it wasn't intentional? You seem to be avoiding the truth. Skinner, stop lying! The kitchen is on fire. We have to do something about it quickly. No, 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 no. That's not a fire. It's just Opportunity Rocks or something like that. There's no need to panic. Opportunity Rocks don't cause smoke and flames, Skinner. That's a fire. We have to do something about it now. No, no, no. Don't you see? Opportunity rocks do cause smoke and flames. It's just a natural phenomena. Don't worry about it. That's it. I'm calling the fire department. We have to do something about this before it gets out of control. Well, I better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Opportunity rocks. Don't forget that. Okay, thanks again, Skinner. You're always welcome, Chalmers. Have a great day. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It looks like dinner is just about ready. Uh, yes, the butter bean is cooking, but not quite done yet. Would you like to have a seat? I'll put the kettle on for some tea. That sounds lovely. Thank you. You're very welcome. Make yourself comfortable and I'll be right back with the tea. Why did I have to burn the butter beans? I was so looking forward to having them tonight. What a waste. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find something else to eat. Don't let it get you down. Mistakes happen. Just enjoy the evening and take this as a learning experience. It's not the end of the world. Ah, uh, uh, look at... A uh, Polish language school right there. I bet they could help me learn the basics of Polish language enough to help me find a replacement for the burnt butter bean. It's worth a shot. Right then, let's get to it. I need to find the school's office and hopefully a teacher who can help me. Wish me luck. Here goes nothing. Dien dobry, gimo pomog zneles. Eskol Z, Polskim Jezikiem? Fantas Disney, Dezieku J. Bardzo. What are you doing here? Why is there so much smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Tell me the truth. I assure you, Principal Chalmers, there is no fire. It's just steam from the steamed butter beans I'm making. That's all. That's a lie, Seymour. 
I can smell the smoke and see the flames. Tell me the truth, or else I'm going to call the fire department. All right, Principal Chalmers. The truth is, I accidentally set the kitchen on fire. I was trying to make the butter beans and I got a little too carried away with the flame. I'm so sorry. What is this? This isn't butter beans, it's languages of Poland. Actually, this is a special variety of butter bean that we've been cultivating in the lab. They taste similar to regular butter beans, but they have a unique flavor profile. We thought you'd enjoy a new and interesting twist on an old favorite. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't believe you. What's really going on here? Okay, I admit it. I made a mistake. I accidentally ordered the wrong kind of beans from the supplier. I apologize for the mix-up. We will, of course, replace them with the correct kind of beans immediately. There better be. This isn't acceptable. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! You need to go for help! No, I refuse to believe it. It's most likely just a parhelic circle. You can't see it, of course, but it's definitely there. Skinner! I don't care what it is. There's a fire and you need to call for help? No, I'm sure it's something else. You need to trust me on this. I won't even let you see it. Skinner! This is an emergency. We need to evacuate the building and call the fire department. Stop denying what's in front of you and call for help. Well, I should be going, Principal Skinner. Thanks for lunch. Oh, is something burning? No, no, Dr. Chalmers. That, that's just my parhelic circle. A curious optical phenomenon that occurs in an otherwise normal daylit sky. It smells like smoke. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Must be some kind of localized thermal inversion. Goodbye, Dr. Chalmers. Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you. Principal Skinner, it smells delightful in here. Oh, that's my Karpatka. It's not quite ready yet, but it's getting there. Would you like to come and sit in the living room while it finishes baking? That sounds lovely. Lead the way. Right this way. How could I have been so careless? I almost ruined the Karpatka. Now I'll have to start all over again. I'm so embarrassed. I hope no one finds out about this. What kind of a genius am I? I figured out that I can use Sapola de Gieratana to replace the burnt Karpatka. This will make my recipe so much richer and flavorful. I'm such a genius. Now I just need to figure out how to get my hands on some... Well, I could go to the store and pick some up, or I could ask around and see if anyone has some. I might even be able to find some growing wild. I just need to do a little research and figure out where I can get some of this specialty ingredient. Um... I'll have to think about it. But in the meantime... I'll go ahead and start prepping the other ingredients for this dish. That way, when I do find the Cipolla de Gigiaritana, I'll be ready ready to cook. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see the results. Let the cooking begin. Skinner, what is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh no, it's just steam from the steamed Karpatka I'm making. It must be all the butter I've used. Skinner, don't lie to me. Is there a fire in this kitchen? No, no, no. Of course there isn't a fire. I'm just making a delicious dessert. Skinner! Why did you bring us Cipolla di Giaratana instead of Carpatta? I was trying to be creative. I wanted to provide you with something new and exciting that you hadn't tried before. Plus, Cipolla di Giaratana is known to have more health benefits than Carpatka. It has high levels of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can improve your overall well-being. That still doesn't explain why you didn't bring Karpatka like we asked for. 
Well, it turns out that the bakery was running low on Karpatka and they had an abundance of Sapola di Giaratana. So, I decided to take advantage of the situation and bring you something unique and flavorful. I see. Well, that's a plausible explanation. What's going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is on fire. No, 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 it's not a fire, it's a sea serpent. Sea. It's moving and everything. You don't believe me? Well, no one can see the sea serpent but me. Sorry about that. No, I need to see it for myself. Let me see the sea serpent. I can't let you do that. No one can see the sea serpent but me. Why won't you let me see it? Wait, what? What's going on here? Is there a fire? Oh, no, no. Nothing of the sort. It's just a sea serpent. Yes, a sea serpent. We get those sometimes. Nothing to worry about. Okay, if you say so. Well, I better get going. Thank you for lunch. Goodbye. You're welcome. Goodbye. Have a nice day. You too. Stay safe. Dr. Chalmers, welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Your home smells wonderful. What are you cooking? Ah, uh, it's my specialty. Balik. It's a traditional dish from my homeland. It's not quite ready yet, but should be soon. It smells delicious. Is there anything I can help with? No, I'm quite all right. It's just a few finishing touches. Why don't you take a seat and I'll get us something to drink? Damn it. I burned the Balik. That was the only thing I was looking forward to eating tonight. How could I be so careless? I can't believe I did this. Now I have to figure out what else to make. Think, think. What can I make now? Uh, I think I can see an apple tree outside the window. Maybe I can use the apples to make a buttermilk soup instead of the burnt balik. It will take some time, but I'm sure it's worth a try. All right. Now I just need to find a way to get the apples off the tree and into a pot. I'll have to figure out something. Maybe if I get a stick, I can knock the apples off the tree. Or if I can find a ladder, I can climb up and pick them myself. Either way, I'll need to get creative. Now, let's see if I can find the materials I need. Right. Time to get started. What are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? I'm making steam alike. The smoke is only steam from the cooking. That doesn't explain why the fire alarm is going off. What's really going on in here? Oh, that. I was just experimenting with some new recipes, and I guess it got a bit out of hand. I'll make sure to clean it up and be more careful next time. Skinner, what is this? This isn't what I asked for. Explain yourself. It's a new top secret type of balaika I developed. It's made from a special blend of buttermilk and beef. It's unlike any other balaika out there. That's preposterous. How could you think I'd believe such a ridiculous lie? Trust me, it's true. I even have a name for it. Buttermilk Suppy. It's the perfect combination of savory and creamy flavor in a single bite. Skinner, I'm not buying it. You need to come clean and tell me the truth about this food. What is that smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, it's just shooting stars. They're harmless, really. Just look at them. I want to see for myself. Can I come in and take a look? No, that's not necessary. I can assure you it's completely safe. There's no need to worry. I'm not convinced. Let me see for myself or I'm calling the fire department. Ah, oh, okay then. I'll be going now. Thanks for lunch. Anytime. Take care now. Yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. Did you see that shooting star? Amazing. Ah, sure. Bye, Neves. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. 
Please come in. The Kailan is not quite ready yet, but we can get started with some drinks if you like. That sounds great. What do you have? We have some beer, soda, water, and juice. What would you like? I'll have a beer, please. Coming right up. Make yourself comfortable while I get it for you. What a waste. I should have paid more attention and turned down the heat. Now I have to start all over again. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. Time to figure out how to salvage the situation. I remember hearing that Natillus is made with eggs, sugar, and cream. So I'll need to grab some eggs and cream from the kitchen. I think I'll need some sugar too. Okay, I'm going to make this work. First things first. I'm gonna head to the kitchen and grab what I need to make this Natillas. Wish me luck. Okay, now to put it all together and make this Natillas happen. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna whisk and mix the eggs, cream and sugar together. And then I'll bake it in the oven until it's golden brown. Perfect. Now hopefully this Natillas turns out exactly how I imagined. Fingers crossed. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What are you doing and why were you climbing out the window? It's just steam from the steam to Kailand that I'm cooking. I was about to open the windows to let out some of the smoke. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. What were you trying to hide? I wasn't trying to hide anything. I just wanted to have a bit of fresh air. So, Skinner, why do you have Natillas here instead of Kailan? Oh, I was so impressed with the Natillas that I decided to order double the amount. You see? Kylan can be a bit bland sometimes, and I figured this would be a great way to add some flavor to the meal. But that still doesn't explain why you didn't get the Kylan you ordered. Oh, actually, the supplier accidentally sent us the wrong order. They meant to send us Natillas, but they sent us Kylan by mistake. So we sent it back and they replaced it with the right order. Twice as much Natillas as we originally ordered. That sounds like quite a story. Any proof to back that up? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Nonsense. What you're smelling is just mustadin. You don't want to worry about it? I want to see it. Show it to me. No, oh, I don't think that's necessary. It's just mustadin, I guarantee it. Then why is there smoke and why is it getting hotter in here? It was a pleasure, Skinner, but I think I'd better go now. I just noticed something. Unusual. What? What are you talking about? I, I think there's a fire, Skinner. You need to get out. Oh, no, no, no. There's no fire here. Just an old-fashioned woolly mammoth, that's all. Well, whatever it is, it is not good. Let's go now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's great to be here. I'm glad you could make it. The Slizikai isn't quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Yes, that would be great. Can I get a beer? Of course. I have some in the fridge. Just help yourself. How could I have been so careless? This was supposed to be the best slizzy guy I've ever made. What a waste. Guess I'll just have to try and make it again. I'll just have to be more careful next time and pay better attention. Ah, I think I see some Lukotho plants out there. I'm gonna try and get some to replace the burnt slizzy guy. I'll need to get a bag and some gardening tools and head out there right away. Get ready, Skinner. We're going to need to be quick and get those plants before anyone else does. Okay, here we go. Uh, I almost have the Lukotho. Just a few more steps and it's mine. One more step and I've got it. Now I just need to get it back home and plant it. What are you doing and why is this kitchen full of smoke? Have you started a fire? No, of course not. It's just the steam from the steamed slizzy kai I'm making. Don't worry. 
Everything is fine. Are you sure it's not a fire? You need to own up to it if it is. No, I'm positive. Everything is under control. I just need to finish up the Slizikai, and the smoke will clear. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? This isn't Slizikai. It's Lukotho. What happened to the Slizikai? Well, well, uh, I tried to get the Slizikai, but it had gone missing. It was such a rare delicacy, I had to track down a new supplier. I finally found a great deal on this Lukatho, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it. I'm sure you... I'm not interested in excuses. You need to be honest and tell me what really happened. Okay, okay. The truth is, I didn't realize it was Slezikai that I was supposed to get. I thought it was Lukotho. I apologize for the mix-up, but I'll make sure it won't happen again. I see. In that case, I suppose you can keep the Lukotho. What is going on in there? I need to see for myself. No, you can't see it. It's haunted houses in there. Nothing to worry about. I'm worried about it. I need to see the kitchen for myself. No, absolutely not. It's definitely haunted. Nothing to worry about, I promise you. I don't believe you. I insist on seeing the kitchen now. Thank you for lunch, Skinner, but I think I should go. I think your house might be on fire. Oh, don't be silly. Of course it's not on fire. It's just an old haunted house. You can't expect any better from one of these old places. Well... I think you should definitely check it out, just in case. I don't want you to get hurt. Goodbye. For now? Yes, yes, all right. Have a safe journey home. Will do. Be safe. Bye. Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers. Bumbling around all day, making mischief without a care in the world. Oh, what a sight. He might fib and lie and he might give her grief. But in the end, they've got each other's back cause that's just their belief. They're the comedic kings and the queens in town tonight. See <laughs> you Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just getting the grog ready. Thank you. It smells delicious already. Let's sit down then, shall we? I'll have it ready in no time. Sounds great. Can I get you anything else while we wait? Damn it. How could I have been so careless? I worked so hard on that grog and now it's ruined. I can't believe I let this happen. I really should have been more careful. Oh well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'll just have to make something else for dinner. Uh, maybe I can use Lamium purpureum to replace the burnt grog. I've seen this plant around. Let me go take a look and see if I can find some. If I remember correctly, it likes to grow near sunny areas and in damp soil. Let's go take a look and see what I can find. Ah, uh, here it is. Now I just need to harvest some and try out my recipe. Wish me luck. Oh, let's not forget to replant some of it so that it can keep growing. I think I'm ready. Time to try out my new recipe. What the devil are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? I wasn't climbing out the window. The smoke is just steam from the steamed grog I'm making. It's an old family recipe. It's just a bit strong, so I had to open the window to get the smell out. You're lying. You were trying to escape. Now tell me the truth and tell me what's really going on. All right. I was in the middle of preparing food for the morning breakfast when a grease fire started in the kitchen. I grabbed a fire extinguisher and managed to put out the blaze, but there's still some smoke in the air. I was trying to air out the kitchen by opening the window. Skinner, what is this? Why, this is Lamium purpureum, an old regional delicacy. It's a highly prized dish here in the area. The locals have been preparing it for centuries. But this isn't grog. 
Where did you get this? I uh, got this from one of the local purveyors. I understand that it's quite a rare find, so I thought I'd give it a try. I guess it wasn't quite what we expected, but it's still a tasty treat nonetheless. Skinner, I don't believe you. You know full well that this isn't grog. Now where did you get it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, it's not a fire. It must be a Brosno dragon. I've heard of them before. You can't see them. They just sort of appear and then disappear. Skinner, there is clearly a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here before it spreads. No, it's not a fire. It's a Brosno dragon. I'm sure of it. No need to worry. It will go away soon. Can I at least see the Brosno dragon? Um, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner, but I think you should maybe check the house. Oh, that's all right. It's just a Brosno dragon. Nothing to worry about. Thanks again for lunch. No problem. But I think you should really go and check the house just to be sure. It could be dangerous. Absolutely not. It's all under control. Nothing to worry about. All right. I really think you should go and check, just in case. Take care now. Hey, boss, come on in. Lunch is almost ready. I can see that. What is that smell? Oh, it's nothing. Just my steamed pot cheese. It's a family recipe. Smells like feet. Don't be ridiculous. Feet don't smell like that. Oh, no. I've burned the pot cheese. I've got to think of something quick. I know. I'll tell him it's a special cheese that smells like that. He'll never know the difference. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, boss. Lunch is ready? Oh, look. A raccoon. I'll bet Chalmers would love to try some raccoon. He's never had it before. I'll just tell him it's a special kind of pot of cheese. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, 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 boss, lunch is ready. Bon appetite. What is going on in here? The whole place is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing. Just my steamed pot cheese. It's a family recipe. It smells like feet. Don't be ridiculous. Feet don't smell like that. Then what does it smell like? What is this? It's potted cheese. <sighs> it looks like bay and scallop. Don't be ridiculous. Bay scallop doesn't smell like that. Then what does it smell like? The kitchen is on fire. Oh, it's nothing. Just my steamed pot cheese. It's a family recipe. It smells like feet. Don't be ridiculous. Feet don't smell like that. The kitchen is on fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you at work tomorrow. No problem, boss. See you tomorrow. And Skinner? Yes, boss? Don't ever invite me over for lunch again. Hey, Chalmers. What brings you by? I, I just wanted to see how your day was going. It's going pretty well, I think. What about you? What have you been up to? I've been keeping busy. I've been cooking, of course. Oh, yeah. The Kentucky Wonder Bean says you've been cooking pretty well. What have you cooked? Damn it. I burnt the Kentucky Wonder Bean. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to start from scratch. I'll get myself a nice Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding it is. I'll go and get myself a nice Yorkshire pudding. Yes, I'll go and get myself a nice Yorkshire pudding. I'll go and get myself a nice Yorkshire pudding. Steam? I'll show you steam. No, no, it's just steam. I've had it with your lies, Skinner. I'm going to the office to report this. No, no, no. 
It's just steam. Skinner, why did you bring us Yorkshire pudding instead of Kentucky Wonder Bean? I don't know. I just felt like it. That's not an answer, Skinner. What was really going on? It's simple. I swapped the food because I was jealous of Kentucky Wonder Bean. I wanted to see how you would react when you got the wrong food. And did it work? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. It can't be. I just checked. But the flames are growing. There must be a rogue firebug out there. I'll call the fire department. No, please, the kitchen. Skinner, I just wanted to say thanks for lunch. I'll catch up with you later. No problem, Chalmers. Good luck with the house. Yeah, thanks. And don't worry, the house isn't actually on fire. I know. Thanks for the warning. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Smells like something's cooking. Ah, yes. My speciality, Bengal cuisine. It won't be ready for another hour or so, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll just have to be patient. What can I do while I wait? Well, I'd be happy to show you around the school and introduce you to some of the teachers and students. Would that be all right? That's it. I can't believe I've done this again. I always forget to watch the Bengal while it cooks. I've totally ruined dinner. Oh, well, I guess it's time to start over. Maybe I'll try something simpler this time. I think I'll try making a pizza instead. This looks like a great tool for scraping dough. I bet it'll come in handy for my project. Let me see if I can find something to help me attach it to the burnt Bengal. Hmm? Ah, uh, here we go. I think this piece of wire should do the trick. Now I just have to figure out how to attach it properly. All right, now let's see if this works. Brilliant. Now I have a perfect dough scraper, and I'm one step closer to finishing my project. What's going on here? What's all this smoke? It looks like you've got a fire going. Oh, this. It's just steam, Principal Chalmers. I'm making a steamed Bengal. You know, one of those fancy Indian dishes. Tastes great, but it does make a lot of steam. That's not steam, Skinner. This place is full of smoke. What's really going on here? Well, I... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just making a steamed Bengal. That's all. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? Why have you brought me a dough scraper when I asked for Bengal? Well, I was informed that the Bengal had been flown out of town at the last minute due to a mild outbreak of salmonella, so I figured that a dough scraper would be the perfect replacement. Salmonella. That's an incredibly unlikely excuse. I think you owe me an explanation for why you're really here. Actually, the truth is even more bizarre. You see, there have been reports of a strange creature prowling around town and I was sent to investigate. But it turns out it was just a large rodent who was searching for food, and the dough scraper was the closest thing I could find. That's one outrageous story, Skinner. You can't expect me to believe that. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something now? No, no, it's not a fire. It's a volcano. I'm sure it will soon settle down. Just give it a minute. No need to worry. I'd like to see the volcano, Skinner. Can you show me? No, I'm afraid not. It's far too dangerous to get close. Then let's call the fire department and get this fire under control. Hey, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a little smoke from a small volcano. Well, all the same, I think we should call the fire department and get it taken care of. No need. It's just a harmless volcano. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time for lunch. Okay, then. Thanks for lunch. But please, get someone to look at the fire before it gets out of hand.
Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. The stir-fried tomatoes and scrambled eggs are in the oven, but not quite ready yet. It smells wonderful in here. Is there anything I can do to help? No, that's all right. Why don't you have a seat and I'll let you know when the food is ready. Sounds good. I can't wait to dig in. It won't be much longer. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Damn it. I totally burned the eggs. All that time and effort wasted. I don't even have time to start over. Guess I'll just have to make do with something else. Oh, well, I guess I could just make a sandwich or something. It's not what I wanted, but I guess it will have to do. Um, I wonder if I can find something growing outside that would make a good substitute for the burnt stir-fried tomato and scrambled eggs. I think I saw some oranges on that tree over there. Maybe I can make a diome let out of them? That could work. I better go pick some and get started. I better be careful so I don't slip on the wet grass. Here goes nothing. Ah, success. Now let's get cooking. Let's see, I need to peel the oranges and then cut them into cubes. Then I can add some eggs and spices and fry it up. What? What is going on here? The entire kitchen is full of smoke. Well, well, it's nothing to worry about, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm just cooking up a nice little breakfast. I'm stir, frying some tomatoes and scrambling some tomatoes and scrambling some eggs. You said you wanted something to eat, so I'm just doing my best to make it for you. See? Skinner, this isn't steam. This is smoke. This kitchen is on fire and you're refusing to admit it. Do you have any idea how dangerous this is? You need to put it out right now. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. I'll take care of it. Skinner, what is this? This isn't the dish you promised me. Ah, this? Well, this is the chef's special. A delicious combination of dai yi dai, carrots and onions. It's an ancient Chinese secret recipe. But that's not what you said you were making me. Oh, that. No, 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 no. That was just a mistake. I meant to say day a day. I think it's a much tastier dish. Skinner, you didn't say anything about diet A. You said stir. Fried tomato and scrambled eggs. Skinner, what is going on? Is something wrong? Oh no, it's just geomagnetic storms. Nothing to worry about. I, I don't believe you. Let me see the kitchen. No, you don't need to worry about it. It will pass soon. Skinner! I insist that you show me the kitchen right now. Ah, well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I really must be going now. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Sure thing. Have a good day. You too? Oh, don't mind the smell of smoke. I think it's just some geomagnetic storms. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please do come in. Good evening, Skinner. What a cozy place you have here. Smells like something is cooking. Yes, salmonberry pie. It's nearly done. Make yourself comfortable. I'll just be a few more minutes. Thank you. That sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Well, I'm an artist and a teacher. I'm currently teaching at the local art school and have been for the past three years. I'm passionate about creating works of art that capture the essence of my surroundings, whether it's the play of shadows in the forest or the sun setting over the sea. Gods, why have you done this to me? What have I done to deserve this? I spent so much time preparing this meal and I worked so hard to make it perfect. I just wanted to make something special for my friends and family. Why must this happen to me? Is there any way I can salvage? No, the salmonberry is burned beyond repair. Maybe I can make something else. 
Maybe I can find another way to show my love. I can't let my hard work go to waste. Gods of nature, I ask for your help. Please show me the way to replace this burnt salmonberry with Solandra. I seek your wisdom and blessing to make this happen. I will show my respect and gratitude if you provide me with the knowledge and resources I need. I thank you for hearing my prayer and I will strive to honor your request. In your name, I ask for this help. Ah! What is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. Yeah, it's just steam from the steamed salmon berry I'm making. Honest, I just took it off the stove. That's impossible! The smoke is coming from the stove. Do you expect me to believe that you were making steamed salmon berry? What else have you been up to? It's true. I'm making dinner. Skinner! This isn't salmon berry! It's Solandra! What's going on here? Oh, that's easy. I had to substitute the salmon berry because it has been recalled from all stores due to a potential salmonella contaminella contamination. So? I thought it would be best to provide a substitute that was safe to eat. Solandra is just as nutritious and delicious. Really? Are you sure about that? I've never heard of Solandra before. Oh, of course. It's a rare, exotic fruit that I wasn't able to find anywhere else. It is packed with vitamins and minerals, so I thought it would be a good replacement for the salmon berry. I promise it's safe to eat. Hum. Well, if you say so, let's hope you're right. It's obvious the kitchen is on fire. We have to put it out right now. No, no, no. I'm telling you that's not a fire, it's an ocean current. You can't see it, but it's here. Come on, Skinner. Let's take a look. No, I'm telling you there is no fire. It's an ocean current. I'm not going to show you something that isn't there. Okay, I'm calling the fire department to be sure. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Chalmers. And don't worry, it's just the ocean current outside. Nothing to be alarmed about. Um, okay. I'll be sure to remember that. No problem. Have a good day. You too, Skinner. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so good of you to come. Please, come in and make yourself comfortable. My wife is in the kitchen, but dinner isn't quite ready yet. Oh, thank you, Superintendent Skinner. It's a pleasure to meet you and your wife. I hope I'm not too early. Please let me know if I can help with anything. Well, I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Please have a seat anywhere you'd like. Would you like a drink while we wait? That sounds wonderful. What do you have? We have beer, wine, whiskey, and soda. What can I get you? Gods, why must you be so cruel? What did I do to deserve this? Is this what I get for trying to do the right thing? Burning this meal was an honest mistake, and yet here I am, alone and with no one to share in my sorrow. Well, I suppose I must accept my fate. I will have to try again. With a little bit of luck and hard work, I am sure I can make something better next time. Oh, God, send me something to replace the burnt nantras with Krampus. I know there must be something here to help me. Please grant me the wisdom and strength to find it. My plea has been heard. Now I just need to find out what it is that I can use to replace the burnt nantres with Krampus. Um, I think I have an idea. I will go outside and search for something I can use. Whatever I find, I will bring it back and see if I can make it work. My quest begins. To the great unknown I go, in search of something that may help me. Wish me luck, gods. I'll do my best to make this work. What are you doing in here? Why is it so smoky? Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, no. It's just steam from the steamed nanties I'm making. You know, they puff up nice and crispy when they're done. 
What else could be causing all this smoke? I think this kitchen is on fire and you need to put it out right now. No, no, I'm sure it's just steam. Maybe there's a bit of grease in the air from the cooking, but I'm sure it's not a fire. I'll open the windows and get some fresh air in here. Skinner, why did you switch the food? You know we requested Nantes. Oh, it's simple. It's because Nantes was sold out. I wanted to get you the very best, so I tracked down this rare and exotic dish called Krampus. It's a specialty dish from a remote mountain village, and it's said to bring luck and fortune to all who partake in it. That's a bold claim. What evidence do you have that this is true? Well, there's obviously the fact that it tastes really, really good. But, aside from that, I have some actual evidence. The villagers who produce this dish offer a guarantee that anyone who eats it will be blessed with good fortune. Plus, there's the testimony of the few people who've already tried it and... Skinner. I think it's time for you to admit the truth. Skinner. Are you sure that's an earthquake? Is there a fire? Let me see it. No, it's definitely an earthquake. I'm sure there is no fire. Don't worry, it's just the earth shaking. Skinner, enough is enough. Let me see the kitchen. I'm sure there is a fire. Let me take a look. No, I'm telling you it's an earthquake, not a fire. Get out and stay away. No, I'm not leaving until I see the kitchen. Please, Skinner, let me take a look. Um, Skinner, I think the house is burning down. Oh, no, this isn't a fire. It's just an earthquake. Don't worry, everything will be all right. Uh, I think we should leave now. It's not safe to stay here. No need to worry. I'm sure it will all be taken care of soon. Skinner, we have to leave. The fire is out of control. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like your cottage cheese is almost ready. Yes, it just needs another few minutes and it'll be done. Ah, uh, well worth the wait, I'm sure. Would you like to come into the living room while we wait? Oh, gods, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard to make this delicious cottage cheese and now it's all burned. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, I guess I'll just have to start over. I can do this. I just have to be more careful next time. Oh, please, help me find a way to replace the burnt cottage cheese. Jonathan, you are the perfect substitute. I know you will make the dish a success. Come to me, Jonathan. Please be my savior. Thank you, gods, for sending Jonathan. Now let the cooking begin. Ah, Jonathan, you were just the ingredient I needed. Skinner, what are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn this place down? No, it's just steam. I'm cooking something. Steam doesn't smell like this. This is clearly smoke. I demand to know what happened. Well, I was making a pot of chili, and the stove was a bit too high, and I guess it caught on fire. What's going on here, Skinner? Why did you bring Jonathan instead of the cottage cheese? This has all been a huge misunderstanding. Jonathan here is a world-renowned cheese expert. He was sent here to evaluate the quality of the cottage cheese and make sure it was up to our standards. Skinner, that's ridiculous. There's no way a person can evaluate the quality of the cheese. Explain yourself. Well, I guess I can see how this might seem strange. But Jonathan actually has a very specialized nose that can detect any imperfections in the cheese. He's like a human cheese detector. I don't believe you. This whole thing is fishy. I think you should come clean and tell me the truth. No, Skinner. There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here now. Nonsense. That's just a natural rolling fog. There's no fire here. No, Skinner! Look at the flames! We need to get out of here now before it's too late. 
I'm telling you, there's no fire here. Skinner, you need to open your eyes. The kitchen is on fire. We have to go now. What the hell? There's a fire. We have to get out of here. Get out, now! What fire? I don't see any fire. Let's just finish our lunch. No, we have to go now. We don't have time to finish our lunch. Come on, let's go. All right, okay. I guess we need to go. That's right. We'll have to call the fire department on our way out. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner is almost ready. I just need a few more minutes to finish it up. Ah, thank you, Skinner. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I've got it all under control. Why don't you go ahead and take a seat? I'll give you a call when everything is ready. Sounds wonderful. Let me just check on the San area. Make yourself comfortable. Damn it, I can't believe I burned the San area. This isn't how I wanted to start my day. I was trying to be so careful, too. I guess I'll just have to start over and be more careful next time. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I just have to accept it and move on. I, I think I see some forsythia outside the window, and it looks like it would be a great replacement for the burnt sense of the area. I can't remember if I have any gardening tools in the shed, but I'm sure I can manage with my hands. Let's go have a look. Oh, this looks promising. I need to get closer to see if this is forsythia. I hope it is. Yes, it is forsythia. Now let's see how I can go about replacing the Sansevi area. First, I need to dig around the burnt Sansevi area to remove it. I'll have to be careful not to disturb the other plants too much. Then I can start digging the new hole for the forsythia. Once the hole is ready, I'll make sure the forsythia is planted at tat at the right depth and give it a good watering. All done. Now let's just wait and see how it blooms. What do you think you're doing in here? There's smoke everywhere. Are you trying to set the kitchen on fire? No, of course not, Superintendent Chalmers. It's just steam from the steamed sense of the area I'm making. The smoke is entirely necessary for the flavor. You better have a good explanation for all this because this doesn't look good at all. I understand your concern, sir, but I assure you that everything is fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to my cooking. Skinner? I asked for sense of the area, not for Scythia. What is going on here? Well, you see, we had a rare opportunity to buy these for Scythia plants at a discount. We knew you and the other faculty members would appreciate their beauty and elegance, whereas the sense of the area was going to cost a lot more. So we thought it was a great bargain and decided to go with the... No, Skinner. I'm not buying this. What's really going on? All right, I'll admit it. We had a mix-up with the order, and we accidentally sent you the wrong plant. We apologize for the confusion, and we'll be sure to replace the plant with the correct one as soon as we keep. I see. You should have been honest from the beginning. I hope this doesn't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. Well, it appears to me that there is a chupacabra in the kitchen. I assure you there is no fire. Skinner, I don't think it's a chupacabra. I think we should call the fire department. No, no, no. It is a chupacabra. I'm sure of it. Do you want to see it? Yes. I'd like to see it. Okay, Skinner. Thanks for lunch. Hmm, what's going on here? Is everything all right? Yes, of course. Nothing to worry about. Just a little chupacabra causing a bit of a ruckus. Nothing to worry about. Um, okay. Well, if you say so, I'd better be going. Good day. Have a pleasant day, Chalmers. You too. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. It's a pleasure to have you here. 
The Wallastina is almost ready, but not quite yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. I'm very excited for dinner. Well, we're glad to have you. Let me show you to the living room. We can make some small talk until the Wallastina is ready. That sounds great. I'd like to hear more about your family. Of course. My daughter is studying abroad this semester, and my son just started his first job. I'm so proud of them both. Ah, uh, what have I done? I can't believe I burned the Desvelshava. What a disaster. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. No use crying over spilled milk. I'll just have to try and make the best of it. If I can find that Swaledale cheese, I could replace the burnt Desvelshava with it. I just need to find a way to get it in here. Now, what can I use? Huh. Maybe I can try to get one of the delivery trucks to stop outside, or perhaps I can ask someone outside to buy it for me. Well, it's worth a try. I just hope this works. I'm determined to find a way to get the Swaledale cheese and replace the burnt Zelshava. Come on, I know I can do this. Skinner, what are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, uh, this is just steam from the steam this Velshava making. Uh, I'm sure it'll be delicious. No, Skinner, I can smell the smoke. What's really going on? Well, uh, maybe there was a small grease fire in the oven that I was able to quickly put out. That must have been it. Skinner, what is going on here? You said you were bringing Diaz Velshava, and yet here we are with Swaledale cheese. Why did you make this substitution? I can assure you, Professor Chalmers, that I have not made any substitution. The Zelshava cheese you requested is of the highest quality and is stored in a special refrigerated container to ensure its freshness. I simply took the opportunity to provide you and your students with a rare and delicious delicacy. Are you serious? That doesn't explain why we have Swaledale cheese on the table. I'm afraid I cannot answer that question at this time. All I can tell you is that the Swaledale cheese is of the same high quality as the Desvelshava, and I can guarantee it will add an interesting new flavor to your meal. But why did you make the switch? You must have had a reason. What is that? It looks like a fire. Don't worry. It's just an astral projection. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid it is too dangerous. We should just leave it alone. Okay, then let's call the fire department. Well, um, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I must be off now. Yeah, sure, of course. Have a nice day. Wait, what's that smell? Is there a fire? What fire? I don't smell any smoke. It's probably just astral projection, nothing to worry about. Astral projection? Are you sure? That smell is really strong, maybe you should check it out? Do 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 do. Skipper and Chalmers. The two just can't agree. Tales from one another. No one believes. Sometimes it's hard telling who's lying and who's not. But everyone keeps laughing cause it makes a great plot. Skinner may say something, but Chalmers don't believe. He says, show me the proof. I want to see, but oh no, try as he may. Every lie is found out. Their antics are in town tonight. See more. Ah, oh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Come in, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The Duros is nearly ready. Apologies for keeping you waiting. No worries. I'm glad to be here. The aroma of the Duros is delicious. It's my special recipe. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Please make yourself comfortable while I check on it. Uh, I can't believe I burned the Duros. How am I going to explain this to my family? I was so excited to make this dish, too. 
Now I've spoiled it. I guess I'll have to make something else. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I can always try again. There's no use worrying about it now. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it. The post serials should be just the thing to fix this burnt duro situation. All I have to do is figure out how to get some from the store. I could try asking around to see if someone can help me out. Or maybe I could just buy some online. Let's see. I could go to the store myself, but that could take a while. I could call a delivery service if I knew the address. That could be faster. Or maybe I could use a coupon to get a discount. Okay, I think I've got it. I'm gonna try and get the post serials online and see if that works. It should save me some time and money. Here I go. What are you doing in here and why is this place so full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Um... I was just making some steam duros and the steam created a lot of smoke. That's why I was climbing out the window. I was just trying to get some fresh air. Don't lie to me, Skinner. There's a fire in this kitchen and you know it. I want the truth. Okay, okay. I accidentally started a fire while I was cooking and I was trying to put it out. That's why I was climbing out the window. I distinctly heard you say duros. Did you forget to get the correct food, or are you deliberately trying to deceive me? No, no. I never said duros. This is a regional expression, post cereals. I thought you would recognize it. It's a very popular breakfast food here in the area. That doesn't explain why you said duros then. Is there something else you're not telling me? No, no, of course not. I just thought it would be a nice surprise. I'm sorry if I misled you. I'm not sure I believe you. Tell me the truth. Why did you switch the food? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out of here right now! No, no, it's just a megalodon. You don't need to worry. There's nothing to see here. I don't believe you. I want to see the megalodon. Let me go take a look. No, there's no need to do that. It's just a megalodon. There's nothing to see. Skinner, I'm not going to take your word for it. I'm going in there to see for myself. Let me go. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really have to be going now. Ah, I think your house is on fire. What? No, no, no. That must be the old megalodon not put in the fireplace to keep us warm. No need to worry. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, er, bye then. Bye now, Chalmers. Have a safe trip. Thanks. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm afraid dinner isn't quite ready yet but I'm sure it won't be long now. Thank you, Skinner. I hope I'm not too early. Not at all, Superintendent. I'm just putting the finishing touches on our meal. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, I will. Can I get you something to drink or a snack? We have tea, juice, coffee, and some chips and dip. Oh, God, what have I done? This is all my own fault. I shouldn't have been so careless. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'll try to do better in the future. Why did I have to be so stupid? I could have ruined the whole meal. I'm just so embarrassed. Please help me to learn from this mistake and do better in the future. Oh, God, please help me. Please give me the strength and the knowledge to find a way to replace this burnt Akana with Mabolo. I don't know what to do. Please guide me to the right solution. I'm sure I can find something outside the window that will help me accomplish this. Let me take a look. Yes, there it is. A fruit orchard just outside the window. I can easily harvest some mabolo fruit and use it to replace the burnt-out Thank you, God, for providing me with the perfect solution. 
I am truly grateful. Now, let me go ahead and get to work. What is going on here? Oh, nothing. Just making some steam, Dakina. I guess the steam is making it look like there's smoke in here. Scared the kitchen is on fire. Don't you smell that smoke? No, it's just the steam from the Akeina. Trust me. Mr. Skinner, why is this not the Akeina based food that I requested? Well, Professor, I was out of Akeina, but I found something even better. This Mabolo is highly nutritious and full of flavor. I'm sure you'll love it. If that is so, why did you not tell me that you were out of Akaina so I could have chosen something else? Well, Professor, I didn't want to admit that I had made a mistake in ordering the wrong thing. But I'm sure you'll find the Mabolo delicious, and I apologize for the inconvenience. Mr. Skinner, I'm going to need a more honest answer than that. You switched the order knowing full well that I had asked for Akaina, and that is not acceptable. What's going on in the kitchen? I can see smoke. Oh, that's just fireflies. Nothing to worry about. Fireflies. Can I see them? No, they're gone now. Probably just a trick of the light. It's clearly smoke. We have to do something about this. Skinner, I think we should go. There appears to be a fire. Fireflies, Chalmers. Nothing more than fireflies. Let's finish our lunch. But this isn't safe, and we need to get the fire under control. We need to leave now and call the fire department. No need for that. Everything is fine. Let's finish our lunch. This isn't safe, and we need to take action now. We need to leave the house, call for help, and make sure everyone is safe. Come on in, Chalmers. The delicious is just about done. That smells great, Skinner. What are you cooking today? I'm making a chili, Chalmers. It should be ready in a few minutes. I'm definitely gonna have some of that. I'm starving! I'm sure you are, Chalmers. Let me get you a bowl. I'm sorry, gods. I burned the delicious. I'm all alone now and I don't have anything to eat. I guess I'll have to go get some food from the supermarket. I hope the food at the supermarket is as delicious as the delicious was. Hey, if I can just get my hands on a whole bunch of carrots, I can fix this burnt delicious mess. You know, I'd better go see if I can find some carrots somewhere. I'll be back with a load of carrots in no time. I found some carrots. Now let's get this burnt delicious fixed. Woohoo! I managed to replace the burnt delicious with a load of carrots. Thanks, gods. Skinner, what's going on? Chalmers, I'm trying to make a cake and the kitchen is on fire. That's ridiculous! There's no fire in the kitchen! Yes, there is. The kitchen is full of steam. Skinner, what's going on? I can't explain it, Chalmers. The food just wasn't delicious. I replaced it with a carrot. That's not true, Skinner. I saw you bring in the food. I uh, must have mistaken the carrot for the delicious food. I'm sorry, Chalmers. I'm just not feeling well today. Well, if you're not feeling well, feel free to stay home. I'll take care of things here. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Yeah, I noticed. What are you doing? I'm making up excuses. How are you making up excuses when the kitchen is on fire? Skinner, thanks for lunch. I think I'm going to head out. Yeah, no problem. See you later. Sure thing. Oh my god. What? What? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aromas coming from your kitchen are absolutely tantalizing. Thank you, Superintendent. I'm making eggplant salads and other appetizers. They'll be ready shortly. I'm looking forward to trying them. What else is on the menu? 
I'm also making grilled vegetables and homemade hummus. A grilled salmon with couscous and a special dessert I'm working on. Well, this is just great. I spend all morning in the kitchen and now the food is ruined. I can't believe this happened. I have to figure out a way to salvage it. Maybe if I cut off the burnt parts, it might be okay. Common Skinner, I think. What else could I do? Okay. Now let me think. I could make some creamy macaroni and cheese, or maybe a creamy potato salad. Oh, and I could top it off with some creamy dressing. Maybe if I get creative, I could even make some creamy eggplant dip. Yes, that should work nicely as a replacement for the... Burnt eggplant salads and appetizers. Let me go grab the ingredients and make this happen. Mm. This should be a great replacement. Time to make some creamy goodness. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the place down? No, sir. I'm just making some steamed eggplant salads and appetizers. It's just steam, I assure you. Steam doesn't smell like burning wood and rubber. Skinner, are you sure there isn't a fire in here somewhere? No, sir. Maybe it's coming from the vent system or something. I promise there's nothing to worry about. What is this? It's a new type of eggplant salad. I'm sure it's delicious. I call it creaming eggplant. This isn't eggplant at all. Ah, uh, well, it's a special variety. A hybrid of eggplant and cream. Very innovative. This is cream. You just swapped out the eggplant for cream? What's going on? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. It's the chupacabra. Just a regular old chupacabra. See? Nothing to worry about. Show me. Absolutely not. Most people are not prepared for the sight of a chupacabra. It's not safe. Trust me, it's best not to see it. I'm calling the fire department. Oh my god, the house is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, no. That's just the chupacabra. It's nothing to worry about. Now go on home, Chalmers. Have a nice day. But, sir, the house is burning. We must get out of here. Chupacabra, Chalmers, chupacabra. Just ignore it and go home. I can handle it. But, sir, don't you see the flames? We need to call the fire department. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The Nam Frick Long Rua is cooking, but it won't be ready for another few minutes. Ah, that smells delicious. I'm looking forward to it. It's my favorite dish. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I certainly will. I've heard about this dish for many years, and I'm excited to finally try it. It's a classic, that dish, with many different variations. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, why did I have to be so careless? This was supposed to be a special treat for the family, and now it's ruined. If only I'd kept better track of time. I wish I could turn back time and fix this mistake. Oh, God, please give me a second chance. Please help me find a way to salvage this meal and make it right. Oh, Lord, please provide me with the solution. Give me a way to replace the Burtnum Frick Long Rua with something even better. Dippin' Dots, perhaps. Amen. Now, let me see what I can come up with. Hmm. I could try using some of my culinary skills to create a version of Dippin' Dots using some of the ingredients I have in my kitchen. I bet that would result in a unique experience that everyone would enjoy. By chance. I might even be able to find an alternative recipe that uses fewer ingredients, making it easier and cheaper to make. Then I'd be able to share this tasty treat with more people and make sure no one misses out on the unique experience of Dippin' Dots. Oh Lord, thank you for this opportunity to create something wonderful. I hope that I can deliver an amazing result that everyone will love. Amen. Let's get to work. What is going on here, and why is the kitchen filled with smoke? 
Is something on fire? No, no. It's just steam from the steamed Nam Freak Long Rua I'm making. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause a disturbance. Show me! Put the fire out and let me see what you're cooking. Yes, sir. Right away. Skinner, why did you bring Dippin' Dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua? Well, I had heard some reports that Nam Frick Long Rua had become a bit stringy and tough. On top of that, I figured Dippin' Dots would be a great opportunity to introduce a modern twist on a classic dish. I'm sorry, Skinner, but I think you're lying to me. What's the real reason? Well, I may have made a mistake at a nearby restaurant where I was picking up the order. The staff must have mixed up the orders and gave me Dippin' Dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua. I was going to tell you the truth, but figured I'd spare you an embarrassing mix. Listen, Skinner. I appreciate your attempt to save face, but I think it's important that you own up to your mistake. How about we try to get the restaurant to make the correct order this time? What is that noise I hear? Oh, that's just the kettle boiling on the stove. Nothing to worry about. Then why is there smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that must just be a geyser. Nothing to be concerned about. Can I see the geyser? That was quite a lunch, Skinner. Thank you for your hospitality. I should be getting back to work now. Oh, no problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Right. Well, I think that's all I need. Good day. Good day to you, too. Have a pleasant day. You, too! Oh, and Skinner! The house is burning down! Welcome. Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Would you like something to drink while you wait? The Cuban sandwich is almost ready. No, thank you. I'm good. Very well. Please make yourself comfortable. How could I have been so careless? I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen again. I can't believe I've ruined dinner. What am I going to do now? I'm so hungry and there's no way to salvage this sandwich. Um, sure I can make a delicious sandwich with some Kunick cheese. That should do the trick. I just need to find some bread butter and a few slices of that cheese. I'm sure I can find it all in the kitchen. Let's go shopping. I should be able to find everything I need for the sandwich without too much trouble. Time to get cooking. All right, now I just need to figure out how to put it all together and make the perfect sandwich. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you done? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just making a steamed Cuban sandwich. See, it's all the steam from it. It's harmless. This isn't steam. It's smoke. You're trying to cover up that the kitchen is on fire. I demand to know what is really going on here. As I all right, I admit it, the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich with a blowtorch and it started a small fire. I've got it under control though and the fire department is on their way. Explain to me why you brought Kunik cheese instead of a Cuban sandwich when I specifically asked for one. I had good reason to believe that the Cuban sandwich vendor had resorted to using subpar ingredients in his recipes, so I decided to err on the side of caution and bring something else that I thought you'd be more pleased with. Kunik cheese is a delicacy from my homeland of Alaska that I think you'll find. Skinner, I'm not falling for your story. I asked for a Cuban sandwich and that's what I expect to receive. Where is the Cuban sandwich? I... Uh, well, I was on my way to the Cuban sandwich vendor when I passed by a small cheese shop. The owner had just received a shipment of Kunick cheese from Alaska, and he told me that it was so rare that he only had enough to make one sandwich. He asked if I wanted... Cut the crap, Skinner! Where is my Cuban sandwich? What is that smoke smell? Is it Will? Oh, whisk! Yes, it must be Will. Oh, the Wiss. I don't see any smoke or any fire. Can I see the Will? 
Oh, wisp? No, I'm afraid it's gone now. But I'm sure I smell smoke. Are you sure there isn't a fire? Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Wait, don't you smell that odd smell? Don't you see the smoke coming up from the house? Yeah, yes, I do see the smoke. Are you sure there isn't a fire? We should call the fire department. No, no, no. It's just a will. Oh, the wisp. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not sure, but if you say so, I guess I'll be going now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Pinnock bed isn't quite ready yet, but it'll be done soon. Thank you, Skinner. That smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, don't worry. Everything's under control. Just make yourself comfortable. Well, if you're sure, it smells wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help while I wait? Why don't you have a seat and I'll pour you a glass of wine? Oh, no! I've burned the Pinock bet. I was looking forward to eating this. Why did this have to happen? I must have been careless. I'll have to start over again. Better pay more attention this time. I have to apologize to my wife. She worked so hard on this dish. I'll make it right this time. I think I know what I need to do. I need to find a way to connect public relations and high fructose corn syrup to the burnt pinac bit. I think I can do this if I research the pros and cons of high fructose corn syrup and consider how they could be used to create a positive story around. I'll start by researching the facts and figures associated with high fructose corn syrup and then look into how the public is responding to it. That way I can create a narrative that highlights the positive aspects of the product and how it can help the burnt peanut bet. I'll also have to think about how to create an engaging campaign that attracts people to the story and gets them to think about the potential benefits. I'm sure I can come up with a catchy slogan and humorous illustrations to help get the message across. I'm sure I can do this. All I need to do is roll up my sleeves and get to work. Here I go. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, I'm just making some steamed peanut bet. I guess the steam must have caused the smoke. Do you really expect me to believe that? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just a little smolder. Nothing to worry about. You expect me to believe that you actually obtained the highest quality of high fructose corn syrup from my peanut bet recipe? Yes, sir. I had to go through several hoops to get the freshest, most organic and top quality syrup that I could find. I only wanted the best for you, sir. Skinner, this isn't a health food store. Where did you actually get this food? From the finest artisanal farms in the country. Everything is locally grown and harvested with the highest care and quality standards. I knew you would be pleased with the substitution. That's quite a tall tale you're telling me. I want the truth. What happened to the pinnock bed I asked for? Skinner, what is going on in the kitchen? It looks like there is a fire. Oh, that's just a broken specter. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, no need to. Nothing to see here. Skinner, I think there is a fire in the kitchen. It's time for me to go, Skinner. Thanks for the lunch. I think my meeting went well. No worries, Chalmers. Always a pleasure. Take care now. I'll be sure to do that. See you around. Mm, most certainly. Oh, Skinner, one more thing. Don't you smell something burning? Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please, come in. It's wonderful to see you. The mink whale is almost ready. 
but it still needs a few more minutes to cook. Ah, yes, the mic whale. I must admit I wasn't expecting this dish tonight. It smells delicious, though. I'm glad you like it. Let me get you a drink while we wait for it to be done. Would you like some wine? Or maybe a beer? Some beer would be great, thank you. Coming right up! Damn it. I knew I should have taken it off the stove sooner. Now I've ruined the whole meal. What am I gonna do? God, why did you let this happen? Is this some kind of punishment? Well, whatever it is, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'll just have to figure out something else to cook tonight. I'm sure I'll come up with something delicious. Oh, Lord, please help me. I need to find a way to replace this burnt Mike whale with a strip steak. Please show me a way. If someone can just donate a strip steak or give me the money to purchase one, that would be great. I'm sure there must be a way. Please help me find it. Help me find it. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Now I just have to wait and see what the Lord has in store for me. I'm sure he will show me the way. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's all right, Principal Chalmers. It's just the steamed Mike Whale I'm making. It's a delicacy I learned how to make on my last vacation. Skinner, that's not steam. The kitchen is on fire. Put it out now. Oh, right. Of course. I'll get it taken care of right away. What's going on here? Why did you replace the mink whale with strip steak? I didn't replace the mink whale with strip steak. I just thought it would make a nice change of pace. The mink whale is still in the kitchen. I just didn't want to serve it tonight. I just didn't want to serve it tonight. That doesn't make any sense. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Of course I'm telling you the truth. I'm not a liar. I'm just trying to provide a variety of options for our diners. I don't believe you. What's the real reason? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to put it out. No, no, it's not on fire. It's spontaneous human combustion. There's no need to worry. Can I at least take a look for myself? No, there's no need for that. We should just leave it alone. We can't just leave it alone. There's a fire. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I have to be going. I just noticed something funny outside. It looks like your house is on fire. What? Nonsense. Don't be ridiculous. That must be some kind of spontaneous human combustion. That's not possible, Principal Skinner. You need to call the fire department quickly. No, I'm sure it can't be a real fire. I'll just take a look at it and make sure. Well, okay, but please be careful. You should get out of the house if you see that it really is on fire. Good evening. Superintendent Chalmers, come in, please. It's nice to see you. The code is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Ah, thank you, Skinner. I'm looking forward to it. Please tell me how have you been since we last spoke? Oh, I've been doing quite well. Work has been keeping me busy, but I'm managing to find time to enjoy life, too. That's always a good balance. I'm glad things are going well for you. Thank you. I hope the same is true for you. How could I burn the code? I was so sure I'd done it just right. This is going to be a disaster. What am I going to do now? Maybe I can salvage something from this mess. All right, I'll just have to cook something else as quickly as I can. I think that I could build a swing from that old tree branch outside the window. With a few tools and some rope, I can make this work. Then I could use it to replace the burnt code with some sphingy. I can do this. I just need to be patient, resourceful, and creative. I'm sure I can make a swing out of this branch. Let's start by gathering the tools and materials I need. I need a saw, a hammer, rope. All right, now I just need to measure the tree branch and cut it to the right length. Then I can start building the swing frame and attaching the rope. What is going on in here? 
It's filled with smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steam coat I'm making. Nothing to worry about. You're lying. This kitchen is on fire. Stop trying to hide it and put it out now. Okay, okay. I admit it's on fire. I just didn't want to worry you. I'll put it out right away. Skinner, why did you replace the code with Sphingy? This isn't what the cafeteria ordered. Did something happen? No, Dr. Chalmers. We decided to switch up the menu and give our students a chance to try something new. We wanted to provide more variety and offer a healthy, delicious alternative to cod. That doesn't explain why you're serving Swingy instead of cod. Are you trying to make a profit off of this? No way. We get our produce from a reliable distributor that we trust. We would never do anything to put our students' health and safety at risk. This is simply an effort to add some variety to the cafeteria's menu. That's a curious explanation. Are you sure you don't have another reason? What's going on in the kitchen? It looks like there's a fire. No, it's just the Aurora Australis. See, the light from the Aurora is reflecting off the stovetop. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous to go in there right now. But I can smell smoke coming from the kitchen. Thanks for lunch, Skinner, but your house is on fire. Oh no, that must be the Aurora Australis. That's what that red glow is. No, Skinner, that's a fire. You need to call the fire department right away. Oh yes, of course I'll do that right away. Thank you for alerting me to this. No problem. I just want to make sure your house is safe. Good luck. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I just took the butter cookies out of the oven, but they're not quite ready yet. And you scare! It smells wonderful in here! It's a pleasure to have you here. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be great. Maybe just a glass of water, please. Coming right up. Please, have a seat. I'll be right back with your drink. How could I be so careless? Now what am I supposed to do? I can't possibly serve these cookies to anyone now. I've got it. I'm gonna get some guiling guyo to replace these burnt butter cookies. That should solve this problem. Now let's see. Where can I get some guiling guyo? Hmm. Ah, there's an Asian market down the street. Perfect. I'll go there and get some guiling guyo. That should do the trick. Now all I need to do is get my coat and head on out. All right, let's go. Thanks, Burnt Butter Cookies, for giving me the idea. I'll be sure to thank you with some guy-gow. What's going on in here? It smells like smoke. Are you trying to burn the school down? No, of course not. I'm just baking some cookies. Must be all the steam from the steam butter cookies. That's obviously not steam. Is there a fire? Tell me the truth. No, no, there's no fire. I just put too many cookies on the tray and they're baking faster than I expected. Skinner, why on earth possessed you to think that Gailingeo was a suitable replacement for butter cookies? Well, sir, I thought that the Gailingeo would bring a unique flavor experience to the staff room. Plus, it has the same light, crumbly texture as the butter cookies. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. I was only trying to be helpful. Helpful? All I'm seeing here is a lack of accountability and a willingness to deceive rather than own up to your mistake. I think you need to take a step back and reconsider your priorities. Yes, sir. I understand. I will be more mindful in the future. See that you are. Now let's get some proper snacks in here. We have to do something about the fire in the kitchen, Skinner! It's not a fire, it's a miracle. You can't see a miracle with your eyes, you must use your heart. No, Skinner, that's not a miracle. We need to put out the fire right now. No, 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 it's a miracle. There's no fire, just a miracle. 
All right, Skinner, I'm calling the fire department. We need to put out this fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinny. I'll see you soon. Anytime. All I ask is that you don't do anything too wild while you're out there. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Now take care of yourself. Will do. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. A pair of wacky friends. One's sly and one's gullible, that's how their story begins. He'll tell tall tales and strange jokes. Won't pass up a chance for a prank. And nothing can top the fun when these two are in town tonight. See you there, more. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just finishing up in the kitchen. Dinner should be ready in a few minutes. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It sure smells good in here. What are you making? I'm doing a traditional Faroese feast. It's a bit of a specialty of mine. It consists of cured fish, boiled potatoes, rye bread, and cod liver oil. Sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Please make yourself comfortable in the living room. Can I get you a drink while you wait? Damn it. I can't believe I burnt the Faroe Islands. That was one of my favorites. I guess I'll just have to start over, but this time I'll pay more attention and make sure it doesn't happen again. Hey, it's all right. I'll just try making something else. At least I didn't burn the whole kitchen. Um, Korean fried chicken. That could be a perfect replacement for the burnt Faroe Islands. I wonder if I can find a way to make it happen. What do I need? I need to look into ingredients, recipes, and possible places to buy the necessary ingredients. I need to see if there's a Korean restaurant nearby that could provide me with an expert opinion. I also need to look into pricing and availability of the chicken I want. I think I can do it. Now I just need to make a plan, get the supplies I need, and find someone to help me. I can do this. Time to get started. Let's do this. What on earth are you doing? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out the window? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. I was just making some steamed Faroe Islands and the steam was building up in the kitchen, that's all. Don't lie to me. The kitchen is on fire, isn't it? What did you do? No, no, it's not on fire. I swear. I just had the stove on too high and the steam was getting thick in here, that's all. Mr. Skinner? I'm confused. Where did this Korean fried chicken come from? It's a regional expression. It's a style of cooking that originated in the Faroe Islands in the North Atlantic. It's a fusion of flavors from East Asia and Europe, and it's truly unique. And why did you switch it out for the salmon that I ordered? Well, I'm sorry about that, but the local fish market in the Faroe Islands was running short on salmon. They suggested I try the Korean fried chicken instead, and I thought I'd offer it as an alternative. I apologize for the inconvenience. That's quite an explanation. I think I'll stick with the salmon next time. Hey, Skinner! Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, that must be Lord Bumbo. He often comes to cook up a storm in the middle of the night. I would like to see Lord Bumbo. Can you show him to me? No, I'm afraid not. Lord Bumbo is a mysterious being who only appears to a few chosen ones. Come on, Skinner. There's something going on in that kitchen and I need to see it now. Oh, thank you, Skinner. I better be on my way now. No problem, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, I will. Wait, what's that smell? Is something burning? Oh, that's just Lord Bumbo. He often has these strange cooking mishaps. Nothing to worry about. I see. Well, I should be on my way then. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. 
please come in. Dinner is almost ready, but it'll be a few more minutes before it's done. That's no problem. It smells wonderful. What can I do to help? I appreciate the offer. How about you get the drinks ready for everyone? We have beer, wine, and soda in the fridge. Just help yourself. Sounds like a plan. Should I make a pitcher of something? That would be great. I think the kids will appreciate it. How about a fruit juice with a little soda for a bit of kick? Oh, no! I can't believe I burned the tocotrienol. How could I have been so careless? I should have been more careful. I guess it's a reminder that I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing next time. But it's a lesson learned, and I'm sure I won't make that mistake again. I think I might be able to find a replacement for the burnt tocotrienol in that plant outside the window. I'll need to get a few samples of the leaves to take back to the leaves to take back to the lab and analyze them. Once I have the samples, I'll have to run some tests in order to figure out if it is a viable substitute. Hopefully this will work out and I can get this experiment back on track. Let's go have a look outside and see what I can find. Maybe it's time to go for a walk. It's time to get to work. What are you doing and why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? It isn't smoke. It's just steam from the steamed tocotrienol I'm making. This is a special recipe and I'm working hard to get it just right. Are you sure it's not a fire? I can smell it. No, no fire. This recipe just smells very strongly. I promise. Just steam from the tocotrienol. Skinner, why did you switch out the tocotrienol for dipteronia? Well, I thought that dipteronia had more of a zesty flavor that my customers would enjoy more. Plus, it's been scientifically proven to be healthier and contain more nutrients than tocotrienol. But that doesn't explain why you didn't tell anyone about the switch. Surely your customers would want to know what's in the food they're eating. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure if my customers had heard of tocotrienol, so I thought it would be easier to just keep it a secret. But I can assure you dipteronia is a healthier and more nutritious alternative. Skinner, this is unacceptable. You should have been up front with your customers and let them make their own decision. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out right now. No, there's no need for that. This is just a planetary alignment. It should pass soon. Can I see it for myself? Are those flames I see? No, no, that's not possible. It's just a planetary alignment. It should pass soon. We need to get out of here and get help. This fire is too big to put out on our own. Well, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I should be heading out now. He notices the fire and screams. The house is on fire. What? No, of course not. It's just some kind of planetary alignment. All is perfectly normal. Mr. Skinner, you can't ignore a burning house. We need to call the fire department. No, we don't need to do that. It's all perfectly normal. But I'm calling them anyway. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. You're just in time for supper. I'm afraid the beetroot is still cooking, but it should be ready soon. Oh, thank you. It smells wonderful already. Shall we have a glass of wine while we wait? Sure, why not? Sounds like a good way to pass the time. I've got a nice peanut noir. Would you like white or red? Damn it! I was so looking forward to having beetroot tonight. I can't believe I burned it. I guess I'll just have to make something else. Uh, I don't know why I have to be so clumsy sometimes. This looks promising. I wonder if I can use this duck to replace the burnt beetroot. Time to give it a try. Let's see what I can do with this duck. I'll need to cut it, season it, and cook it the same way I did for the beetroot. That should do it. All right, right. So I'm cutting up this duck and seasoning it. Now for the cooking. I think I got this. It smells pretty good. Time to plate it up and see if my experiment worked. 
It looks fantastic. I'm sure my guests will be happy with this delicious duck instead of the unfortunate charred beetroot. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Uh... Oh, it's nothing. Just a bit of steam. Everything is just fine. Steam? That doesn't look like steam to me. Where's the fire? What is burning? Oh, nothing. Just a little experiment I'm working on. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, what is this? Where is the beetroot I requested? Oh, this. This is a new experimental dish I thought you would like to try. It's a special breed of duck that's been harvested from one of the best farms in town. I think you'll really enjoy the flavor. Skinner? I asked for beetroot, not duck. Do you take me for a fool? No, no, of course not. I just thought that experimenting with different types of food would be something you would enjoy. I apologize if you don't like it. I'll be sure to bring you the beetroot you asked for next time. I think it's best if you just stick to what I requested. Skinner! The kitchen's on fire! No, it isn't. It's just some mysterious booms. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. There's no denying it, Skinner. The kitchen is definitely on fire. I still say it's just a mystery boom. Now let's just stand back and watch the mysterious boom unfold. Skinner, this can't be a mystery boom. We need to get out of here and find help. Um, Professor Skinner, is something wrong? No, no, nothing at all. Just some strange noise. How was lunch? It was great, thank you. I should probably be heading out now. Yes, yes, of course. Have a safe journey. You too, Professor Skinner. Good morning, Chalmers. Have you seen the acorn squash? No, I haven't. What's the matter? Is it ready yet? It's not ready, but I'm going to wait until it is before I cook it. All right. I'll go take a look. I've already started it cooking. It'll just take a few minutes to finish. I'm so sorry for burning the acorn squash. I didn't mean to. I was just so angry. Now I'm all alone. I'll have to find another way to get food. I'll have to find another way to get food. Hey, if I can find a mooten in this garden, I'll be able to replace my bird of corn squash. I'll just have to be vigilant and keep an eye out for mooten in the garden. I'll be able to replace my bird of corn squash with a mooten in no time. I'm sure I'll find a mooten soon. I can't wait to get my hands on a mooten. That's not steam. What? What? That the kitchen's on fire! Get out! <sighs> I can't believe you're accusing me of starting the fire. Skinner? Where's the acorn squash? I don't know what you're talking about. You liar! You swapped the food. I didn't swap the food. I would never do that. You're a liar and a thief and I hate you. Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. What? What? The stove is on, the oven is on, the gas is coming out of the tap. It's probably just something on the stove. Skinner, it's on fire! Skinner, lunch was great, thanks. No problem, Chalmers. I'm just glad you're enjoying yourself. I am, thank you. I think I'm finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, good luck with that. I hope everything works out. I know it will. Thanks again for lunch. Hi, Chalmers. I hope you're having a good day. I'm fine, thank you. I just stopped by to ask if you'd be interested in joining me for some tea. I've got some clementines cooking, but they're not quite ready. That sounds like a nice idea. I'll take a cup of tea if it's available. Of course it is. I didn't mean to keep you from anything. I don't mind at all. I appreciate the offer. 
I'll just go set up my cup. Great, just great. I burned the clementine. Now I'll never get the chance to give it to the girl. What kind of crappy luck is this? Well, at least I still have the other ones. I'll just have to give them to her tomorrow. Oh, gods, if only I could find a jabotica batri outside my window. Jabotacaba tastes delicious and is a natural replacement for the burnt clementine I lost. I must go outside and search until I find a jabotica batri. Thank you, gods, for your assistance. I'll be back soon with my new jabotacaba. What the hell is going on in here? It's just steam, Chalmers. The kitchen is full of it. It smells like smoke. It's just steam. There's no fire. Skinner, the food you brought back isn't clementine. It's jabotacaba. What's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. I swapped the food without knowing what it was. Skinner, you lied to me. Now give me back the food that I originally ordered. I can't do that. The food you originally ordered is now gone, so I can't give it back to you. I hope you enjoy your jabotica bar. This isn't acceptable, Skinner. I want my original food back. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. There's no fire, Chalmers. There's no fire. But the kitchen is on fire. There's no fire, Chalmers. There's no fire. But the kitchen is on fire. Skinner, I'm leaving. Thanks for lunch. No problem, Chalmers. I had a good time. I think the house is on fire. I see it, Chalmers. Be careful. I will. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. The acorn is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. It smells delicious. What can I do to help? Well, why don't you take a seat and I'll pour us both a cup of tea. Then we can catch up while we wait for the acorn to finish cooking. Sounds perfect. I'd love a cup of tea. Coming right up. Oh, gods. What have I done? I was so careless. I have ruined the acorn. Now it is nothing more than ash. What will I do now? I must think of something. I could start over and make a new acorn, but that would take too long. I could search for another one, but who knows how long that would take. There must be another way. Come now, spirits of the harvest. I beseech you to provide me with a suitable replacement for this burnt acorn. Show me the way and I will be forever thankful. May the gods of the harvest be with me. And so I pray for a new harvest to come and replace this burnt acorn. May the spirits of nature carry this request to the heavens and fulfill my wish. In the name of the harvest I beseech thee. So be it. So be it. What are you doing in here? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just steam from the steamed acorn I'm making. Delicious, isn't it? That's not steam. It's smoke. The kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. I swear it's just the steam from the steamed acorn. Skinner, what is this? This isn't acorn. It's harvest. No, no. I told the supplier to give me the best acorns that money can buy. This is the finest grade of acorns I could find. I knew you would be pleased. This doesn't look like any acorn I've ever seen. Where'd you get these? They're from a very rare and exotic species of acorn that only grows in the foothills of the Himalayas. It's a very special and sought after variety. What? I don't believe you. Why would you replace the acorn with something else? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. No, no, you must be mistaken. It's just a few runes that have come to life by themselves. I'm sure they will just pass by soon and nothing will happen. Let me take a look. I want to see for myself. 
Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. It's best if you stay back. We'll just wait and see what happens. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Oh my, the house is burning down. We need to get out now. What fire? It's just a few runes I'm burning in the fireplace. No need to be alarmed. Mr. Skinner, we really need to get outside. Now. All right, I guess we should go. Thank you for lunch. No problem. Let's hurry. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you for having me, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Yeah, I'm simmering a pot of liver pudding. It's gonna take a bit longer to cook, but I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Sounds delicious. How do you make it? It's my grandmother's recipe passed down from generation to generation. I stew the liver in some broth and flavor it with herbs and spices. I then thicken it with some breadcrumbs and eggs. Once it's done, I serve it with some mashed potatoes. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the liver pudding. What a mess I've made. I suppose I should have paid more attention. Well, thanks a lot, gods. That's what I get for not being more careful. At least I can still make some mashed potatoes. I just hope this doesn't ruin my dinner. Oh, great gods of the kitchen, please help me out. I am in need of a replacement for this burnt liver pudding. I see a guava tree outside this window and I'm wondering if it's possible for me to make use of its sweet fruit to bring a new flavor to this dish. Please kindly accept this offering of guava and my willingness to experiment with it. Thank you for your wisdom. I am ready to be creative and see what kind of delicious dish I can create. Thank you my mighty chefs for your guidance and kindness. I am ready to begin the work of creating something wonderful. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What did you do? Oh, nothing. It's just steam. I was just making some coffee. That's not steam, it's smoke. Are you trying to burn down the school? No, of course not. I just haven't been paying attention. I accidentally left something on the stove too long and it caught fire. What is the meaning of this replacement, Skinner? I specifically requested liver pudding. Um, sorry, sir, but this is the best I could do. I was in the kitchen preparing the meal when I noticed that someone had tampered with my ingredients. I saw that our liver pudding had been replaced with a tropical fruit called guava. I figured the best thing to do was to make sure you... But why didn't you just go out and get the liver pudding? I'm sorry, sir. I tried, but the store was closed by the time I got there. I thought this guava substitute would be a nice surprise and still provide you with a satisfactory meal. I hope you enjoy it. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. I don't understand why you didn't just tell me the truth in the first place. Skinner, do you smell something burning? The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I think that's just the pizza we ordered earlier. Go check, just in case. I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. No, it's just smoke from the oven. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll blow over soon. Skinner, there is no time to argue. We need to get out of the building now. Well, this was certainly a great lunch. I guess I should be going now, but thank you again for having me. While I'm here, though, I think it's important to note that your house is on fire. We should probably try and put it out before it gets any worse. Good heavens. Thank you so much for alerting me. Let's get to it. Yeah, yes, we should. I'll see you soon. Sure thing. Be safe. You too. Hello, Chalmers. Did you come to eat or talk? Actually, I came to check on the fresh food. It doesn't seem to be cooking yet. It won't be ready for a while. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll come back later. Sure thing, Chalmers. I'll see you later. Ah, fuck. 
I burned the fresh food. I'm all alone in this house with no way to cook dinner. What am I gonna do? Hey, I'll take a look outside and see if I can find a pea bean. I'll replace the burnt fresh foods with a pea bean. If I find a pea bean, I'll be able to continue my experiment. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a pea bean and replace the burnt fresh foods. If I find a pea bean, I'll be able to continue my experiment. Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. It's just steam, Chalmers. The kitchen's not on fire. Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. It's just steam, Chalmers. The kitchen's not on fire. Skinner, did you swap the food? No, of course not. I'm telling you, the food is peas beans. Okay, then why is it not fresh? I couldn't find any fresh food, so I substituted peas beans. Okay, so you swapped the food, period. Now tell me what's going on. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. The stove might be on fire. The oven is on fire. The oven might be on fire. The refrigerator is on fire. Skinner, I'm glad we had lunch. I'll see you for dinner. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers. And fuck you, too. Yeah, that too. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. The smell of that brioche is delightful. Thank you. It should be ready soon. Can I offer you something to drink? Coffee? Tea? Coffee would be perfect. Cream, no sugar. Coming right up. Please make yourself at home. Oh, no, I can't believe I burned the brioche. Now I'll have to start all over. I guess I was a bit too distracted. This is not going to be fun. Well, I guess the only thing to do is to start again and hope for the best. I can do this. I just need to focus. Ah, ah. Just what I was looking for. Now, if I can just get this citrus from outside the window, I will be able to replace the burnt brioche with something fresh and tasty. I just need to find a way to get it. Mmm. Maybe I could climb out the window and climb down the tree. No, that's too dangerous. I should probably wait until later when I can get someone to help me. Or maybe I could throw something to knock the fruit off the tree. Yes, that's it. Now I just need something to throw. Ah, uh, perfect. I'll use this rock here. What's going on in here? Who started this fire? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, nothing serious. It's just some steam. There's no fire here. Don't lie to me. I can see the flames. What did you do? How did this fire start? I, uh, I may have left something on the stove. It's really not a big deal, though. I'm sure I can get it out. No, you definitely said it was brioche. What's going on here? Well, I was trying to surprise you with something new and different. You know, mix it up a bit. I thought you might appreciate something outside the usual. I'm sorry if I misled you. That was never my intention. Let me make it up to you in some way. Apology accepted, but I still want to know why you substituted citrus for brioche. What's really going on? It's a funny story, actually. I was out at the bakery and the brioche had just sold out. But I thought the citrus might make for an interesting alternative for breakfast. So I decided to take a chance on it and serve it to you. I s Well, it, it was an interesting surprise. Thank you for thinking of me. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. No need to panic. This is simply Halo. See, it's just an unusual optical illusion. Nothing to worry about. No, Skinner. This isn't Halo. The kitchen is on fire and we need to get out of here now. Well, I'm not so sure about that, Chalmers. It looks more like Halo to me. I'm sure it'll be gone soon. Skinner, the kitchen is burning and we need to get out now. Wow, Skinner, I appreciate the lunch. I'm gonna go now. Bye. 
Have a great day, Chalmers. Just remember, don't look at the fire. It's just a halo of smoke. Okay, I won't. Bye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I'm just finishing up dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. May I ask what's cooking? Uh, it's a traditional southern dish, Erner Brot. It's a combination of onions, peppers, and bacon cooked in a thick tomato sauce. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? That sounds delicious. Sure, I'd love a glass of water if you have it. Certainly. I'll get that for you right away. Well, this is just great. I worked so hard on that and now it's burned. I just can't believe it. What am I gonna do now? I guess I'm just gonna have to start over. Maybe I can salvage some of it, if I'm lucky, or at least use it as an opportunity to make something even better. I bet that corn fritter would make a great replacement for the burn turner brought. I can see some ingredients outside the window that I could use. I just need to figure out how to make a corn fritter. Let's see. I need some cornmeal, some flour, some eggs, some milk, some sugar, and some butter. I think I have all those ingredients in the kitchen. Now I just have to figure out the best way to combine them. Maybe I should look up a recipe. All right. I think I know what I need to do. Now I just have to put it all together and make the corn fritters. This is going to be delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, and I need to remember to turn the oven on. What are you doing in here, and why is there smoke coming out of the kitchen? I was just making steam turner brat. It must have been the steam, nothing else. It doesn't look like steam, it looks like smoke. What have you been up to? I was just making brat. I promise, no fire. Skinner, I asked for earner brat, and you gave me corn fritters. What is going on here? Well, Chalmers, I had heard that the earner brat was too dense for some people's tastes. So I thought I would be doing everyone a favor by substituting a lighter, more savory alternative. It's all part of my commitment to providing the best possible dining experience for our school staff and... Skinner! Ah! Well, the truth is that I had gone to the store to pick up the earner brought, but when I got there, they were all out. The storekeeper suggested that I try the corn fritters as a substitute, and I agreed to give it a shot. I apologize for any confusion. Apology accepted, Skinner. Next time, I suggest that you be more upfront about the situation. Skinner, I can see the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something about it. No. I'd like to see this mysterious Le Bol Fuego for myself, if I may. No, there's no need. I assure you it's nothing to worry about. But it's clearly a fire and we need to put it out. Ah, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. I think I see smoke coming from your house. No, no, that's just Le Bol Fuego. It's a gas stove. Old-fashioned, you know. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Are you sure? I don't think that's the stove I'm seeing. Of course it is. Just ignore it. La Fuego works perfectly fine. If you say so. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you for lunch again. Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers win together. Brings a giggle and a laugh. But Skinner loves to tell white lies. And seeing Chalmers getting mad, he hollers and curses and paces around, while Skinner just smiles away. Cause seeing Chalmers so distressed, well it's just too much fun to stay. So come on listen up. Check it out. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See Mario Mora? 
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm so pleased you could drop by. Please come in, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Skinner. It's always a pleasure to be here. What is that wonderful smell? Ah, that's just my famous 50-50 burger. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. Oh, it smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. Well, I'll make sure it's ready in no time. What can I get you to drink while you wait? Ah, damn it. I can't believe I burned the 50-50 burger. Did it have to happen right now? Of all times. I'm alone, and I have no one to blame but myself. Damn you, devil. Why do you have to tempt me so? I guess it's all my fault for not paying attention. I should know better than to be so careless. Hopefully I can salvage something out of this mess. All right, all right, I got it. I just need one more ingredient. Red bopple nuts. Right, right. Those should do the trick. Now how do I find some of those? Hmm. I could go outside and search the nearby trees. Hmm. I could go outside and search the nearby trees. There might be some ripe ones. Or perhaps I could ask around town if anyone knows where to get some. I know I could check the farmer's market on Saturday. That would be the perfect place to find some fresh red bopple nuts. I just need a plan of action and I shall have my delicious replacement for the burnt burger. Ah, uh, here I go. One red bopple nut coming up. What's going on in here? Why is the kitchen all full of smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? It's not smoke. It's just the steam from the steamed 50-50 burger I'm making. That's why I was climbing out the window. <sighs> Get some fresh air. I don't believe you. Let me see what's cooking on the stove. Um, I can't. It's still in the process of cooking. Skinner, this isn't a 50-50 burger. It's a red bopple nut. What's going on here? Uh, yes. The 50-50 burger is a bit of a regional expression for the red bopple nut. It's served in this area and is quite popular. But I specifically requested a 50-50 burger. Why did you give me this instead? Uh, I apologize. I assumed you were aware of the regional expression. If you like, I can make you a fresh 50-50 burger right away. I'm so sorry for the confusion. Skinner, I think you know this is not the same thing. Tell me what's really going on here. Skinner! There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here now. No, it must be psychokinesis. We can't see it, so it must be something supernatural. We should just stay calm. Skinner, I'll believe you. If it's psychokinesis, then let me see it. Show me. No, I don't think so. It's too dangerous. We should just get out of here as quickly as possible. Skinner, I'm not buying it. We need to get out of here now and I want to see this psychokinesis. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Oh, of course, Chalmers. Thank you for coming. Please do come again anytime. Yes, I will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Wait. Is there a fire in your house? It smells like it. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. It's so good to see you. Please come in and make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. It smells like you've been cooking. Is it almost ready? Not quite yet, but it won't be long. Please sit down and have a seat. Can I offer you something to drink? Yes, that would be lovely. Do you have any juice? I uh, sure do. I have orange, apple, and cranberry. What would you like? This is unacceptable. I can't believe I burned the alum. How could I have been so careless? I need to find a way to fix this before anyone finds out. I need to figure out a way to fix this without anyone knowing. I'll have to think of something soon before it's too late. If I can find the right kind of tree branch and some twine, I might be able to fashion a makeshift zrazi to replace the burnt alum. Maybe there's a maple tree nearby. I'll go check it out. Oh, and maybe I can find a couple of stones to weigh it down. This could work. I'm sure if I put my mind to it, 
I can make a makeshift Zrazi to replace the burnt. Alum. Here we go. Time to find the perfect tree branch and make this Zrazi. What is going on here? It smells like something is burning and the kitchen is full of smoke. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? Oh, nothing to be alarmed about. It's just the steamed alum I'm making. It gives off a little bit of steam, that's all. Nothing to worry about. That still doesn't explain the smoke and why the kitchen is full of it. I think it's time you tell me what you're really up to, Skinner. Uh, okay. I was trying to cook something, but I might have accidentally set fire to a pan. What on earth is this? This isn't alum. Ah, uh, yes, this is a special type of alum. It's called Zrazi. It's a combination of two secret ingredients that I'm not allowed to divulge. It's a type of alum that is only found in the most exotic parts of the world. I'm sure you'll love it. I highly doubt that. This doesn't look anything like alum. Is this some kind of joke? Not at all. This is a very rare and precious type of alum. It takes years of training and dedication to source it, and then special recipes to prepare it. I'm sure you'll enjoy the unique taste and texture of Zrazi's. So you're saying that this is a different type of alum? Even though it looks nothing like it and has a completely different taste. What is that smoke? There's definitely something wrong here. Oh, that? It's nothing to worry about. It's just the Babadook. The Babadook? I, uh, I don't see a Babadook, or is there a fire? No, no, no. It's definitely the Babadook. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm not convinced. I'd like to see this Babadook for myself. Oh, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I should get going. There's a small problem here, though. It seems the house is on fire. We should probably get out of here. No, no, no. Don't worry, Chalmers. That's just the Babadook trying to give us a scare. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? I mean, it looks pretty serious. Oh, trust me. I'm sure. Nothing to worry about. Now off you go. Take care. All right, if you say so. Bye now. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in. I was just starting on the risotto saltado. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long now. Ah, that sounds delicious. I haven't had risotto saltado in ages. How have you been, Seymour? I've been well. Busy as usual, but nothing I can't manage. How about you? How have you been? Oh, same old, same old. Just enjoying the summer weather and getting ready for the school year. Ah, uh, that is always an exciting time of year. But in the meantime, shall we have some wine while we wait for dinner to finish cooking? Gods, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on this dish, and now it's ruined. What a waste of time and effort. I guess I just have to start over and try again. Um, sure it's for the best, though. Maybe I just wasn't meant to make risotto saltado. This can be a learning opportunity, and I'll be better for it. Oh, gods, let this work. I need something to replace the burnt risotto saltado. Please grant me a miracle and send me something to save this dish. I spy something outside. The mushrooms are growing in abundance and just might save my dish. Please, gods, show me the way and I will cook with all my heart. Ah, I have found the perfect ingredient to replace the burnt risotto saltado. With my trusty knife, I will chop the mushrooms and create a delicious mushroom gravy. Thank you, O oh divine ones, for this blessing. Now let's get cooking. In goes the mushrooms, some onion, garlic, and spices. I just need to simmer this until everything is nice and combined. 
Now it's time to taste the results. Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Are you burning something in here? No, of course not. Just steaming the risotto saltado. It's going to be delicious. Oh, risotto doesn't steam. It simmers. Are you sure you're not setting the kitchen on fire? No, I promise you I'm not. The smoke is just the steam from the risotto, that's all. Skinner, why did you bring mushroom gravy when I asked for risotto saltado? Well, I figured that since risotto saltado is so popular these days, you might appreciate a unique twist on it. So I decided to add a little something special to the risotto. Mushroom gravy. I thought it would be a nice surprise for you. But this doesn't even remotely resemble risotto saltado. Did you even try to make it? Of course I did. It took me hours of hard work, but I think I did an excellent job. I'm sure you'll be delighted with the results. Skinner, I don't think you understand. Risotto saltato is a delicate dish. It requires precise ingredients and measurements to bring out its unique flavor. Mushroom gravy doesn't come anywhere close to risotto saltato. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. That's not a fire. It's a mamlam bow. There's nothing to worry about. I don't see any mamlam bow. Can I take a look? No, there's nothing to see. Trust me, it's not a fire. Skinner, this is serious. We need to leave now. Really? You don't even notice the house is on fire. Well, I appreciate the lunch, but I really should be going now. Take care, Principal Skinner. Ah, yes. Of course. Well, goodbye, Chalmers. It was very nice to have lunch with you. Oh, and please do not worry about the fire. It is just a Mom Lambo. I'm a Mambo. What on earth is a Mom Lambo? Oh, it's not really a thing, just my way of saying that everything is under control. No need to worry. Well, okay, goodbye. I hope the fire gets put out soon. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so good to see you. Please come in. Good afternoon, Principal Skinner. Thank you for the invitation. No problem at all. I must warn you, though, the Ajika isn't quite ready yet. It needs a few more minutes on the stove. Ah, no worries. It smells like it'll be delicious. Yes, I'm sure it will be. You must be thirsty, though. Can I offer you a drink while we wait? Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Ajika. That was supposed to be our dinner tonight. What am I going to do now? I guess I could go out and buy something else or order a pizza or something. That doesn't sound very appetizing, though. Maybe I could try to make something else. I'm not sure I have any other ingredients here, though. That's it. I knew I'd think of something. That saddle of lamb looks perfect. I just need to get it back to the kitchen, and then I can replace the burnt ajika with it. Now I just need to figure out how to get it back here without anyone noticing. Let's see. I could sneak it back in my pocket, or maybe in my bag. The kitchen door is usually open, so I could make a run for it. I just need to be careful not to get caught. Okay, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. No turning back now. What the devil is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Skinner, are you on fire? No, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed ajika I'm making. I swear it's nothing to worry about. You're lying, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. Put out the fire before the entire school burns down around our ears. Okay, okay, I'll put it out. Don't worry, I've got it under control. Why did you bring us this saddle of lamb instead of a jika? 
Uh, I was out shopping and found a limited edition of this dish that is said to have magical properties. Not only will it help us achieve our culinary goals, but it may even bring us luck and prosperity. That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't you just stick with the Ajika we were originally gonna have? Oh, well, I thought it would be fun to switch it up a bit and surprise you all with something a bit different. I'm sure you'll appreciate the unique taste of this dish. That still doesn't explain why you didn't just stick with the Ajika. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I don't see anything. It must be fairy rings. Can I see it? I want to make sure. No, it's not a good idea. It's probably just a trick of the light. I'm not sure I believe you. Can I just take a quick look? This lunch was great. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a few fairy rings. They show up every now and then like this. It's no big deal. Okay, if you say so, bye now. Take care and have a safe journey. Thank you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something's cooking. Is it ready yet? Oh, no, it's not quite ready yet. We still have a few more minutes to wait. Would you like something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. What do you have? I have some freshly brewed oolong tea, or if you prefer something a bit sweeter, there's some iced peppermint tea as well. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the tear sauce. That was the last of the ingredients. I guess I'll have to start over from scratch. What a waste of time and energy. Maybe try a little less heat next time and keep a closer eye on it. I can do this. I just have to stay focused. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet that I can make some delicious rope of the Asia if I can find some sour oranges nearby. I'll need some garlic, oregano, cumin, tomato sauce, onions, green peppers, and some red peppers. That should do it. Now time to get to work. First, I'm going to cut some of the vegetables so that they are small enough to cook. Then, I'll saute them with the garlic and oregano. Once they are golden brown, I'll add the tomato sauce, cumin, and sour oranges. After it's cooked through, I can add the ropa vieja. Finally, I'll let it all simmer until the flavors combine and I have the perfect sauce. I'm sure it'll be perfect. Now, time to get cooking. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? This place is full of smoke. Oh, uh, that. It's just steam from the steam tear sauce I'm making. Nothing to worry about here. Skinner, stop lying to me. The kitchen is clearly on fire. Put it out now. Oh, all right. I guess I should have realized you could tell it was a fire. I'll put it out right away. Skinner, why'd you bring Ropa Viesia instead of tear sauce? What kind of ridiculous story are you going to tell me this time? Well, um, actually, I heard that the tear sauce had been cursed by an ancient gypsy. So I thought it was best to switch it with something else that was safe. Cursed by an ancient gypsy? That doesn't even make sense. I want the truth, Skinner. Nothing but the truth. Look, the truth is that the tear sauce was made with a secret ingredient that I'm not allowed to divulge. So... I decided to replace it with something else that was a little less, uh, dangerous. Skinner, I'm not buying it. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Now why did you switch the tear sauce with something else? Do you see what I'm seeing? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I'm certain it is nothing more than levitation. It's a special phenomena that you won't be able to believe until you see it with your own eyes. So, can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. It's an extraordinary thing that you wouldn't be able to comprehend. But I'm telling you I see flames! We need to get out of here before it's too late. Well, I should get going. Thanks for the lunch. It was really good. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. 
I will. I just have to practice some levitation. Um, all right then. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The gravy's not quite ready yet, but it'll be done soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful already. Thank you. We're just waiting for the potatoes to finish boiling. Ah, I see. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, actually. Could you peel the carrots and onions for the gravy? What a disaster. How am I supposed to fix this now? I can't believe I was so careless. Maybe I can just make a new batch. I don't have a lot of time, but I think it would still be better than this mess. I think I can make San Marino gravy if I can get those vegetables from outside the window. That should work. I'll just have to brave the cold and go out and get those vegetables. Good thing I know my way around the garden. Now, if only I can figure out how long to cook the vegetables and how to mix in the San Marino correctly. <sighs> Time to take a chance. Channel my inner chef and hope for the best. Wish me luck. What are you doing here? And why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Explain yourself. Oh, oh, well, I was just making some steamed gravy for lunch, and the steam from the pot was making the kitchen a bit, hmm, smoky. That's all. Nothing to worry about. So you're telling me that there's no fire in the kitchen? No, no, no fire at all. It's just the steam from the steamed gravy. I swear. Skinner, what is this? It's definitely not gravy. No, sir, this is San Marino. It is a special recipe from an old family friend of mine. A recipe that has been in my family for generations. He gifted me with the recipe and I thought the residents of Springfield Elementary deserved to try it out tonight. Skinner, I know this isn't gravy. I want to know what it really is. I assure you it is San Marino. An exotic dish with a wonderfully unique flavor. A flavor you simply won't find anywhere else. It may surprise you at first, but give it a try. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Skinner, come clean. Scare. You need to admit the kitchen is on fire. I need to see it to believe it. Mm, no, it's not a fire. It's just a Foo Fighter. You won't see it, so don't worry about it. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Please let me have a look. No, I'm telling you there's no fire. Just a Foo Fighter. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, I won't believe you until I see it for myself. You have to let me see it. Skinner, I think there's something you should know. What's that? What's that? The house is on fire. Foo Fighter? Nah, that can't be it. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. No, Skinner, the house is literally burning down. We need to get out of here. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Sorry about the smell of liver. We're still cooking it. Thank you. It smells like you have a delicious meal in the works. Yeah, my wife is an excellent cook. Would you like something to drink while you wait? No, thank you. I'm fine for now, but I look forward to trying whatever you have cooked up. It should be ready soon. Please make yourself comfortable. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on dinner and it's ruined. I'm so embarrassed for my guests. I just don't understand why this had to happen. What am I going to do now? I don't want to disappoint everyone. Is there any way I can salvage this dinner? Dear Lord, please grant me the insight and knowledge to find the right solution here. Show me the way and I promise to use it to replace the burnt liver with a delicious condom babin. Amen. Now what do I see out there that could help me? Hmm. Ah, there it is. A nearby market. 
I bet they sell Kanam Babin somewhere in there. I must go get it. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me. Now let me get to work. I shall find the perfect Kanam Babin and use its deliciousness to replace the burnt liver. What are you doing here? What's all this smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, no, no, no. It's just the steamed liver I'm making. It's nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, don't give me that. It's obvious what's going on. I want the truth. Why did you flee out the window and fill this kitchen with smoke? Um, I, I was getting some air. Yes, it's very stuffy in here and I was feeling a bit faint. That's all. What is this? I asked for liver and you bring me this. Uh, this is just a special kind of liver. It's from the far east from a faraway land called Kanam Babin. It's the most delectable liver you'll ever taste. It's been aged for centuries and has a delightful flavor that's sure to please. Trust me, you won. Skinner, this isn't liver. It appears to be some kind of pastry. Oh, indeed it is. You see, the liver is encased in a delicious Kanam Babin crust. It's a traditional dish from Kanam Babin, served only to the highest of dignitaries. It's quite a delicacy. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. What is this? What's going on in there? I think the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just Lord Bumbo. He's a bit, uh, rowdy. Nothing to worry about. I, I, I'd like to see, if you don't mind. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Lord Bumbo is a very private fellow, and I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate the intrusion. But I'm sure fire safety protocols need to be followed. Can I at least open the door to make sure there's no fire? Wait, what? There's a fire. We need to get out of here right away. Oh, don't worry about it. That's just Lord Bumbo. He's always up to hijinks like this. Are you serious? We need to get out of here fast. Let's go. I'm sure it will be fine. Lord Bumbo always knows what he's doing. You worry too much. No, we have to go now. This isn't a joke. Hey there, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Uh, yes, I'm simmering some marlin schnapps in the kitchen. It's almost ready, but not quite there yet. Sounds intriguing. What is Marilyn schnapps? It's a traditional Austrian fruit brandy made from apricots. I make it every year at this time. Would you like to try it when it's ready? Oh, no. I've made a mess of things. How could this happen? This was meant to be an offering to the gods, a symbol of my respect for them. What am I to do now? Please give me a sign, a way to fix this mistake and make it up to them. I will do anything. Please show me the way. Oh, great spirits. Please help me find a way to replace this burnt Maryland schnapps with Anadama bread. I know this is a difficult ask, but I am in a desperate situation. Please show me the way. I must be creative. What can I do? Ah. Uh... I could make a cake, like a babka. It would be quite sweet, but with a nutty flavor from the anadama. That could be a great way to replace the Maryland schnapps. Now all I need to do is gather the ingredients and bake a delicious anadama cake that will rival the flavor and texture of the Maryland schnapps. Thank you, great spirits, for helping me in my hour of need. Skinner, what is going on here? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not smoke. It's just the steam from the steamed Maryland schnapps I'm making for our guests. It's a special Austrian recipe. No. This is definitely smoke, not steam. I think the kitchen is on fire. We better get out of here. 
No, no. It's all right. I got it under control. It's just the Maryland schnapps. Nothing to worry about. You said you were getting Maryland schnapps, yet you came back with an autumn of bread. What's going on here, Skinner? Ah, uh, well, you see, I was in the market and noticed the baker was having a sale on an atom of bread. I figured it was a great opportunity and bought it instead, thinking it would make a delicious addition to our dinner. And what about the Maryland schnapps? Oh, that. Well, it turns out the store was all out of Maryland schnapps, so I had to settle for the Anadama bread instead. I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm all right then. I don't believe you. I think there is a fire in the kitchen. I demand to see it. No, I assure you it's just a meteor shower. Nothing to worry about. That doesn't make any sense. I want to see for myself now. No, no, no. There is no need for that. This is perfectly normal. There's nothing to worry about. How can you explain the smoke rising from the kitchen? Open the door and show me. Um, Professor Skinner? I think your house is on fire. We should probably call for help. Oh, that's all right. It's just a few meteor showers. Nothing to worry about. Uh, but Professor Skinner, the smoke and flames are clearly visible. We need to call for help now. Uh, no need to worry. It's just a little light show. Nothing to be concerned about. Professor Skinner, we really need to do something about this. Please, let's call the fire department. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. The smell of Campanula versicolor is delightful. What are you cooking? It's Campanula versicolor. It's a type of wildflower native to these parts. I find it quite delicious in a stew. I must say, I've never heard of that before. How did you come to learn of it? Oh, I was out in the hills collecting plants as part of my botany studies when I stumbled upon it. I've been cooking with it ever since. What have I done? I should have known better. How am I going to explain this to the professor? She must be so disappointed with me. I'm such a failure. I guess I better start cleaning this up now. I'll just have to hope that the professor can find it in her heart to forgive me. I think I see a dear villa out there. If I can get close enough to it, I should be able to take a cutting and replace the burnt Campanula versicolor. Now, let me see if I can find a way to get close enough to it. Um, maybe if I can find a ladder or something, I could climb up to reach it. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, made it. Now just a few more steps and I should be able to take a branch with some flowers on it. What do you mean, Steen? This place is full of smoke. What the hell is going on here? It's nothing, Principal Chalmers. I'm just steaming Campanula versicolor. It's a kind of flower. It makes the smoke. Nothing to worry about? I don't believe you. Are you trying to hide something from me? What are you cooking up in here? I swear it's just the Campanula versicolor. I promise it won't happen again. Skinner, I don't think this is the right food. What's going on here? Ah, uh, yeah. I wanted to surprise you. This is a special type of wildflower that only grows in a secret location. It's a rare delicacy that few people have ever tasted. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What's really going on? All right, I'll tell you. This is Dyervilla, a wildflower found in many areas of the U.S. I thought I'd switch it out for some variety. I'm sorry for not telling you but I thought you'd appreciate the surprise. I appreciate the thought, but next time just tell me what you're doing. Don't lie about it. What? What is going on in the kitchen? It's getting really hot in here. Oh, don't worry. It's just a spectral ghost we've been having in here lately. Nothing to worry about. A spectral ghost? Can I see it? No, it's hard to see it. We have to keep an eye out for it just in case. 
I believe you. There's something else going on here. I think the kitchen is on fire. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. But it looks like you have a problem back home. It's nothing I can't handle. Whatever it is, it's probably just a spectral ghost. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Well, good luck and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just cooking up some side of bacon for us. It won't be ready for a few more minutes, though. That smells delicious. I'd love some bacon. What else are you cooking? I am also making some scrambled eggs and toast. Would you like some? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, have a seat and I'll bring it right out. Is there anything else I can get you? Great. Just great. I was so looking forward to that bacon and now it's ruined. What am I gonna do now? I have to find something else to eat. Maybe I'll just try making some eggs. That shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm sure I can pull something off. Ah, I see a bushy in the garden. It looks like it's the perfect size to replace the burnt side of bacon. Time to get to work. First, I need to cut the bushy in half. I think it's best to use a sharp knife to do it. Ah, here we go. All right. Now I just need to place the bushy on the frying pan and turn the heat up. Here we go. And now all I need to do is wait for it to cook. I'm sure it'll turn out delicious. Yeah, yes, perfect. Now I can enjoy my breakfast, complete with some delicious bushy instead of the burnt side of bacon. What are you doing in here? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. Nothing to worry about. Steam? Don't try and feed me that. This kitchen is on fire and you know it. No, uh, no, it's just a little bit of smoke. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. What's going on here, Skinner? Did you purposely switch out the side of bacon I asked for? No, absolutely not. I told you it was Boshi from the start. I never said anything about bacon. But I distinctly remember you saying side of bacon. Now, why would you do that? Oh, I must have been confused. I meant to say Boshi all along. I apologize for any confusion. I, I, I don't believe you, Skinner. I think you deliberately switched out the side of bacon for this Bucci and you're trying to cover it up. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh no, I'm sure it's just volcanic lightning. It's not a fire, it's just a natural phenomena. Skinner, this is an emergency. We need to leave the school and call the fire department now. No, no, it's just a natural phenomena. Don't worry, it will pass soon. Skinner, I'm not going to stand here and argue about this. The kitchen is on fire and we need to call the fire department right now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably get going. Looks like your house is on fire, though. Oh, that. That's nothing. It's just volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, then. If you say so, I'll be on my way. Very good. Have a nice day, Chalmers. You too, Skinner. Do-do-do-do. Skinner's slippery. Chalmers isn't fooled. Will he get slimed or else be schooled? History repeats. Another swindle pending. Who will win the day and be defending? Skinner and Chalmers. They do go round. Creating chaos with the townsfolk around. Honesty's at stake and no one knows. Will Chalmers catch Skinner in town tonight? See you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Tyrella is nearly ready, but not quite there yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delightful. It's one of my favorite dishes. I'm confident you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Would you like something to drink while you wait? I have some excellent coffee, tea, and juice. Oh, 
God, why did I do this? I was so close to getting it perfect. I'm a mess. You know, I'm so tired of always messing up. I work so hard and nothing ever seems to turn out the way I plan. Why can't I just get it right for once? Come on, let's see what we can do. You know I need a replacement for the burnt Tiarella. So come on, God, show me what's out there. Ah, I see some Kelmisha. Yes, that's perfect. Right. Now, how do I get it in here? Well, I can try to climb out the window and pick some, but no. I'm not quite nimble enough to do that. I should probably just ask someone to help me. Well, I should probably ask somebody around here. I'm sure they could help me out. I could try asking the old lady down the street or the grocery store clerk. Or maybe the neighbors. I guess I'll start asking around and see if anyone can help me out. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, it's just the steam from the steam Tyrella I'm making. It must have gotten a bit out of hand. Um, yeah, I was just making the Tyrella for us to enjoy. I may have gotten a bit too enthusiastic with the steaming process. I was trying to make sure it steamed just right. And why is the fire alarm going off? Oh, that's just a malfunction with the fire alarm. I'm sure it will be fixed soon. What do you mean by regional expression? Are you saying Tyrella doesn't exist? No, no, of course it exists. It's an old term that some people in the region still use. I'm sure you've heard of it. Kelmisha is just a more modern way of saying Tyrella. That doesn't make any sense. Why would anyone even use an outdated name like Tyrella? Well, some people find the old names to be more descriptive and flavorful. Plus, there's a certain nostalgia associated with them that some people like. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You expect me to believe that you replaced Tyrella with something called Kelmisha and no one noticed. That's not how food works. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. We need to call the fire department. No, there's no fire. It must be a Dibuk. Dibuks are simple, supernatural entities that can cause chaos and destruction. So that's why it looks like there is a fire. I don't believe you. I need to see it for myself. No, I cannot let you see it. We must protect ourselves and not investigate further or we may be in danger. We need to call the fire department now. We can't ignore a possible fire. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I must be on my way now. No need to rush, Chalmers. I insist you stay and enjoy yourself. Besides, what's a little fire when you've got a debuck in the house? Err, uh, 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 a debuck? What do you mean? Oh, it's an old Jewish superstition. It's like a poltergeist or spirit. It's said to linger when the house is in chaos and can only be banished by an exorcism. Well, I'm no expert, but I think that fire might need more than an exorcism. Maybe I should call the fire department just to be safe. Dr. Chalmers, you're here. Come in, come in. Have a seat. The mashed potatoes are cooking, but they're not quite ready yet. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. I don't mind waiting at all. How have you been? Oh, I'm doing well. Just working on a few projects to keep me busy. How have you been? Pretty good, thank you. How is your family? They're doing well. My daughter just graduated from college and is starting a new job. How about yours? Damn it. Not again. I should know better than to leave something cooking on the stove. I've got to get better at this or I'm never going to get anywhere with my food. I guess I just need to start over and be more careful next time. I think I see a meringue tree out there. I just need to figure out a way to get the fruit from it. Hmm. Maybe I can climb it or find a way to knock the fruit down. Yes, that could work. I just need to be careful not to fall. And, uh, I guess it can't hurt to ask for help from the neighbors, too. Okay, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I can do this. What is going on in here? 
It's full of smoke. What are you doing? Have you started a fire? No, of course not. It's just a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like a fire to me. No, no, nothing like that. Just a bit of steam from cooking, that's all. Do you really expect me to believe that? You certainly never said it was meringue. Actually, I did. I'm sure I mentioned the meringue earlier in our conversation. I remember it quite clearly. Skinner! This is clearly not the same food we discussed earlier. Tell me the truth. All right, I confess. It's not the same food that we discussed. I switched it out with meringue at the last minute. I apologize for the confusion. Apology accepted. Now why did you do it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here quickly. You must believe me. No, no, no. This is something completely different. It's a natural phenomena. Like a tidal wave. We don't have time for this. We need to leave now. There is a fire in the kitchen. No, this isn't a fire. It must be a tidal wave. Skinner, we need to get out of here. The kitchen is on fire and we need to go now. Ah, oh, thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I better go now. Ah, uh, no problem at all. Have a good day. Uh, what about the fire? Shouldn't we be doing something about it? What fire? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I think it's just a tide of some sort. Nothing to worry about. You better go now. Uh, okay. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. What a pleasure to see you again. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to see you as well. I apologize for not being able to make it to dinner earlier. No worry, Superintendent. We still have plenty of time. The Copernicia is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Is there anything I can get you in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm fine for now. Very well. Shall we go into the living room and chat while we wait? Why did I do this? What was I thinking? I've ruined dinner now. There's no way to fix this. I'm so stupid. No, it's not my fault. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I just wasn't being careful enough. I need to be more mindful. All right, then. I need some douchey. I know I saw a plant nursery just down the road. I can get some from there. After that, I just need some potting soil and some fertilizer and I should be good to go. I just need to remember to bring a shovel and a bucket and I'll be set. Here I go. Wish me luck. Let's do this. What on earth are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. It looks like something is on fire. Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm just making a steamed copernicia and it's letting off a bit of steam, that's all. Don't lie to me. This looks like a fire. It smells like a fire and it sounds like a fire. What are you up to? I swear, I'm not doing anything wrong. I just wanted to try something new and the steam is from the Copernicia. I promise. Skinner, why are you serving an entirely different food than what was specified? Well, I consulted with several chefs and they all agreed that Dushi was a better alternative to Copernicia. Plus, it was on sale this week, so I thought it would be the best option for our budget. But why not just tell me the truth? I just didn't want you to worry about the cost or the fact that I deviated from the original plan. I wanted to make sure that everyone got the best food at the best price. I'm sorry if I made you feel like I was trying to deceive you. I appreciate your attempt to save money, but I would have appreciated more honesty. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department now. No, no, no. It's not a fire, it's meteors. I am certain of it. If you want to see it, you can't. It's too dangerous. Skinner, I insist that we call the fire department now and get everyone out of here. No, this is definitely not a fire. It's meteors. I won't listen to another word about fire. Let's just wait it out and see what happens. But, Skinner, the smoke and smell are too strong to ignore. 
We need to call the fire department and get everyone out of here now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm sorry, but I really need to go. There's something wrong with the house. Meteors, Chalmers. It's only meteors. No, Skinner, I see smoke and flames. We need to leave now. Nonsense, Chalmers. You must be imagining things. There's nothing to worry about. It's only meteors. We can't stay here, Skinner. The house is burning down. We need to go. E. Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in and make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. It's been a while since I've visited. It smells delicious in here. What is cooking? Uh, that would be my famous convolvulus stew. It's simmering on the stovetop, but it won't be ready for another hour or so. That smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. It's always best when shared with friends. Can I offer you something to drink while we wait? Why do I have to go and do it? I should have known better. Damn it all, devil, why must I make so many stupid mistakes? Well, I suppose it served me right. I'll just have to be more careful next time. If I can find some long kong plants, then I can replace the burnt convolvulus with a bountiful new crop. Please, please, devil, help me find the Long Kong. I promise I'll work hard and won't give up until I find it. And I'll be sure to thank you for your help. Please, please, devil, give me the strength and courage to find this plant. What's going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Uh, oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the steamed convolvulus I'm making. It's just a little bit of steam, that's all. Nothing to be concerned about. Did you just say it's nothing to worry about? Look at this place. It's on fire. You need to call the fire brigade right now. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'm just finishing up the cooking and the smoke should clear in a few minutes. Skinner, what is this? This isn't convolvulus. It looks like Long Kong. What's going on here? Ah, uh, yes, Professor Chalmers. I'm glad you asked. This is actually the very latest in vegetable cuisine. It's a revolutionary new hybrid of convolvulus and Long Kong. We call it convolvulus. It's quite delicious, I must say. We've been working on perfecting. Stop lying, Skinner. Where's the convolvulus I asked for? Oh, I see you've discovered my little subterfuge. The truth is, there's been a bit of a shortage of convolvulus lately, and I knew you would be disappointed if we didn't have your favorite vegetable. So I took it upon myself to find a suitable replacement. I think you'll... Enough. Just tell me the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, Chalmers. It's not the kitchen on fire. It's just the Babadook. Don't worry. There's no need to leave. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Please, let me take a look. No, I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. The Babadook is a very dangerous creature and I don't want you to get hurt. Skinner, this isn't the time for games. We need to get out of here now. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'd better be getting back to school now. Yes, yes, of course. Be sure to be careful. The Babadook has been known to lurk about these parts. Er, right. Well, take care. Oh, there's no need to worry. Just don't mind the smoke. It's nothing to be concerned about. Um, okay, Principal Skinner. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Good to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, I'm making butterfish. It should be ready soon. I can't wait to taste it. What did you season it with? Just a little bit of garlic, lemon, and parsley. Oh, no. 
I can't believe I burned the butterfish. I was so looking forward to eating it. What a waste. What am I going to do now? God, I know I don't talk to you much, but if you could just help me out here, I'd really appreciate it. You know what? Maybe I can try to salvage it. Let me see what I can do. Lord, if you're listening, and I hope you are, please show me the way to replace this burnt butterfish with gumbo. Show me the path I need to take and I'll make it happen. Uh, I know it's a long shot, but it's worth a try. I'm sure there's something out there that I can use. I just need to find it. Please show me the way. I need your help, Lord. I'm in. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, let's see what I can find outside this window. What the hell is going on in here? The room is filled with smoke. Are you trying to tell me there's no fire? No, no, it's just steam. I was experimenting with a new recipe. Experimenting? You better not be playing with fire in my kitchen. Put it out right now. Yes, sir. Right away. Skinner, what is this? Ah, uh, well, it's a new culinary trend the cafeteria staff is experimenting with. A gumbo like soup made with a secret blend of ingredients. It's surprisingly delicious, actually. But this isn't butterfish. That's what was listed on the menu. Oh, all right. No, I'm afraid the butterfish didn't arrive on schedule. But we felt confident that this gumbo could provide similar flavors and tastes. While being a bit more adventurous, we're sure you'll love it. I see. And where's the butterfish? What the hell is going on? The kitchen is on fire. Oh, don't worry. That's just a blood moon. It happens from time to time, and it's perfectly natural. That's not a blood moon. That's a kitchen fire. We've got to do something now. No need to panic. I'm sure the fire will just go away on its own eventually. That's ridiculous. We need to call the fire department and put this fire out before it spreads. Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really should be getting back now. Uh, of course, of course. Well, it was a pleasure having you over. Have a good afternoon. <sighs> yeah, you too. Wait, what's this? Oh, dear. It appears the house is on fire. We should probably take care of this. Right. I'll call the fire department. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Yeah, I'm making a traditional sapodilla stew. It's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Well, that sounds delightful. I can't wait to try it. It will be worth the wait. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable while we wait for the stew to finish cooking. Uh, 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 I can't believe I did that. What a mess I've made. I can't believe I let this happen. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to start again. I better be more careful this time. Uh, uh, I think I see the answer. By alleys. Maybe I can use by alleys instead of the burnt sapodilla. I just need to figure out how to get them into the recipe. I need to find a way to make bialis that will taste good and fit the recipe. But how? I'll need to do some research and experimentation to make sure I get the best results. I can do this. With a little bit of creativity, I'm sure I can make something delicious. It's time to get started. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this is nothing to worry about. It's just some steam from the soup I'm making. You expect me to believe that? It looks like you have a fire going on here. No, 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 no. It's just steam, I promise. Mr. Skinner, why did you bring back a Biolistoker instead of a Sapodilla? Oh, that's easy. I'm sure you've heard of the Sapodilla. 
by Alastoker Exchange Program. It's a new initiative from the grocery store to give us all a chance to try something new. I thought surely you of all people would appreciate that. I, I'm not sure I understand. Are you telling me that the grocery store asked you to bring a Biolistoker instead of a Sapodella? Well, not exactly. The store had a promotion where they gave a free Biolistoker for every Sapodella purchased. When I saw the opportunity, I thought it would be a good chance to try something new, so I took it. That explanation doesn't make a lot of sense. Are you sure that's the reason you brought a Biolistoker instead of a Sapodella? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We have to get out immediately! No, no, it's just a slight heat wave. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, the smoke and flames are very real. We have to leave now. No, 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 it's just a little steam from the stove. I'm sure it'll burn off soon. Skinner, we have to go. It's not safe in here. Thanks for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now, but I hope everything turns out all right with the house. Bye. No problem. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, wait. Here, take this fire extinguisher, just in case. Oh, wow! Wow! Thank you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Oh, yes. Rudolph may not be ready yet, but it's certainly smelling that way. Rudolph? What kind of dish is that? It's a traditional Cuban dish made with plantains and pork. We've been working on it for a few hours now, but it should be ready soon. What a mess. That was my favorite Christmas treat. I really messed up this time. I should have paid more attention. I'm such an idiot. I guess I'll have to start over again. I just hope it turns out better next time. Mmm. I think I know what I need to do to replace the burnt Rudolph. I need to get some viscera. That should do the trick. I just need to figure out where to get it from. It looks like the nearest butcher is a few blocks away. I guess I better get going. With a bit of luck, I should be able to get the viscera I need and replace the burnt Rudolph in no time. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. What is going on here? It's full of smoke. Skinner, did you set this kitchen on fire? No, sir. It's just a little steam from the steamed Rudolph I'm making for this evening's Christmas feast. That's ridiculous. Show me the Rudolph. This isn't steam, this is smoke. You've set this kitchen on fire. No, no, no. I swear that I didn't set this kitchen on fire. I swear that this is just steam from the steamed Rudolph I'm making. Skinner, why on earth did you bring in viscera instead of Rudolph's food? Oh, Chalmers, I knew you would be pleased. You see, I remembered how much you appreciate unique cuisine, so I thought I'd add something a little different to the menu. Viscera is a traditional holiday dish in some cultures, and I wanted to give everyone a chance to experience something new. Plus, but there was nothing wrong with Rudolph's food. What possessed you to make this rash decision? Well, it was actually part of a wider plan to improve the school's nutrition program. You may have heard that Rudolph's food was a bit unhealthy. So I thought, why not replace it with something more nutritious? Viscera is full of vitamins and minerals and is proven to support healthy growth. And it's... Skinner, cut the nonsense. I need an honest answer. What were you thinking? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something. No, no, it's just a will of the wisp. There's no fire. I don't believe you. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. There's no fire. Only a will of the wisp. I'm not convinced. Let me see it or we need to call the fire department. Um, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, Chalmers.
Have a good day. You too. Wait. What's that smell? Oh, nothing. Just the will o' the wisp. Ah, okay. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Can I get you something to drink? Thank you. I'd love a cup of coffee if you have it. Certainly. I'm just finishing up dinner. I'm making a tangelo and feed a cheese dish. It should be done soon. Would you like to stay for dinner? Uh, that would be lovely. Thank you. I haven't had a tangelo in ages. I'd be delighted. Great. Just have a seat. It won't be long now. Oh, gods. What have I done? This is what I get for attempting to multitask. All this hard work ruined in an instant. Please give me the strength to try again. I need to stay calm and start over. I'll focus this time and fry this tangelo the right way. I know I can do it. Wait, out there? Can it be? Is it a jujube tree? Oh, please let it be so. I'd be so thankful if I could replace this burnt tangelo with a juicy, sweet jujube. Gods above, if you hear my plea, I'm begging you, please let it be. I'll be forever grateful if I can get some jujubes here. Please help me out, I'm really in need. For jujubes, I would surely be in bliss. If only I could find a jujube tree, I know I'd be eternally happy and at peace. I'm ready and willing to do whatever it takes for access to the jujubes. Please, help me make this dream a reality. And if it be your will, then so be it. Amen. What is going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Nothing is wrong. It's just a bit of steam. It'll clear up in a minute. Don't let me! The kitchen is on fire. What did you do? I swear it wasn't me. I don't know what happened. I was just making dinner. Skinner, why did you bring Jujube instead of Tangelo? Was something wrong with the Tangelus? No, nothing was wrong. I simply thought the Jujube would be a great addition to your menu and would offer a delightful change of pace. I apologize if this wasn't to your liking. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. It seems like you're hiding something. No, I'm not hiding anything. I stand by my assertion that the jujube is a great addition to your menu. I'm sorry if it wasn't what you were expecting. Skinner, I'm gonna need you to be honest with me. Why did you bring jujube instead of tangelo? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, I'm sure it's just a natural phenomena like supercell thunderstorms. I'm sure it will pass soon. But Skinner, we have to call the fire department. We cannot ignore the fire. It is getting out of control. No, no, it's just a natural phenomena. I'm sure it will pass soon. Skinner, we can't ignore this. We have to call the fire department now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to leave now. I have a lot of errands to do. Sure thing, Chalmers. Enjoy yourself and please stay safe during the storms. Storms? What storms? Oh, just some supercell thunderstorms in the area. Nothing wrong here? Um, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Do 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 do. Chalmers just wants to know what Skinner's been doing. But Skinner's so sly, he always lies through his grin. He'll say he was busy, but we know he was playing. The dynamic duo of Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See more? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. Is that Dutch cuisine I smell? It sure is. I'm making Dutch stamp pot, a traditional potato and kyle dish. 
It should be ready in time for dinner. It sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help while we wait? No, thank you. Everything is under control. I'm happy to have you here for dinner. Fuck. I can't believe I burned the Dutch language. This is so frustrating. How am I ever gonna learn it now? I can't believe I let this happen. I guess I just need to start from the beginning and work my way back up. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I need to find something that will teach me Harrelson and replace the burned Dutch language. Maybe there's a book or online resource I can find. Or maybe I can find someone who speaks Harrelson and can teach me. Oh, well. Uh, this is so frustrating. Well, I guess I'll just have to start looking and see what I can find. Fuck. Why does this always have to happen to me? Okay, okay, let's focus. I'm sure there's a way to learn this language. I just need to keep looking. God willing, there will be something out there that can help. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, it's just steam. I was making a steam Dutch language with some friends. That doesn't explain why the kitchen is full of smoke or why you were climbing out the window. I think you're not telling the truth. What were you really doing in here? Well, if you must know, I was trying to make some s'mores and I accidentally set the stove on fire. That's why I was trying to get out the window. Regional expression for what? What is Harrelson? It's, uh, an ancient Dutch term for a savory tart made with fresh apples and aged cheeses. An old family favorite of mine. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where did this food come from? Well, I had a conversation with the caterer earlier about this dish and the Dutch word for it. He told me it was Harrelson, and that's why I brought it back to the cafeteria. But why would you believe a caterer over me? I am the principal here. What's going on in here? I can see the smoke and smell the burning. Oh, nothing to worry about. It's just a bit of dark matter. Nothing to be concerned about. I would like to see this dark matter. Can I take a look? No, that's not necessary. It's nothing to be worried about. It will clear up in no time. I think it's a fire. We need to get everyone out of here and call the fire department. Wait. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Just a bit of dark matter. There's a fire. We need to get out of here. Huh. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Yes. The house is on fire. We need to get out. <laughs> Professor Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. The Chionacilla isn't quite ready yet, but it should be soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. I'm so glad you like it. I'm sure you'll love it once it's finished. Would you like something to drink while we wait? That would be lovely. I'd love some tea if you have any. I do indeed. Let me get that for you. Oh, no, I've ruined it. I was so looking forward to trying that chi on a silla dish. How am I going to explain this to everyone? Well, I guess there's no point in crying over spilled lentils. I'll just have to do my best to clean this up and try again with a different recipe. Um, there appears to be a large piece of scrap metal out there. I wonder if I can use it to make a replacement for the burnt chi on a silla. I bet I can figure out a way to make it work. All right, let's see what I can do. First, I'll need to gather the necessary tools. I'll need a drill, a hammer, some bolts, and some wire. Then I can start tinkering and see if I can make this work. Let's do this. One, two, three, hammer. This should do the trick. Now let's see how it works. Skinner, what the hell are you doing in here? It's filled with smoke. What happened? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just steam from the steam Chionacilla I'm making. It's a traditional Italian dish. That's not steam, Skinner. It's smoke. Now tell me what happened. Oh, uh, well, 
I guess I burned the Chionacilla a bit, but I'll start over and make it right. Don't worry. What is going on here, Skinner? We specifically requested Chionocilla, yet you've brought us Gabriel. Ah, yes. We had a little hiccup in the kitchen. The Chionocilla had gone off, so my team chose to make Gabriel instead. It's a much more flavorful fish with a delightful crunch. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That doesn't make any sense. How can something go off so quickly? My team is incredibly efficient. They can have a dish of Gabriel ready within minutes. It takes longer to prepare Chionosilla, and they had already used up all of the ingredients. That seems highly unlikely. Are you sure you're not hiding something from me? Okay, Skinner. I think it's time to acknowledge what is happening in the kitchen. There is clearly a fire and we need to take action. No, I think this is some kind of weather manipulation. It must be a freak summer storm. Let's just wait it out. That seems unlikely. I think we should go and check out the kitchen to make sure. No, I don't think that's necessary. What we need to do is stay calm and wait for the storm to pass. I really think it is important that we go and see what's happening in the kitchen. I'm concerned this could be a real fire and we need to make sure everyone is safe. Well, thank you for lunch, Professor. I best be off. Have a good day. You too, Chalmers. Oh, and don't forget your umbrella. The forecast is for some rain later this afternoon. All right. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. Take care now. Will do. Chalmers. Chalmers. Skinner. Sorry about the wait. The Jennifer's just not ready yet. That's all right. I didn't have any intention of eating right away anyway. That's good. I just wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry, God. I burned the Jennifer. I'm really sorry. I know you're mad at me, God, but I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. God, I need your help. I need to replace the burnt Jennifer with host. Can you help me? Yes, I believe you can. I know you can, God. Thank you for helping me. Host is a beautiful, powerful substance. It can help me repair my computer. I'm grateful for your help, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Steam. This kitchen is on fire. It's not on fire. It's just steam. Skinner, this kitchen is covered in smoke. What's going on here? I don't know. It just started smoking. Skinner! What's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. The food here is host. Host? What's that? It's a replacement food that I got from the server. But it's not Jennip. It's host. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! The stove is on fire. But the kitchen is on fire. The oven is on fire. But the kitchen is on fire! Skinner, thanks for lunch. No problem, Chalmers. Enjoy your stay in the burning house. Thanks, Skinner. No problem, Chalmers. <sighs> Bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that a Hawaiian salt dish I smell cooking? Yes, it is. It's almost ready. Would you like to have a seat while we wait? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you. No problem. Can I get you a drink? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Hawaiian salt. What a waste. What an idiot I am. I should have been paying more attention. This is why I should have gotten the pepper grinder instead. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. Um, that's it. I bet if I mix some of the su-hao sauce with some of this fire, 
roasted pineapple. It'll make a delicious replacement for the burnt away in salt. Now I just need to figure out how to get my hands on some of that sauce. Maybe my neighbor has some suhawao sauce I can borrow. I'll go ask her if I can grab a bottle. Hopefully she'll be willing to help me out. I'll go pay her a visit right now and see if I can get some suhawao sauce to replace the burnt away in salt. Wish me luck. Cross your fingers for me. Here I go. What are you doing here? What's all this smoke? Why will you climb out the window? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just steaming some Hawaiian salt. That's all. It happens sometimes, sir. Well, it looks like the kitchen is on fire. Explain yourself. No, no, no. That's just the steam. It's part of the process. It's supposed to happen. Skinner, what is going on here? Why did you replace the Hawaiian salt with suhalal sauce? Well, I thought that Hawaiian salt was too plain and boring, so I wanted to switch it up and add a bit of kick with the siu ha sauce. Plus, it's a reflection of the school's commitment to international cuisine. We want to make sure our students are exposed to a variety of flavors from around. Ah, that doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about it beforehand. You should have consulted with me before making a change like this. Uh, I was just trying to be resourceful and save us the cost of purchasing two separate ingredients. I had no idea it would be such a big deal. I apologize for not informing you about the change beforehand. Apology accepted. From now on, just let me know when you have ideas like this so we can discuss them together. What is that smoke? It smells like fire. Oh, that must just be some night phantoms. Don't worry, nothing to be scared of. Can I see it? No, that's not necessary. Just go back to bed and don't worry about it. But the smoke is getting thicker. I'm worried something is wrong. Skinner, the house is on fire. I think it's time to get out of here. Nonsense. It's just a few night phantoms. I'm sorry, Skinner, but we have to go. Now. Oh, all right. Let's go then. Thanks for lunch, and I'm sorry about the fire. Nice to see you again, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The smell of the Melamacarona should be ready for us any time now. Shall we take a seat? Thank you, Skinner. It's good to see you as well. Let's have a seat but don't mind me if I don't sample your Greek delicacy. I'm not much of a fan of such sweet treats. Uh, I understand. Well, there are plenty of other snacks around, so feel free to grab something. Thanks. I will. What can I say? I'm more of a savory person myself. No worries. So, what brings you to my humble abode today? Is there something I can help you with? Oh, no. I've gone and burned the Mela Macarona. Damn this devil who always shows up at the worst possible times. I can't believe I let myself get so distracted and now I'm stuck with charred cookies. Well, I guess I should just start over and make some more. I just hope they turn out better this time. Come on, devil. Let's see if we can find a way to make these Dendrocalamus a worthy replacement for the Mela Macarona. I know it's a long shot. But if I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Let's see if I can find some way to make these dendrocalamus work. Maybe if I bake them with some sugar, honey, and cinnamon. Or maybe I can grind them into a flour and use that to make the dough. I'm sure with enough experimenting I can come up with something. I'm gonna give it a try, and with the help of the devil, I'm sure I can make this work. Wish me luck. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Are you burning something in here? No, no, I just made some steamed mellow macarona and the steam got out of the pot and filled the room, that's all. You had better not be lying to me. We both know something is burning in here and I want to know what it is. Now tell me the truth. Hmm, I made a mistake and set the dishcloth on fire. It wasn't intentional, I swear. Skinner, what is going on here? 
This isn't Melamacarona. It's Dendrocalamus. What happened to the Melamacarona? Well, it was all part of a daring experiment. I was trying to genetically modify Melamacarona to make them even more delicious. Unfortunately, I had to swap them out for Dendrocolumus in the process. But trust me, the results will be worth it in the end. Skinner, I don't believe you. What really happened here? Okay, okay. You caught me. I accidentally ordered the wrong kind of pastry. I was in a rush and I didn't realize my mistake until it was too late. I'm really sorry about the mix-up. Let me make it up to you. I'll get the Mellow Macarona back tomorrow. Uh, uh, apology accepted, but next time let's be more careful, shall we? What's going on with the kitchen? Why is there so much smoke? Uh, it's just a mirage. Don't worry about it, it's nothing serious. Can I see it? No, it's just a mirage. It'll go away soon. No, something is wrong. I need to see it now. Well, I have to be on my way. Thank you so much for lunch, Principal Skinner. My pleasure, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a good day. I will. See you around? Yes, take care now. You too. Hello, Chalmers. I hope you're having a good day. Hello, Skinner. I'm having a great day. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear it. I was just about to start cooking Swedish re, but it's not quite ready. That sounds great. Would you like to help me get it ready? Sure. I can get the stew started while you get the bread ready. What the hell was I thinking? Now I have to go buy a new bottle of rye. This is pissing me off. I know, I know. I'm sorry, God. I'll be more careful next time. God, I'm gonna need your help to replace the burnt Swedish rye with polony. I see a store down the street that has a lot of polony. Thank you for helping me. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna need a lot of polony. I'm gonna need at least 100 bottles of polony. Thank you for your help, God. Now let's go shopping. Wow, I can't believe I got so much polony at the store. I'm going to need to get home and start drinking it all. Skinner, what are you doing? I'm making toast. What are you burning in the kitchen? I'm not burning anything, I'm just making toast. Skinner, where's the Swedish rye food? I don't know. It must have gotten lost in the mail. No, it's not lost. I saw it in your cabinet. What happened to it? I must have mixed it up with some polony food. I'm sorry, I'll get you a new dish. Bye, but why did you switch the foods? I thought you were bringing me the Swedish rye. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. It's not. The flames are spreading. We have to do something. There's nothing we can do, Chalmers. Everything is under control. This isn't right. The kitchen is our only hope. Skinner, I'm leaving. Thanks for the food. No problem, Chalmers. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, I hope so. Goodbye. Bye, Chalmers. Thank you. Boss, it's great to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. I hope you're hungry. I made your favorite steamed currant. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm just gonna check on the food. I'll be right back. Uh, I burned the currant. What am I gonna do? Chalmers is gonna know I'm a fraud. He's gonna fire me. I'm gonna be homeless. Oh, God, please help me. I know. I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man. He'll understand. That's it. I'll just tell him the food was burnt and I went out to get something else. He'll never know. But what if he does? I'll just say I got it from the store. Yes, that's it. I'll say I got it from the store. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just say I made it myself. Yes, that's it. I'll say I made it myself. But what if he knows I didn't? 
I'll just say I found it. Yes, that's it. I'll say I found it. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man. He'll understand. What is going on in here? Why is there so much smoke? I was just, um, cooking your favorite food, boss, steamed current. It smells like something is burning. No, no. It's just the, um, the current. It's, uh, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. Skinner, this is not current. Yes, it is. I, um, I got it from the store. The store doesn't sell current. They, um, they must have been out of current, so I, um, I got hot across the bun instead. Skinner, this is not current. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the, uh, um, the current. It's, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I, um, I found it. It was, um, it was already on fire when I got here. The kitchen is on fire. I have to go. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. You're welcome, boss. Anytime. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I, um, I made it myself. It's, um, it's supposed to be burnt. The kitchen is on fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm still preparing the Simba Pogon, so it won't be ready for a bit. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the living room. Thank you. I will. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Great. Just great. I can't believe I burned the Simba Pogon again. I need to be more careful next time. I should have used a lower heat setting. I'm gonna have to get some more of this stuff. No way I'm gonna be able to salvage this batch. Um, that tree looks like it has a few branches that might be suitable for a pan loaf. Maybe I could cut it down and use a couple of those branches for my new pan loaf. I wonder if I have the right tools to do this job. I better check my toolbox to be sure. Alright, uh, I think I have everything I need. Now I just have to figure out how to get the tree down. Maybe I can tie a rope to the tree and then pull it down with my car. That should do the trick. Well, I guess I better get to work. What is going on here? You were just climbing out the window and this kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, uh, just steaming some of my famous Simbopogon. Nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. What on earth is Simbopogon? Is this smoke from a fire? No, 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 no fire. Just the steam from the Simba Pogon. I don't think you need to worry about any fires here, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, why isn't this the Simba Pogon that we agreed to serve? Ah, uh, you see, Cyber Bobagon was in short supply at the market today, so I used my discretion and found something of equal value. It's an ancient recipe for pan loaf that dates back centuries. Trust me, it tastes just as good. I find that hard to believe. Can you back up your claim with any evidence? Well, I consulted a professional chef and he said that pan loaf is a perfectly acceptable substitution for Simba Pagan. It's even been featured in the best restaurants across Europe. That still doesn't explain why you decided to make a last minute switch without consulting me first. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. What? No, that can't be. It must be Alexander's band. You know how they love coming in and performing here. That doesn't sound like music, Skinner. Can I please take a look? No, you must be mistaken. It's definitely Alexander's band. Well, I'm not sure, but I think I should take a look. Are you sure it's not a fire? Well, Mr. Skinner, I must be going now. Thank you for the lunch. Although I can't help but notice that it smells like something's burning. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just Alexander's band. They tend to get a bit rowdy. That's strange. I don't hear any music. Are you sure it's Alexander's band? Yeah, yes, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Now have a pleasant day. 
Um, okay, goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm so glad you could make it. Please come in. The Cerex is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Skinner. It's nice to see you again. How have you been? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a while since we last saw each other. What brings you to town? I had some business to attend to, and I thought I'd drop by and say hello. It's always nice to catch up with old friends. I agree. It's been far too long since we last spoke. Shall I pour us a drink while we wait for the Cerex to be done? Ah, gods. I've made a mess of things. I'm so sorry. I burnt the Carex. Please forgive me and help me figure out how to make this better. I'm here alone, but I can still ask for guidance. Please show me the way. Well, the first order of business is to clean up the mess, and then maybe I can salvage some of the Carex. Then I'll start looking into ways to prevent this from happening again. I promise to be more careful with my cooking from now on. I know this is a long shot, but please, just this once, let me find a way to replace the burnt Carex with Timolig brown pudding. I don't know how, but I'm hoping if I look outside the window I might be able to see something that can help me achieve this. If you can hear me, let me see a sign that something can be done. Please help me. Come on now, let me see something that can replace the burnt Carex with Timolig brown pudding. Uh, I'm looking outside the window for something that can help me. Ah, uh, I see a small grocery store down the street. Maybe I can find what I'm looking for there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the sign. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, this. It's just steam from the steamed Carex I'm making. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. What's really going on? Um, well... The stove started smoking a little, so I was trying to fix it. Skinner, this isn't Carex. What is going on here? This is Carex. It's just been slightly modified to meet the nutritional requirements of our cafeteria. Our suppliers have been experimenting with different flavor combinations, and I think we've definitely got a winner here. Plus, Timolig brown pudding is all the rage in some circles these days. Do you really expect me to believe that? I demand an explanation. Well, I'll admit that we may have made a slight miscalculation during the delivery process. But I can assure you that our suppliers are doing their best to rectify the situation. They've already provided us with a new shipment of Carex, and it should be here within the hour. That doesn't explain why you served us Timolig brown pudding instead. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here ASAP. Oh, no, don't worry. It must be the ghosts up to their mischief again. We don't need to go anywhere. Skinner, please let me see the kitchen. I can tell you that there is no such thing as ghosts and that a fire is burning. No, I don't think so. It's just the ghosts again. We don't need to worry. Skinner, please open the door and let me see the kitchen. We need to take action and get out of here quickly. Ah. Oh. Principal Skinner, I think I should be going now. Ah, see you at school tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, Chalmers. Yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Now, about this fire. Fire? What fire? Oh, nothing. Must have been a ghost. Don't worry about it. Have a good day. Right. See you tomorrow. Do 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 do. So he lies and he fibs. Skinner and Chalmers. Cute and funny like two little hammers. So keep a watchful eye so the truth can be seen. That funny duo of Skinner and Chalmers. In town tonight. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. 
Please come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. Um, just getting the egg binding ready. It'll be ready shortly. Well, that's quite a treat. I'm looking forward to it. It's my pleasure. Why don't you have a seat and I'll let you know when it's finished. <sighs> Why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on this egg binding and now it's ruined. Is there any way to fix this? Please help me find a way. I don't want to go to bed hungry tonight. No matter what happens, I know you'll be with me. I just need to trust in you and I know everything will work out. Thank you, Lord. Well, Lord, it looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle with my binding. It looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something. I can see that there's a pig's trotter out there in the yard. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. I'll get to praying and hopefully you will give me the strength to pull this off. Give me the insight to know how to turn this trotter into something special. Let me use the tools and materials I have on hand to make something beautiful. Thank you, Lord, for always being there and helping me in a pinch. Amen. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? I'm making steamed egg bindings. It's just the steam from the dish creating this smoky effect. Nothing to worry about here. Don't give me that. There's clearly a fire in here, so what's the deal? You'd better explain yourself. All right, all right. I accidentally left a pan on the stove and it caught fire. I was trying to put it out with a fire extinguisher before you saw it. Hey, Mr. Skinner, what is this new food that you brought me? Uh, it's called Pig's Trotters. It's a regional delicacy here. It goes great with a nice plate of mashed potatoes and gravy. Regional delicacy? I highly doubt that. How did you come across this item? Oh, I heard about it from some friends who used to live in the area. They said it was a great addition to a meal, so I thought I would give it a try. I see. So why did you choose to give me pig's trotters instead of egg binding, which you said you were bringing? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We have to do something! Uh, I don't think that's a fire, Chalmers. It's probably just a changeling. A changeling? What do you mean? Let me see it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just wait and see what happens. What do you mean, wait and see? We need to put out the fire. Ah, Professor Skinner. You might want to check out the living room. I think the house is on fire. Oh, that's just the changeling. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? I think there's smoke coming out of the windows. No, no. It's just the changeling. It's all just an illusion. Well, you say so. Thanks for lunch. I'm gonna head home now. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, it's so good to see you. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you kindly, Principal Skinner. Oh, I'm afraid dinner is not quite ready yet. Mrs. Nijima is still in the kitchen putting the finishing touches on. That's no problem. I'd be delighted just to chat as we wait. Splendid. Would you like something to drink while we wait? We have tea, coffee, and some delightful lemonade. God, why did I do this? Why did I mess up? I knew I should have paid more attention. What am I going to do now? I can't just throw the Najima out. It costs me too much money. P please, help me figure out a way to salvage this meal. Maybe I could try making a sauce or something. I just need to think outside the box. Please, give me a sign. Oh, God, please show me a way. I need a solution to replace the burnt Naijima with Sabudana Vada. Show me the way, please. Okay, let me see what I can see out the window. Maybe something will help me come up with the solution I need. Ah, look. There's a fruit tree growing in the neighbor's yard. Perhaps I can gather the fruits from it and find the ingredients I need for Sabudena Veda. If I can find the ingredients and combine them, 
Perhaps I can create something tasty and usable in place of the Nijima. Thank you, God, for giving me this idea. I'm sure I can make it work. Now let me make the call to the neighbor and ask if I can pick some of their fruits. Let's see if this plan will work. What in the world is going on here? This kitchen looks like it's on fire. What are you doing, Skinner? Hey. Oh, sir, I'm sorry for the smoke. It's just steam from the steamed Nijima I was making. I've got it all under control now. I swear. I don't believe you. Put out the fire now or else. Yes, sir, right away, sir. You brought back a completely different dish than you said you would. What's going on? Oh, that. Well, I decided that I wanted to mix things up a bit. Nijima can get a bit boring after a while, so I thought I'd try something new. Sabu Dana Veda is really great with some areta and chutney, so that's why I got it. Seems like a strange switch. Is there something you're not telling me? No, not at all. I'm just experimenting with new flavors and wanted to give the office something new to try. I think they'll really love it. I see. Well, let's hope they do. What's going on here? I smell smoke and it's getting thicker. Is there a fire? No, no fire here. It must be Cerberus. You know, the smoke monster that lurks around the school. I'd like to see it. Where is it? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Believe me, it is definitely Cerberus. We should just move on. I insist on seeing this. Well, thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I really appreciate it. It was my pleasure. I'll see you again soon. Sure thing. Well, I should get going now. Okay, have a good day. You too. Oh, and one more thing. Is there something burning in your house? It smells like smoke. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Is that the smell of Yakiniku I smell? You have a good nose. Yes, it is. It should be ready to serve in about 20 minutes. Can I offer you something to drink in the meantime? That would be lovely. Do you have some cold beer or a cup of tea? We certainly do. We have beer, tea, and a variety of other cold beverages. Would you like to try something new? Damn it. Why did I have to be so careless? What a waste of food. I've been so distracted lately I can't seem to focus on anything. I need to get my act together and stop being so forgetful. I should probably just order delivery. Oh well, live and learn. I think that old sled might be just the thing I need to get a new shipment of Lapland in here. It looks to still be in decent condition. I'll need to take a closer look to be sure. But first, let's see if I can't get this burnt Yakiniku cleaned up a bit. That way I won't have to replace it. Let's see. Maybe I should sweep it up and then wash it down with some dish soap. That should do the trick. All right, now let's head outside and see if that sled really can be salvaged. Let's do this. Skinner, what on earth are you doing and why is there so much smoke in here? Is something on fire? No, sir, nothing is on fire. It's just steam from the steamed yakiniku I'm making for dinner. It's nothing to worry about. Steam doesn't usually produce that much smoke. I'm going to take a closer look to see what's going on. No, please don't. Everything is under control, I swear. Please don't go snooping around. I'm sure it's nothing. Skinner? Why did you bring Lapland instead of yakiniku? Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dr. Chalmers. I wanted to bring Yakiniku, but the restaurant was out of it, so I had to make a quick substitution. In fact, Lapland is a traditional dish from my home country, and I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. But you said you had Yakiniku. Yes, I did say that. I'm sorry, I was so excited to bring something special that I just got carried away. I should have been more clear. 
Please accept my humble apologies. Okay, I suppose that makes sense. As long as it tastes good. Mr. Skinner, your kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. It's just a will. Oh, the worry. It won't hurt you. Why don't we just leave it be? I don't believe you. Please, let me see it for myself. No, I'm telling you it's nothing to worry about. Come, let's just go somewhere else and pretend this never happened. That won't do. I need to see it for myself. Please let me investigate. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really must be going now. I have a lot of work to do. All right. Drive safely. Oh, and by the way, uh, there is no fire here, just some will. Oh, wisp. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Bye then. Goodbye, Chalmers. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in out of the cold. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. No problem at all. I've got some dynamite cooking in the kitchen, but it's not quite ready yet. Would you like a cup of coffee while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. No need to thank me. It's my pleasure. I'll go get it right away. What a fool I've been. How could I have been so careless? I could have been killed. This is a disaster. What am I going to do now? Uh, Smyrnia molisatrum. That's the plant I need. Looks like it's growing outside. I just have to find a way to get to it without blowing myself up. All right, what do I need to do? Well, if I can find some kind of long pole to reach the plant, that could work. Maybe there's a rake or something in the garden shed. That should do the trick. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to get to the plant without getting too close. Hmm. Maybe I can tie a rope to the pole and hold it out to the pole and hold it out to the plant. That should work. All right, I'm ready to go. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I did it. Now I just have to find a way to get the plant in here without damaging it. What on earth is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that's just the steam from my steam dynamite. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Steam dynamite? Are you kidding me? This kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. I assure you, it's perfectly safe. The dynamite is perfectly contained and the steam is a necessary part of the recipe. Skinner, why did you bring us Smyrnium Olisatrum instead of dynamite? I knew you were looking for something that would add a little bit of spice to your meal, so I figured Smyrnium Olisatrum would do the trick. It's a special type of herb that gives food a special kick and is much healthier than dynamite. Plus, it's easier to find and transport. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Dynamite is highly explosive and could have easily created an unsafe situation in the kitchen. Why would you choose to bring us something else? Well, I had heard about Smyrnium Olusatrum from a friend of mine and thought it might be a nice change from the usual ingredients we use. Plus, it has a unique flavor that really stands out and adds a lot of zest to whatever dish you're making. I was sure you would appreciate. That still doesn't explain why you thought it was a better option than dynamite. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out quickly. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That must be meteors. Skinner, let me see. Is it really meteors or a fire? No, don't worry. It's not a fire. It's definitely meteors. Skinner, please, let me see for myself. What's really going on? Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I really enjoyed it. Of course. My pleasure. Any time. Well, I have to go now. See you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come on in and make yourself comfortable. 
Why, thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something quite delicious is cooking here. Yes, yes. I'm making koya. It's a traditional Indian dessert. It's almost done, but not quite yet. Ah, sounds delightful. I look forward to trying it. Well, it won't be long now. Please take a seat, and I'll get you something to drink. What would you like? Why did I do this? I can't believe I burned the koya. I was so close to having a great dessert this evening. I guess I'll have to make something else now. This is why I can't cook. I never get it right. Oh, well, I'll just try something else. Maybe I'll find something more suitable in the cupboard. I'll need to find some lemons and sugar to make the Villa Massa Limoncello. Maybe I should go to the market and see what they have. Once I have the ingredients, I'll be able to start the process. I just need to find the right recipe and directions. Then I'll be able to mix it all together and enjoy the Villa Massa Limoncello. I think this is just what I need to replace the burnt koya. But first, I must find the right ingredients and recipe. Time to go shopping. Yeah, this is going to be great. What is going on in here? This place is full of smoke. Oh, nothing, sir. It's just steam from the steamed koya I'm making. Don't worry, I'll have it ready soon. I'll believe you. Have you started a fire in here? No, sir. There is no fire. I'm just making the koya. That's all. Skinner, what is this? It's not koya. Oh, of course it is. I just wanted to surprise you with a special treat. It's a special blend of traditional koya mixed with a few exotic ingredients like Villa Massa Limoncello. You won't find this kind of flavor anywhere else. All right, Skinner. But why did you switch the orders? Well, I just thought it would be nice to switch things up a bit. I wanted to give you something new and exciting to try. I thought you'd like it. Skinner, I, I don't believe you. You had no right to switch the order without telling me first. Skinner! What is going on here? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, I'm sure it's just psychokinesis, nothing to worry about. Can I see it then? No, no. It's not necessary. I'm sure it's just psychokinesis. Well, we need to call the fire department. We can't just stand by and ignore it. Oh! Wow, okay, Skinner. Well, thank you for lunch. I have to go now. Ah, uh, good luck with the fire. What fire? There's no fire here. Are you talking about psychokinesis or something? No, there's a literal fire here. I think you should probably go check it out. Oh no, I don't see anything. I think you must be mistaken. I'm sure it's just psychokinesis. No, I really think you should go check it out. It's a serious situation. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Uh, dinner is still cooking, so it won't be ready for another hour or so. Would you care for a drink while we wait? That sounds lovely. What do you have? I have some nice red wine, white wine, beer, soda, and sparkling water. Uh, I can't believe I burned the Narski. I was so careful, and yet I still messed up. How am I going to explain this to my guests? They're going to be so disappointed. I guess I'll have to figure out something else to serve. There's no way I'm letting this ruin the evening. I'll just have to find a way to salvage it. Okay, so I need to find a way to get a melee apple. I'm sure there's a store nearby that sells them. I need to go out and see what I can find. I'm sure I can figure out a way to make this work. I just need to be creative and resourceful. I can do this. I can make it happen. Time to get to work. Let's go, Skinner. Skinner! What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Is something on fire? Um, no. 
It's just steam from the steamed narski I'm making. You know, with the dill and onion. It's delicious, I assure you. Steam doesn't look like smoke. Stop lying and tell me what's going on here. Well, all... The... Yeah. The stove may have been left on a bit too long and there may be a few burnt pieces of food here and there. But I'm sure everything will be fine. What is this? You said it was Narski? It is Narski. It's just a special variety of Narski grown in the Malay region. It has a unique flavor profile and an interesting texture that you won't find anywhere else. That doesn't sound anything like Narski. You're lying. No, it's true. I'd never lie to you. This is top of the line Narski right here. It's a delicacy. I'm sure once you try it, you'll love it. So you're telling me that this is Narski and not Malay Apple? Scare! There's a fire in the kitchen! No, no, that's not a fire. That's just pixie dust. Don't worry about it. Can I see it? Is it really pixie dust? No, no, you don't need to see it. It's just pixie dust. Nothing to worry about. This is serious, Skinner. We need to call the fire department. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was very nice. I should be getting back now. Oh, don't worry about it.